Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Our call center is based in the UK and available 24 seven. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you ever so much to Jewelry Maker and the team, and welcome to Five Hours of Fun with Hobby Maker. Yes, good to be back with you. I'm Dave Bradford, and we've got great, great shows coming up today. We've got the lovely Debbie Robinson from Crafters Companion here for three shows, and we've got the lovely Elaine from Australian Parchcraft coming up, parchment uh, for a couple of hours a bit later as well. So, five hours of fun, uh, you and me. And if you can stay with us for most of the afternoon, that will be fantastic. Now, I'm getting some emails and some messages on Facebook saying, oh, how do we become a member of Hobby Maker? I caught the show by accident. I wanted to sign up. All you've got to do is go to our website, hobbymaker.co.uk. By going there, you can then, of course, register to become a member. And all you've got to do, basically, is click on the section that says that uh, you're a new customer, and then it asks you for your email address. And there it is. Put your email address in there, make up a password, and then become uh, a brand new customer of Hobby Maker. It's completely free to join, and you can then shop to your heart's content on the website or on the free phone number whenever you choose. And if you go down to the bottom there, it shows you um, on, the, on, on the main page, there we are, look, if you go down to the bottom of the home page, it says sign up to hear about the latest news and special offers. That allows us then to send you emails about what's happening at Hobby Maker, what's coming up in the future. And if you do that, you'll find that you actually get a £5 voucher that you can spend with us on your first order uh, of a spend of £25 or more. So that's well worth doing right now and enjoy the shows for the rest of the afternoon. Now, sure, I know most of you know this by now anyway, but I'm going to just mention it to brand new customers and viewers that. But, um, we have one PMP a day. That is all we charge you. Three ninety-five. No matter how many things you order during that day, from midnight to midnight, you only pay three ninety-five for your entire order. All of the products that you order come, come direct from the supplier. So, if you order something from Crafters Companion, they'll be shipping your product straight away to you. So, if you do buy from lots and lots of different um, companies, you'll find that they will come at the different times. They won't all come in one box. Okay. So that's basically what we're all about. And it's a free phone number to call our UK call centre as well. If something that takes your fancy and you'd rather speak to someone rather than doing it on the website that's absolutely fine but it's free to do it on the website too this is what we have coming up this afternoon then it is Friday the 25th of March, the sun is shining, everyone's in a good mood that I've seen today. One o'clock, we've got Gemini lattice folding dies that I'll show you in a second with Debbie. Parchcraft Australia is at two o'clock this afternoon with Elaine. Uh, three o'clock, more Gemini 3D floral embossing folders coming up at three o'clock and some um, cut and boss in there as well. Uh, more Parchcraft at four and then back to our lattice folding dies from Gemini at five. So that's the next five hours all the way through until six o'clock this evening. And if you want to interact with us and get, uh, get uh, Pally and send us messages, we'd love to hear from from you, you can either email us studio at hobbymaker.co.uk if you'd rather do it on our website when you go to the website there's actually a little contact the studio section just there message to the studio and you can put up to 150 letters in there send us a message and we can pop it on the screen for you so that's what we're all about at hobby maker every day is just chilled out crafting lots of fun lots of demonstrations and lots of bargains as well okay now what we've we got to start off with now these i don't think i've seen anything quite like this at all or maybe if I have a long long time ago these are really really groundbreaking and very different as well but if you love paper engineering I know that sounds a little bit kind of technical but basically paper folding origami that sort of thing you'll probably love these because these are our brand new dies and they're exclusive at the moment as well now you can either buy a bundle of six six sets which is what's going to be on the screen first you can if you want to go for a set of three these three or these three or you can find them on the website individually as well and what this is all about this is basically the lattice folding die sets now if I just hold up a card here to show you it's basically the die does the cutting and then all you have 
to do is fold where the die is cut over and tuck it into the opening beneath. So you get this wonderful kind of interlinking three-dimensional effect. Look at this one. How lovely is this? This is done by Caroline. Caroline Weir did that one. It's really satisfying. It's really attractive, really different too, and some really unusual shapes in these. This is done by Maggie, Maggie Berry, who's one of Crafters Companion's American viewers and uh, design, design team members. So basically, yeah, the die cuts, you then fold it where it's cut and tuck it into the section at the bottom. Really different, good on boxes as well as cards. And you can make them as long or as short as you like because you can actually continue them. So if you're doing a really long DL card or doing a really, uh, I don't know, long, quite wide border, you can do them as many times as you like. Do duos like this one. How cool is that? Special, isn't it? Really special, really different, and brand new to us today and exclusive to us for a little while as well. So if you fancy going for them, there's the free phone number, 0800 001 443, or you can, of course, do it on the website as ever, free of charge there as well, at hobbymaker.co.uk. Now, 47.94 is what they should be, and that's what you'll pay if you buy them individually. But here at Hobbymaker, we always like to give you a bargain, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll get that price down straight away so everyone pays the final low price. Here it comes. What can we do all six of these die sets for? $39.99. That's more like it. And on two split payments as well. Just $19.99 to pay today. And you actually get two dies in each set. If I just kind of turn the die around, you can see you get a smaller one, which is about four inches, and you get a longer one, which is about six inches. And of course, you can uh, use them independently or, or just link them together uh, when you've done the cutting. So really, really unusual. That one, if you like the look of that one, that's called Double Diamond. Um, we actually got the boards to show you. So it's probably easier if I bring Debbie in and show you the boards. Debbie, good afternoon, my love. Good afternoon. How are you? Oh, I'm absolutely fine. Sunshine. It's been a beautiful week, hasn't it? It's in great, the, isn't it? I just in the UK. had two days off of the sunshine yesterday. I know, and I can tell the sun's out because you've got your short sleeves on. Aye. First time this year, <laughs> get my arms out. <laughs> <laughs> now then, I'm going to take you through. Oh, honestly, Dave, I, to I told you, uh, when we had a little meeting just before the show, I got really, really excited um, about these dies because they are brand new. And I love paper technology. I love the way that you can fold. Uh, but these are the actual dies that you get in. So I'm going to show you each individual set so it's entirely up to you whether you go for one whether you go for the three set or whether you go for the whole six of them uh, but this is a double diamond now the idea behind this is to create that lovely lattice fold a bit like your bread mm -hmm. when your lattice bread or your lattice you know when you when you're folding with your double, ribbons and things double, like that double diamond has reminded me of an advert when i was young <laughs> i do remember yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but again it's just showing you and and the fact that we put it into two these are simple to use but they're going to create eye-catching um designs yeah. whatever you're going to use them in for and they are borders so you can use them as a border you can use them on in you know your cards and things like that um home decor all sorts of different things around your boxes like you've shown belly bands round cards things like that mm. uh, but the idea is is that this simple fold and it really is i want you to see it but it looks really complicated but the die does this fold for you now you're probably thinking no way does no way jose does that do that oh, yes, but it, it does, does. It does. and it's very simple and very easy to use and i'll show you that in a moment i'm just going to show you the designs so that you can see each one so this one is the chevron mm -hmm. love the chevron uh, again you'll recognize that one on motorways and things like that like lovely chevron one oh, yeah. two cars apart absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but again just folding it over and you create those beautiful fold back techniques and fold back or fold underneath it's entirely up to you you get two different looks regardless now, of how you these, do that these boards we're showing you black and white but imagine yes. if you've got double-sided papers they're gonna look incredible they are they're gonna pop the minute you start to use different kind oh. of um, different kinds of papers and cardstocks. This is the star. Love Ooh. this one because it looks doesn't look like a star, but when you fold it back, and this is the simple technique that it does. It cuts in, you fold back, you tuck it under. It is so easy. No the concept is easy. No measuring, no nothing. I'm going to take you through each one of the designs that we've got. Opulence. Love the opulence one. Again, really lovely design. Uh, and it simply is run it through your paper or your cardstock and then fold back and tuck. Fold back and tuck and that's all it is it's so easy such a great concept love the double loop the double loop this actually looks, looks like, so um, like chain mail, it doesn't just, it? Honestly, it just looks incredible. It's like those tubes, you know, like industrial yeah. and that kind of Do that vibe. like a silver mirror card. That yeah. looks really cool. Yeah, absolutely. So that one's your double loop. And then lastly, I can't help having a favourite, but this circle, I just love the circular design of it. But it simply is a case of fold back and tuck the next piece underneath. I'll explain a little bit more in a moment. So but what I want to show card. you... It would look like yeah. a life boy, wouldn't it? Yeah, what I want to show you, Dave, is different concepts. You know 
we, we know we do really well at Crafters Companion. I say we, you the do. royal we. Um, some of our lovely team that to put these together to create different concepts. Uh, this is the border effect that you get around a box. Beautiful. Uh, and I'm showing you in black and white. You know when you see them in different kinds of colours. But it means you can take them into different kinds of your folds as well. So that's a lovely easel card. Really funky because it's going up in one direction, down yeah. in the other. Looks fabulous. And then using the uh, strip there to stop your easel from folding over. <laughs> <laughs> again take a look I'll just pop that behind there so you can see my hands behind but again how clever these are uh, simply use them in your four by six cards or your five by seven they've been designed to work beautifully with them look how striking that looks even in white cardstock striking what about having on your on fold of your card take a look at this on the corner just look on the spine of your card how fabulous that looks it really looks effective and looks really really clever and again it's very very easy to do and you can back those with different back colored them, card yeah. stocks or a bit yeah. of glitter card or whatever yeah if you absolutely to. take a look at that one i mean that looks absolutely gorgeous lovely half tent fold card there looks really effective uh, your stepper cards uh, just having um, a nice little uh, going in one direction one direction all the way around i just love that i just absolutely love them <laughs> Bending they're, they're all going, going out about <laughs> one direction. <laughs> but again, <laughs> just really, really clever concept and just absolutely beautiful, uh, beautiful and easy to use. Eye-catching, use them separately, use them together, use them small, use them long. It's entirely up to you. You're going to be able to create some really stunning effects. It's and something different, something yeah. new, and we've got it on two split payments, which is basically meaning this is cut in half. It locks that price for you at 39.99, and all you need to pay today is 19.99 plus your one postage of 3.95 and the great thing is if you come back later on and you buy something from Elaine with Australian parchment for example you've already paid your 3.95 PMP you don't need to pay any more postage at all on any other order that you make with us today between now and midnight tonight that's what you've got they're available as individuals but of course you pay the full price if you buy them individually or you can buy them as a set of three which is individually available as well sets of three are on the website now for you but if you go for the set of six which if you love one the chances are you're going to love all of them uh, you're looking at just 39.99 for all six sets that's 12 dies in total absolutely amazing it is amazing it is. Yeah. i'm going to show you the mix that i'm making in this hour so i'm going to show you when you take so you've seen them in black and white but i'm going to take it into now using pattern cards or playing cards that just give a, a different effect when you turn it over that's the first demo i'm going to start with uh, looks really striking in black and white however we're going to take it on and take it into other kinds of styles of cards and different colors that you can use um, and with your patterned papers how clever that yeah. that looks and it's so simple to do Dave I promise you once you've got these dies home the creativity inside you is just going to come flowing to the front I mean the thing um, is they look fantastic with single printed cardstock yes. but even better with double sided cardstock double sided have a run cardstock and see what you've got. yeah absolutely if you haven't got any, we've got some in the show and I'm going to do a 3D cube card, one of my favourite styles of cards. So I'm going to go with a 3D cube card to show you how easy and how effective it looks. Uh, and again, very, very easy to put together. A lot easier than you think. Yep. And I can't wait to get started for that first demo to show you. OK, and remember, if you do want the set of three, you can find those on the website available as well. They're available individually. They've got a discount on them as well. Or you can find them and buy them individually if you want to. All there at hobbymaker.co.uk. Right, Dave. So also as well, we can watch this show and you can take the shows and go back and look on, get inspiration on Crafters Got Bangin and do, things yeah. like that. Uh, but simply on the your packet is just a simple explanation of how to use them. Couldn't be any easier. Good. Simply, honestly, we couldn't make it any easier if we tried. Um, so I'm going to show you the dies itself. So the dies themselves uh, come to you in these four pieces. Uh, so four pieces? Two pieces. Two pieces. Two pieces, not four. <laughs> Dear me. Uh, where you've got them in that four inch and that six inch with a two inch mark. So that means you can use them for your four by six cards, which is what I'm starting here. This is a four by six, but I'm going for a tenth fold. So I'm just going to split that down just a little bit. This is in Centura Pearl cardstock that's got a white backing. And I wanted to show you in the simplest 
sister foams, how lovely and striking it looks by just using something with a two, two, two different contrasts. So I'm only going to use a small die though for this, Dave. So I'm going to pop down my first one just onto the bottom part of my card like so. Um, and again, this is entirely up to you how you use it. Whichever way you round you use it, it will work both ways. So I'm going to bring in my smaller plates uh, and I'm going to take that down. I've got some low tack tape stuck down here. Mm -hmm. You've got a lovely little notch as well. So if you want to line it up on anything like a fold or anything like that or onto the spine of your card. So that's the centre of the die where they're Yes. Not, so the centre is, is giving you. So do you know we talked about that being on the spine of your card? That was how you would line it up. You'd okay. take and use that little notch to create that effect. Uh, but I'm just simply going to use it in, like I said, a very simplistic form. So I'm going to line that up at the bottom. Everything. They do indeed, Dave. They do indeed. They really, really do. Um, and again, it's... I can't wait to show you how easy. The thing is, the pe everyone that receives a card or maybe buys a card from you that's had this yep. technique done on it, it's going to assume that you've gone to the time and trouble of cutting oh every gosh, little piece, yeah. measuring it out perfectly. The die does the work for you. Yeah, you and, it, it, and it really couldn't yeah. be any easier, honestly. But it looks so effective. They're just so striking. They really are. Now, I've just die cut that piece first so you can see how it's die cut. What I'm just going to do, though, is just turn that around and I'm going to pop it up onto the top of my card as well. Right. Um, and in fact, tell you what, Let's see if I can, yeah, I'll do it. I'll move, I'll move that down there a little bit um, and just pu push that onto the top and create that design as well. well so what we'd love to do as well is um, message in and tell us what you think about Hobby Maker. Is, is it a channel you've just found by accident? Did someone tell you about it and recommend it? Or have you been watching from the start? Message in, interact with us. We'd love to hear from you and we'll give you a bit of a shout out throughout the afternoon too. Yes, please. Yeah, Thank I you. love that idea. I do love that idea. So when we take that off now, Dave, and I'm just going to remove that so for a second, you can see now I've got my two piece, pieces done and die cut. Let's just move that to one side. Now, do you want to see how easy it is to do this? Go on then. So all you do is, and you're starting off, um, and when you come to the end, I'll show you how you can take that little piece off, but you simply fold back. It's got the die cut element here yep. and two folds, and you is it, simply is it scored fold. It for you as well? Oh, yeah, it's oh, all right, scored. Okay, right. So now you can see straight away you've got quite a lovely circular design. I'm just going to go in and pick the other one up and yep. turn that. Now, at minute, it's got a little bit of a flap going off, yep. so what you're going to do is just going to tuck, tuck it underneath, it under. and it's that simple. And we're going to do exactly the same with the other one. We're going to bring that down. We're going to tuck that under. You don't need to stick it down or anything like no, that? No, you can if you want. If you, if you like a bit of neatness, you can. Now, do you know when we come to this end, you're probably thinking, well, that looks a bit messy, Debbie. Um, but do you know what? You could keep it on if you wanted. Or you can do what I'm going to do. Snip it off. And just snip it off. Yeah. And it creates a nice, neat finish. So if I just take that off in one end. Oh, this really is easy. It Honest. doesn't look it. <laughs> when you do it, it's just... Exactly. So, and again, like I said, you could put a little bit of glue or a little bit of tape just down there, depending on the effect that you want to go for. It's entirely up you so I'm going to start up at the top let's pull that down a little bit Dave. It's quite nice actually if it's slightly risen it gives it a bit more Yeah I like it and that's that's pro probably one of the reasons why I do like it because um, I like that raised element but simply lift that next panel tuck underneath fold down fold back tuck underneath and again it could not be any easier <laughs> And honestly, when I, when I first saw these, I'm like, how on earth are these going to work? Uh, again, looks really clever and clever design, but I'm going to snip that bit off again. I just want that little bit removed. You can, by choice, decide which way you want to do. That is cool. It's so cool, but look how gorgeous it looks. And all I'm going to do, Dave, is put a little bit of... Um, uh, stripe, stripey paper underneath there, just mm -hmm. just to match. And I've taken this from one of our uh, year of craft books that we had. It could, um, be, but it could be anything, could be anything, anything, anything you want. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I'm going to pop that onto the top, onto the inside, so it gives it a little bit of um, bit of a bit of a difference there. You can see that lovely um, contrast in there. The white um, on the cardstock, though, I think looks really, really quite incredible. And then I'm just going to pop on my little panel. Let's, That's a, um, a good masculine card as yes, well. Yes, like very that, much yeah. so. Yeah, absolutely. So I'll pop that on and then just finish that off with a little sentiment. It's as easy as that, Dave. Well, it's different. That's what I like about it. Absolutely. You know, you've been looking for something that's a little bit out of the ordinary, a bit unusual, that <coughs> stuck to, to the, you know, the standard sort of card making for many, many months, maybe even many, many years. And you well, just want to do something a bit out of the ordinary. This is all about paper engineering, paper mechanics. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm a model maker. That's what I love to do. So this is right up my street. Remember, you're going to get a set of 12 dies, yeah. six packs with two dies in each, one smaller one, one larger one. That's what you're going to get. But if you want to actually choose either a set <coughs> of three 
or individuals. They're all on the website right now for you, uh, hobbymaker.co.uk. That's where you need to go. But let me just show you all the sets you're going to get again. I know we've gone through the boards, but I'll just uh, have a little look at what we've got here and show you exactly the dimension and the shape that it, uh, it's going to get. Yeah, this one's your double diamond, so really kind of angular, really beautiful. That's your double diamond. This next one is your chevron. So that's if you love the kind of arrows. And then the third one is your star. Okay, so those three are the set of three that you can get on the website, if you like those three. The second three set is this one just here, which is your opulence. And then we have, this one is your double loop. And then that looks like chain mail. And then the last one here is your circle, which we use in that demo. So that is the other set of three. And again, all individuals are on the website as well at hobbymaker.co.uk. But if you want the big bundle with everything in it, that's going to give you the best saving. It's only $39.99 and its product code is CQ2098. If you make sure that that's in your order box on the website or on the phone, just ask the operator for CQ2098. They will process your order and you'll, of course, get that in the next few days. Just one PMP of three pounds. 95. Okay, let's have a, a wander back, see what else is going on with Debbie. Oh, well, I was just saying, I've just created that card with the one die. That, yeah. That's as easy as it is. It and is. it could, you, when you think about the, um, the engineering behind this, I mean, it's so clever. It really is clever. But again, just shows you how striking things can be. It just is absolutely beautiful. I love them, Dave. And I know that when you get them home, you're going to have the same fun that I've had creating these cards um, today because they're just fabulous. You wouldn't think it would be that easy to create. Have you got a favourite out of the six? Um, I do love one? the circular one, but I'm not going to I've done six demos planned today for this show and next show, so yep. I've done three for each one, and I've used every single one of them. And I, I found it really difficult to have a favourite because they all bring you something different. I'm not going to lie, I do love the industrial one, the double. Yep. Oh, I just think that looks <laughs> so clever. And again, if you if you use masculine, if you always struggle for masculine cards, that these I think are going to cater for anybody of any age. Uh, any gender and I think they'll cover for any occasion as well. People are going to wonder how you did it. Yep, exactly. That's exactly what they're going to think because that's exactly what I thought when I first saw them thinking, I on earth am I going to use these? I don't know how I'm going to use these, Dave. Mm -hmm. um, shall we do another demo? Let's do another one. Shall, Why shall not? we get another demo? And just to so. give you a heads up, the Gemini machine is still on offer with the £70 of extra goodies. Okay, that's still on the website if you want to go for that. Only until the end of March though, so you've only got about another five or six days. There it is, 179.99. It's going to be 179.99 but with this item number on the screen, you're going to get 70 pounds worth of Crafter's Companion goodies, okay, as a bonus. That's on top of what you normally would get on the machine. So if you fancy that, it's on the website right now, proving popular on four split plates too. So what I'm going to do, Dave, I'm going to show you this uh, lovely uh, stepper card that we're going to do and create it with a bit of pattern paper. Um, and I've slightly cheated because I've used white stamping card, but I've put some pattern paper behind it and then we're going to cut through it so that the pattern paper, the one will come over the top of it when you bend it over to create another um, effect. But double-sided papers, we will go through some of those double-sided papers um, to show you just how fabulous um, you can create with them because we've got some gorgeous ones on the show. But first things first, I'm going to pop on and I'm just going to try and remember where I put these now because it's on the inside Debbie at the top yes so I'm going to pop me straight I have to talk to myself when I'm doing this because I've taken a piece of stamping card that measures 12 inches by 6 inches okay and scored it at uh, the 4 mark and the 8 mark to create myself my little that's going to it's going to eventually create an easel um, almost like an easel stepper card kind of thing mm -hmm. uh, but I just want to remember where I'm popping them because that's going to be the 4 pit bit and that's going to sit onto there so my patterned cardstock I want to be behind now that sounds daft, but I want it to be behind. And I want to make sure that when it cuts through, um, the pattern actually shows and not the white. I right. nearly then stuck that down then thought, don't be silly. It's the other way around. Yeah, you've got to kind of reverse. Got to reverse, yeah. yeah think, think about it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just pop on. I'm going to use tip. Um, I will probably use like a, a wet glue, but you need to let the wet glue dry. OK, mm -hmm. if you don't let the wet glue dry um, and then you run your die cut over it. You end um, up your die to your card. Well, you'll end up with a bit of splodgy glue coming yes. out as well. So yes. it might look a little bit messy. Not a good look. No, not a good look. So the tape is quite good. The, you know, the tape is quite a good one. And Debbie's just trying to remember where the other bit was. Yeah, underneath. So underneath that one. <laughs> I have to, honestly, I have to talk to myself all the time when I'm doing this, Dave. Uh, so I'm going to pop it on the bottom part underneath as well. So it's on the inside flap of that piece that's going to be over the top. Okay. And then it's yeah. going to be on the inside of the bottom piece. Because when I fold, I'm going to put some strips down here 
here as well and I want that patterned but I don't want it on the top I want it underneath Debbie remember remember Whew. well details on the screen for the Gemini machine at the moment there it is PW2003 now already lots of you are coming through for these and also for the machine as well um, if you want, though, the dies, which is the main focus of the show, remember, available as a set of six, sets of three, or individuals. They're all listed on the website for you. All right, so I've just put that onto there, Dave. I'm just going to make sure my glue's all nice and secured down. Now, you've got two choices of dies here. So you've got this four-inch one and the six-inch one. And the lovely thing about it, like you said as well, is um, there's no way that you, you'd have to stop. You could just carry on and extend. So you could take your die, you could use both pieces together and create a really nice, long, extended one. Nice. So if you were using it around a frame, don't forget these are border dies. So if you was using it around a home decor piece, maybe a scrapbooking page or anything like that, this going to add some extra dimension it's going to really create something a little bit different for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the uh, longest one when mm -hmm. i can get it off the plat there we go um and i'm going to just run this through now again like i said dave this can be um either way it doesn't really matter it i suppose it just depends on the the look that you're going for um and again when you use it going down you're going to create a different look as it states there onto your packet you can see that lovely diamond shape yeah beautiful. just looks beautiful mm -hmm. it's absolutely gorgeous but there's nothing to stop you from using it any way you want yeah. or any side you want either. And also, so, you know, try it with different backgrounds, try yeah. it with different coloured cardstock, some different effects, maybe with like satin finish or mirrored finish or holographic or rainbow would look good too. Yeah. So I'm just going to line that up onto the top again, like so, but I'm going to stick it down, Dave. Uh, I am using my smaller plates today, but if you were using your longer plates, you'd just pop your card uh, down, but I can get away with it on my Gemini Junior mm -hmm. plates. So I'm just going to position that. Again, if you're going to use it on your spine, remember, use that little notch and pop it onto the spine of your fold. That spine effect is very, very, very cool. I it like is. It. It is, yeah, absolutely. So we'll hold that down and we'll hold it down on the like other a side. It's like a ring well. binder where you do it on the spine, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, there's a few samples that the design team members um, have done using it and it just looks incredible. I never thought to use them in that way. Um, and I wish now I'd have thought about it when I was demonstrating because <laughs> I completely I missed that trick. Well, I'll show you um, <laughs> some of the finished cards in a second, actually, because they are all stunning. They are, aren't they? Yeah. They really are. There's some beauties. Um, and again, we'll show you those beautiful paper pads that we've got on the show as well. So what I'm just going to do, first of all, is I'm just going to take that tape off this side. And before I do the fold back, Dave, I'm just going to manoeuvre it up to the top and do exactly the same. How am I going to get that there? So you can see right now it's on, but it's underneath as well at the same time. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to do exactly the same on... If I've stuck this wrong way around now, Dave, I'll kick myself, I will. I'll kick myself. Looks all right, I think. There we go. That's it. Yeah, that's, okay. that's it. It's because I turned it round in, Tasso. We'll pop that on. And do you know what? To be fair... Oh, do you think I'm... No, that way around, Debbie, that way around. You're on your smaller plates. Hmm. There we go. So pop that on. And again, just position it either side and run that through your die cutting machine. And then, again... Now, I know loads of you got hold of the um, low-tack tape the other day that was on offer yes. from Crafters Companion. Don't just use it once. It's tempting to just use it once and put it in the bin. Don't do that. Stick it on the side of your machine and reuse it again and again and again. And I do. Yeah. That's exactly I what I do. Until, do. until it starts to... Uh, until the tack starts to go, that's when I, uh, when I decide to stop using it. But you're getting three packs. You could be, you know, you could be a really good crafty friend and share it with other people as well. Mm -hmm. um, I, use, I use one for my iris folding. You know, we had the iris folding on the other week yep. I use it for iris folding as well but look at me I'm still doing it now I'm sticking it down underneath because I've got <laughs> don't throw it away if there's still use in no there. there's still loads of tack in it there's still loads in there uh, that you can use now again what we've got now oh <laughs> uh oh no <coughs> that was not an error <laughs> you could get I knew it had happened actually do you know what you're totally right. Yeah. The only thing is, I ain't got any more. I ain't got any spare bits of my strip paper. Oh, okay. However, whew, as true crafty style, we always have one that we've planned and prepped beforehand. Now, <coughs> now, are you ready? I'm ready. Right, you ready for this double diamond, yeah. which is just beautiful. Well, I call it double diamond. It's a, it's a chevron, but it's got that lovely diamond shape. So you're gonna take it back, the folds. Yep. Yeah. But look, with the stripy paper, ah. and look how gorgeous that looks. And again, I'm just gonna pull that over. 
and the next piece it tucks underneath so you fold that one back so if you wanted to fold all your fold backs first and then tuck underneath you absolutely can but all I'm going to do is tuck it underneath like so and like I said you can use things like your um I've got tacky glue in here that's been decanted into one of the fine tip applicator bottles and you can stick that down um, if you want to, you know, if you want it to stick down permanently. Um, if you can't do it with your fingers, grab your pokey tool like Debbie's doing uh, just to give myself a little lift. But I'm just going to do that with all of them. I'll lift them all up uh, because all you're doing is just putting it into its place where the folds are. You're just putting it back. I abs honestly, I absolutely love these dies. I think they're so effective and they're so cool. And the minute you start using it with your pattern papers, glitter card stocks. We talked about the tacky glue a minute ago, Debbie. Um, yep. That's actually on a three for two offer at the moment. So as you can see, you're only paying 9.98. Should be nearly 15 quid. So if you fancy getting that, popping that in your basket, that's HW2048, the product code for that. And it's, it's fabulous glue, it really is. It's water-based glue, but it's fabulous. And it's really, really, it really does grab old. But can you see how easy this is to do? Dave mm. it's <laughs> it couldn't be any easy if you tried but the engineering behind it is just so clever so what I'm going to do is again if I was having it extended I would just carry that on but I don't want that little piece on there so I'm just going to remove it simply remove it so I'll grab my little scissors again um, and we'll just take that bottom piece off it's like easy, so. but it doesn't look it. No. When you see the finished card, you kind of think that looks really tricky to do, but the die does all the work. It does. And so imagine giving that to your friends and then thinking, how on earth have you done that? How yeah. on earth have you got that effect? How have you done it? Well, it's we're not going yeah, to share. So I'm going to do now exactly the same. You can see in a moment, that's going to be the top part of my design. Right. So we've got the bottom piece. So I'll just pop that over like so. And that's what Debbie should have remembered when she was doing the mm -hmm. uh, fold there. And then just repeat um, the process. Just repeat the process. It's I mean, all the dies work in the same way, but you are going to get a large yeah. and a small die, a longer one and a shorter one yep. uh, in each pack. Basically. Yeah. So 12 dies in total. Absolutely. But again, look how creative. I mean, they're just such good fun. So easy to use. And you simply just fold, tuck, fold and tuck, fold and tuck. And that's all it is. A great, uh, a great craft. Um, I've loved lattice folding before, but it's been a bit tricky to do. Uh, not anymore because we've simplified it. And again, it just creates this stunning wow factor Craft every single time. Crafters Companion um, keep the fun, but they take all the tricky measurements. Yeah, sort of thing out you of don't have to worry. Yeah, because we've done it all for you. I said we. The team. The team. The team back at head office, you know, they are crafters up there and they've obviously run, you know, our Sara, well, Leanne's head of product development. Obviously, we all input, we have ideas. Mm -hmm. um, the idea behind this, I mean, I need to find out who created this one because I absolutely, I wish I'd thought of this because it's just absolutely fab. Absolutely fab. Love it, it. It appeals to everyone. It you know, does appeal to if everyone. If you want a masculine card, you can do it. If you want a feminine card, you yeah. can do it equally as well. So Yeah, but again, look how striking it looks. Mm. And I'm just going to add a little bit more to it, just a little bit more depth, because I'm going to put some black strips underneath it. Um, and that's just to add a little bit more dimension and make it pop that little bit more. Um, and of course, you can, like I said, Dave, if you want to stick down, and we'll do it on this one. Let's do it on this one, show you what I mean. I'm going to use some of that tacky glue. Just pop a little bit of glue underneath and then hold it and let it take take shape uh, and, and that'll stick it down. Obviously with low tack, uh, with low tack, <laughs> with, with tacky, tacky glue, glue. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you need to let it dry, but that's all you do. You pop a little blob underneath. Um, have we got the fine tip applicators uh, on the website? Mm, not at the moment, I don't Not think. yet. No. Uh, we'll have to have words. I'll have words with our guys and you got your guys and see if we can get them in uh, because they are fabulous. The tacky glue comes in a big bottle, I'll just show you. Comes in a large bottle. So for that 9.98, you're yeah. going to get two of them. You okay. get two, yeah. Should and it's fabulous three, glue. Sorry, sorry. You're paying for two, but you're getting three. Yes, mm. two, three. Yeah. Three for, two, three three for two. two. That's, that's it. That's, that's the market way around when I look at things. <laughs> uh, now, this is tacky glue, and it is, uh, like I said, it takes quite quickly. Um, you must remember, though, it's water based, so when you do use it, little shake mm -hmm. just give it a little shake for the water and the glue to to get back together and, and but again pop it into your little applicator bottle and then just carry that forward however i'm going to leave mine as it is dave just remember to put my pin back in because i know what i'm like so let's pop that pin back i've in got there. some finished cards here as well uh, are you done with that yeah uh no i'm going to carry oh, on okay. no yeah i'm going to carry on dave yeah so again i'm just going to pop that and it also it covers up my little piece there as well so let's pop on in fact i tell you what i'll use my tacky glue again let's pop the tacky glue Why not? um because i'm going to go around the edge i'm not going to go over that lattice folding design because if i go over it with the glue it's going to seep through and i don't want that so i'm just going to go in notice why the fine tip applicator works beautifully with kind of delicate dyes so yeah i'm definitely going to have a word with 
give our guys to your guys and just pop that on the top and let that dry and then turn that round and it just gives it that extra lift because we're adding a little bit more dimension a little bit more color underneath yeah. and it, you can see that straight away um creates another added dimension to your card uh, but very very simple and very very easy to do as well i just think they're fabulous and enjoyable the whole process so enjoyable. enjoyable yeah it really really is it's so e and it's so easy to achieve these looks really really easy to achieve these looks and just think of all the fun that you can have with all your card folds that you're used to oh yeah and then taking these dies into them. Absolute great, great concept. Absolutely fabulous concept. Um, and then now I've got my lovely little piece like so. So what I'm just going to do, Dave, is I am going to grab my bone folder. Put my little notes to one side there. Pop that down. So are they going to put a, a, <coughs> a sentiment on the front of it or maybe you're going to put a topper on the top of it? It's entirely yep. up to you. Exactly. Entirely up to you. I'm just going to pop some foam pads on my strip here. I could have um, done a little piece with my strip as well. So I could have done it with the strip and have the white come through. Yeah. That would have looked really effective as well. Uh, but I'm just going to position where I want my um, stepper to, uh, to sit. So let's push that there like so. And then I'm just going to decorate the front couple of little pieces and then Dave will show those fabulous um, samples and then I think we'll we'll have to show some of those beautiful beautiful paper pads that some we've got back in stock as absolutely. well absolutely and yeah. don't forget if you are looking at that thinking I like it but I only want one or two or maybe just a set of three they're all on the website have a look at hobbymaker.co.uk and that's where you'll see them yep. but the set of six is 39.99 okay CQ 2098 is the product code that will get you all six of the packets all 12 of the dies all of them that you can see listed there you're gonna get for that brilliant price and it's on split pay so if you want to split the payment into two interest-free payments one today and one in four weeks time you can do that just by click, uh, ticking the click on split pay when you get to the checkout or the operator can sort it out for you as well in our UK based call centre now we've got the nature's garden for you as well this is one of the paper pads that we were talking about now it's not just the 12 by 12 you actually get a lovely selection 32 sheets of your A4 as well now this is unbelievable now this is coming up a bit later in the start of the three o'clock show but you can order it now i believe on the website if you want it so there you've got 36 sheets in the 12 by 12 and 32 in the coordinating plane a4 size but just to show you the sort of patterns that you're getting on this this did sell out before didn't it this yeah got it back uh, we've only got a few of them well we've got a, a few dozen but uh, not many in the scheme of things so if you missed out on it last time it sold out in minutes so people can order it now though yeah it's not on the website yet. It will be coming up at three o'clock, okay? So uh, it will be in the show at three. So um, yeah, make sure you tune in for that a bit later on in about an hour and a half's time. And that will be available then in that show. Jolly good. We've got some other paper pads as well. We've got the Masquerade Ball. Uh, we've also got, what else have we got coming up? Enchanted Dreams. All these are in the three o'clock, yeah? They're not in this show. Oh, we're doing the other ones this hour, right? Okay, okay. All right, so all the other ones are in the show right now, including... Uh, Bell Countryside, there we are, that's good. I love those colourways in the Bell Countryside. Beautiful. In fact, do you know what we'll do? We'll, we'll show you those in more detail. Let me just finish off and show you the finished card. Mm -hmm. uh, while I was busy popping uh, those pieces together while you were busy chatting there, Dave. Um, and again, just showing you, and even when you lift it up, how fabulous it looks. It really, really is a clever concept. It creates a really nice, um, striking, very eye-catching. Absolutely. Because you look at it and you think, how on earth have you done that? Very, as you've seen, very easily. Great, great set of dies with all different kind of shapes in there as well. But and the rainbow theme in that, in that paper is beautiful as well. Everyone loves rainbows at the moment for yes. obvious reasons. Yeah. So, yeah, the die sets today, brand new. Uh, we are going to be featuring them in the five o'clock show later as well. But if you want to get them now, uh, remember, you can buy them in sets of three. Uh, how much are they in sets of three? £20.99. Um, can we put the details up for the sets of three? Okay, we can do that, okay. Right, so the sets of three we've got is the first set of three or the second set of three. So obviously you save the most money by going for the set of six, but the first set of three are gonna give you these, which are double diamond, the star, and the chevron together. So those three, if you want them, now just 23.99, that's YQ 2076. Uh, they're gonna go down in price though, that's what they should be, 
But if you get them right now from us, everyone pays the final low price, which is coming up on the stream, on screen, £20.99 for all three. So that's only £7 each. Now, these are going very, very quickly. These are flying, okay? So you've seen the set of three on the website, and you thought, that's what I'm going to go for. That's if you like those designs. If you want the other set of three, which is going to include your opulence, you're going to get your double loop, and you're also going to get your circle as well. So those are a set of three as well. Should be $23.97. They're tumbling down in price as well to just £20. And what was the price again? £99? £20.99. Yeah, £20. There we go. So just £7 a set, which is amazing because there's two dies in each packet. And, of course, individually, you can get them on their own, but you will be paying the full price for an individual. But do remember, if you want to mix and match, you make your own bundle together, you can do that and pay no more than £3.95 postage, okay? That's your PMP for the entire day up to midnight tonight. If you buy 10 things at midnight, the system puts all your orders together and you're only charged £3.95 to get all of those home. Okay, let's go back to Debbie. Should we have a look at them paper? I will say, should we look at oh, that beautiful on. paper yeah. pad? Okay. That paper pad is absolutely stunning. I adore the Bell Countryside. Um, I love the old collection. The papers for me, though, I just think we have um, we've had a new girl join the team quite recently. Her name's Faye, and she designs lots of our paper pads. But this is something else, Dave. It's got lovely vintagey um, tones in there. Very, yeah. um, very regal looking as well. Just absolutely beautiful double-sided papers that will look beautiful, especially if you're using these dies they're going to look amazing now, of course um, with the 12 by 12 you're going to yeah. get the a4 pack of cardstock as well yeah. as you can see the color tones match, match perfectly absolutely mm -hmm. perfect so you're going to get 18 sheets of a4 250 gsm in the in the box and you're going to get your double-sided paper pad which is 180 gsm and you get 24 sheets of double-sided in there but look at those really rich colorways just look at that that's my house, that. Country house. In, in my head. I could see you that, in that. Yeah, that's, that's me. In my head, that's, that's my house. <laughs> <laughs> but again, we all joke. And then there's beautiful, the lovely pony and the horses in there. They're just absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm, I'm sorry, but for 14 99 if you just got the 12 by 12 I'd be well happy. that was a good, good deal. Yeah, absolutely. But you get that as well. Yeah. And this is pearlescent cardstock. There's luxury, uh, luxury cardstock in there. It's mixed pack, so you've got some, like, textured cardstock in there as well. Absolutely beautiful, but works stunningly with that paper pad. And you don't have to have the Bell Countryside rest of the collection no. for that to work in your crafty stash. It's absolutely a standalone product. Well, it's a mixture of beautiful buildings, wonderful flowers. Mm -hmm. There's animals in there as well, but gorgeous colourways. Uh, that's OR 2053, if you fancy that. Now, next to that, we've had this a few times, but if you love carnival, if you oh. love a splash of colour, and now the sun's out, I yeah. think everybody wants a bit of colour, here we've got, again, similar sort of idea, you've got the beautiful A4 cardstock. Is this pearlescent again? Uh, there's luxury, it's luxury mixed yep. pack again, there's some mirror card in there, um, and some uh, pearlescent cardstock in there, um, but this pad, can we just talk about this pad? Wait until you see this. This is by far one of my absolutely top three paper pads that we've launched uh, in this 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 last year and i adore this absolutely beautiful gorgeous vibrant colors and it's not just spot printed. yeah the spot foiling through there as well um with that lovely masquerade theme so you've got the harlequins in there and those florals but the richness the colors are everything that you come to expect with the carnival um those bright oranges bright pinks bright turquoise teal you, you, kind you, of you colors expect, like a jester to appear yeah. any minute don't yeah. you yeah really but again lovely. Just a stunning paper pad that I know you're going to love and works in conjunction again, standalone, yep. doesn't have to have the masquerade, um, pay, you know, rest of the collection. The paper are standalone products that will work and cardstock. We all need them. Four double sided sheets and 25 sheets of A4, and that is $19.99 for the two. That's pretty incredible. Uh, I tell you what, though, that Bell Countryside is going absolutely mad at the moment. Uh, and the last one that we've got on the counter here to show you this is not just the uh, 12 by 12 and the small paper pad. You also get some beautiful cotton ribbon in here as well. This is the Enchanted Dreams from Sarah's signature collection. Oh. If you prefer your purples and your pinks and your lavenders and your lilacs and you love your unicorns, look at this. And look at the gorgeous um, prints in there as well. Absolutely beautiful. Again, another one of my favourites. It's very difficult because we've actually fetched three of my favourites out. Um, these are just gorgeous. Beautiful. Wow. Everyone's loving this. 12 by 12, you get that one, 32 sheets of double-sided. You're going to get uh, your beautiful cotton ribbon as well. So you've yeah. actually got here two different designs, three metres of each. So you're going to get six metres of the cotton ribbon. 
That's right. I love that vintage script. It's gorgeous. The script and the beautiful butterflies that are in there as well. Um, just beautiful. And then you also get, as an extra bonus, a 6x6 as well, which complements the 12x12. 12 12. It's the same images. Just, just scale to size. Yeah. Just scale to size. So it says 6x6 six, six six and 12x12. 12 12. <gasps> now okay. you get all three things. Both. For £20.98. For Sarah's signature, £20.98 gets you all three. If you want all of those paper pads, by the way, remember, just one PMP per day of 3 95 no matter how many orders you place. But the highlight of the day, or the highlight of this hour, yes, has to be beautiful. these beautiful lattice yeah. folding dies. Now, that's one of your favourites, isn't it? The I absolutely love it. I just love it. I just think it's just got a lovely, um, very industrial kind of feel. But again, just look at the card. And that cardstock's actually from the Masquerade one. Um, again, just look, use them as borders. Use them as double sides to your cards. Use them in boxes. Um, I absolutely adore all of these designs. That one, Dave, has just been tucked behind rather than in front, it's been tucked oh. behind. So it's been showing you that, again, you, you can take it in and, and use it in a different way as well. So, you know, you've got the forward facing one that I've shown you, but you can tuck them behind too. Now, don't forget as well, you can use them maybe on the edges of boxes, box lids, that sort of thing. On the top of boxes, you could use them, of course, as well. Lots of you coming in. Hello to Sarah in Dorset. Uh, she's gone for the Enchanted Dreams paper. Also, I think Karen is also in for that as well at the moment. So basically, we've got everything that's on the show on the website right now. If you do want the Secret Garden, that's going to appear in the three o'clock show this afternoon. So we can't show that to you now, but we can a bit later on. So we're teasing you with that one. That's coming up a bit later on. Right. That was naughty of us, wasn't it? I know, it was a bit. Very naughty. Uh, right, so we're going to do the star. I'm going to show you how to make that lovely cube card. Um, and again, the star, it doesn't look like a star, but once you take it, fold it, and tuck it under, it absolutely it does. does. Okay. Uh, so again, instructions on the front of your uh, packet as well. So the instructions are there, written down for you in those three easy stages. Could not be any easier if... You, if we tried mm -hmm. um, and that's the lovely design again each one of your, your dies comes with the four by two and the uh, six by um, two as well so it's entirely up to you which one you use um, I'm just going to use the smallest one for this one Dave okay. um, but I'm going to talk about the cube and the style of the cube and if I just bring that, that back in it's a lot easier to put together this than you actually think but look how striking it looks with that die set absolutely beautiful now that looks really really complicated no not at all no? not at all i've been doing these uh, cube cards for absolutely ages i absolutely love them i've gone big and small um but again it's just depending on the size i'll give you the size of this one that i'm using um so i started with um a cardstock that measures 11 and a half inches by five inches and what i've done is i've scored it at half an inch at three and a quarter six and eight and three quarters and you do the same with the two smaller pieces the only difference there is it's not five and a half inches um, these actually measure in at um, two and uh, three quarter inches and that's just to create the two panels but I've put the same score lines in the same place that I did with that one as well mm -hmm. so first things first let's get our die and pop that on there so I'm going to use my die and again it's entirely up to you how you pop this I'm going to go across the the, the central part uh, like so uh, and I'm going to average it in between the center of here you could use like rulers and things like that to be able to create that effect uh, but when you take a look at it that way um, you can see the design goes across both quite evenly mm -hmm. so I'm just going to position that on and I'm going to tape that down and then we'll repeat that and I've come in about about half an inch down maybe okay quarter of it yeah about half an inch down uh, oh might need to switch to my bigger plates Dave so I'm going to have fetch those in or I said me our lovely Jimmy looking after me. He made <laughs> he sure, after yeah, you. he did, he did. It looked after me really well because I want to go on with my larger plates. Trying to put that through my Gemini journey might prove to be a bit cheeky. Well, remember, <laughs> your larger plates do, do come, obviously, with the large Gemini machine, the A4 Gemini machine, and you get £70 yeah. of extra goodies. Uh, we've had a message from Sandra that's just come in, actually. She says, okay. can you give me the code for the Gemini die-cutting machine, please? Thank you very much. We can. We can pop up on the screen now. And that's for with you. the deal, with the this extras. Is, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. The, the, the time is running out and the stock is running out. Yes, it out is. To get that extra £70 of goodies. It's coming up on the screen now for you. Uh, anytime. <laughs> <laughs> now, what you get, remember, you get dies, extra dies, you get extra embossing power, uh, em embossing folders, sorry, you get loads of extra goodies, uh, worth about £70, and it's normally £179.99 without that, okay? This is actually all the goodies that you get, thank Aww. you, Jimmy. You're a star. You see, he does look after us, looks yes. after us all. What you normally get with the machine, just so you know, would be <coughs> these dies, that embossing folder, this die, 
and these dies. Okay, yep. that's what you'd normally get for 179.99 with a machine in the plates. What you're getting in addition to that, only as this is the launch month, you're going to get this um, stamp and die set. You're going to get this fantastic stamp set. Rotating stamp set, very yep. easy to use. You've got the party die. Then we've got uh, an embossing folder. More stamps oh. from that collection, which is classy, Hello Gorgeous. Classy. It's gorgeous. Hello that Gorgeous. One. Um, then you've got this stencil, embossing folder, another thank you die, and more stamps as well. So all of that, worth 70 quid, is in coming with your machine. You're not even paying for it, you're not being charged for it, but it is there as a bonus only until the end of the month or until the stock runs out. So there it is, $179.99, but on four split pays, it's $44.99 today plus your $3.95 PMP. PW2003. Perfect. Right, Dave, so I have done the first part and so all I'm going to do is um, literally fold back. So we fold it back and again, if it's up to you how you do this. I'm going to start at that top part. Do you know where the little notch is? You can see it on your cardstock there, like so. Mm -hmm. So fold that back, tuck it underneath. Fold it back. And those folds are already in there, so I'm not having to do any extra scoring or burnishing or anything like that. But just fold it back and simply keep tucking underneath. Now, because of this one, I could actually keep that on if I wanted to. It looks quite nice. I would just stick that little bit down. Okay. And that creates that lovely cube. Or if you don't want it on, just again, just snip it off at this end and this end to take that off. Okay? Yep. So that's as simple as that. We'll start with that next piece, the smaller piece. So the two smaller pieces, I'm going to the end of the piece this time. So I'm just going to pop them on. You could, if you want, have them all the way around. It's entirely up to you. It depends on the look that you want to go for. But because I'm only going to show it on two areas of the cube, mm -hmm. I'm just popping it onto one. Uh, so, Debbie... You were using your large plates. Let's turn it that way. So I'm going to use my smaller plates now. I'm going to run that through again. I'm always chopping and changing. And like this at home, Dave. These plates, remember, are for the Gemini MIDI, the, the smaller machine. The Junior, yeah. The Junior, sorry, yeah. Um, so if you want those, again, worth checking the website. Our, our website is something that's being worked on at the moment. It's an in-progress uh, thing at the moment. And we will have all of the, uh, all of the elements that we have in stock will eventually be all on the website. At the moment, we're only be able to show you what's in each show, okay? But eventually, in the next week or so, we should be able to have everything that we've got in stock from all the wonderful suppliers here should be on the web, which yep. you can order any time. Absolutely. So I'm just repeating that process on my second cube piece, uh, Dave. So I'm going to pop that onto the top and run that through as well. Um, but honestly, I, I was trying to get across that these are dies that aren't just one use dies that you can use them and take them into lots of different styles of folds if we get chance before the end of the show and if not we'll show it again at the start of the next show that these will be on which is at five o'clock um and again uh, just to show you the different kind of concepts how you can use them um and how easy they are to put together and it really really couldn't get any easier than this and i'm just using uh, centura pearl here dave mm -hmm. literally it's centura pearl that creates that lovely um two-tone effect with the white on top of the color and i think it looks just beautiful so again all you're going to do is repeat that process like so so i'm just going to bring in the ones that i've already pre-done dave just okay. to make and speed things up because time is running away with us uh, so now what we've got is our three pieces so to put us cubes together couldn't be any easier we're going to take your tape pen and you know the little half fold that we had that half inch mark you're going to pop your glue just onto there dave mm -hmm. i'm going to turn that over and i'm going to tuck that last piece and it creates the cube so i'm going to take it Pop that on, and that's my cube oh, that's created. Quite easy. Yeah. Very, very easy to achieve. And you can see now why I didn't go on all four sides, because mm -hmm. that's going to sit on the bottom. So I'm having quite a nice solid, solid bottom. I know what you mean. And I can't think of another <laughs> way to say it then. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean, don't you, Dave? Yes. So again, it's funny when you start a sentence and you know where it's going. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, thinking, oh, don't sound right, but uh, it, it's the only way to describe it. But you, yeah, you, you could, if you wanted, die cut that out. There's nothing wrong to stop you from die cutting it out, but I just think it creates a nice little effect. So again, look how fabulous that looks again on your other cube. Lovely. Brilliant. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the other piece as well. So with the larger piece, I'm just going to take it, just to turn it around that side so you can see it a bit better, glue onto that piece. And then just simply, and again, easily to do this one, just fold it over in on itself. Just make sure they're nice and flush together. Um, and that creates your outer cube. So again, 
very very easy to put together um, and then all I'm going to do is stick these cubes now th this is the reason why I've kept the straight edges because what I'm going to do Dave is I'm going to put some glue it's going to stick onto the cube like so mm -hmm. on one side so I'm going to put my glue onto this area so I'm just going to flatten it for a second I use my tape you could use wet glue and things like that um how many minutes did you say four just absolutely Where flies by. Go? Where does it go in this place? It just literally flies by. <laughs> Did you hear it? He's a oh, little yeah. devil, isn't he? <laughs> I'm getting used to his I'm getting used to his humour now. <laughs> <laughs> Dear. Do you know what? It's been lovely. It's like continuity. I've had uh, I've had Ben on every one of my shows. Oh, really? I have, yeah, I have. So I'm getting really used to him. Every show, yeah, I've had you every one of my shows, Ben. Ben's our director, by the way. And I love, and, and then our lovely Laura as well. So I've had a mix with uh, my producers, but uh, with my directors, I think it's been you, hasn't it, Ben? So again, all I'm going to do now is when I'm popping, <laughs> when I'm popping them on, I'm going to pop it onto the other side as well. They're both little devils today. Oh, I right. think that sun's got to a pair of them, I swear it has. <laughs> so let's pop that on. And that is how you create your cube. And it is that easy to put your cube together. And then you just you're doing is manipulating it, push it down, push it down until you manipulate it until it holds straight. And that's how easy it is to put that cube together. And the only difference that I've done here is, is I've just used some pattern paper and that's just to stick on the inside panels of my cubes to again add a little bit of contrast to that white and uh, this is um, pac uh, Pacific cardstock I think this is, I can't remember if it's the, um, I don't know if it's the mint one, but it's the Central Repair anyway, I can't remember the name of the colour. Um, it's escaped my attention. Dave. Okay. It has. Uh, but again, I'm just going to pop on the panels and it just adds that little element to them uh, and creates uh, something a little bit... Um, of a contrast. Uh, I'm going to pop my other two pieces on the other inside pieces of my panels as well, like so. And this is just the decoration part, that bit. Once you've, once you've nailed how to pop a cube card together and use these dies, they look absolutely stunning. They do look great. They really do. And if you missed any of the measurements, remember, you can always watch any of our programmes back after they go on out on our website. So you can look back at yesterday's shows today, the day before's shows today. Uh, yeah, so those important measurements that Debbie gave you at the beginning of that demo, you'll be able to watch that back if you missed it. Correct. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so, and then lastly, what am I going to do with this one? Because I've popped another little panel on the inside we're still all right for time Ben yeah just over a minute oh fine yeah, absolutely time for fine. Debbie yeah loads of time and I'm just gonna pop in a little strip of paper on the inside panel as well and bring that up to have that little bit of a contrast and then attach and I'll, I'll I'm just hearing now <laughs> the time so I'm gonna attach that there um, into the center um, and if I just move the one that I've actually attached there you go. There you go. That's the sort of thing you can do. That's the sort of thing dice. that you can do. Absolutely. And very striking. They really are good fun, aren't they, Dave? CQ2098, that's the product code. Now, I've just got some breaking news to tell you. I haven't got a clue what I'm, is about to come out of my mouth. <coughs> go on, go then. ahead. The website is going live today at some point this afternoon. So all the products, we're going to keep an eye on it, but I've just been told, yeah, at some point today, our website... The website's working now, but it's only for live shows. You'll only see what's basically in the shows at any one time. But we should have everything that we've got available on our website to order at any time you like later this afternoon. As soon as we see that that has actually happened, we'll let you know. Exciting times. It is hobby exciting. Maker. OK, see you later, Debbie. Yes, see you at three. <laughs>to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. &P. 
Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24 7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. My name is Anne-Marie and I am the creative manager at Hunky Dory Crafts. Hunky Dory are the UK's premier paper craft manufacturer and we design and manufacture all of our paper craft goodies back at home in Preston. We do lots of paper craft products as well as Moonstone dyes. We have our prism range of colouring mediums like watercolour pencils, alcohol markers, water brush pens and we also have our very own range of stamps called For the Love of Stamps. We're really looking forward to bringing you all of our brand new product launches as well as our inspirational demonstrations which we just know the audience love. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker! Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. <laughs> Very well, welcome back. It is Hobby Maker on this Friday, getting ready for a very, very uh, exciting and busy weekend here. Uh, lots of great shows to look forward to all the way through the weekend, including the return of Parchcraft Australia. Uh, now, uh, the lovely Elaine is with me. Good to see Hi. you back. You're right. Yeah. Nice to be here, Dave. Yep. We treated you okay last time you came back. Absolutely. I decided we'd come back. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, now, Parchcraft, um, it's basically a company that was originally Australian, but you you took it over, didn't you? With yeah, Elaine? We, we bought it um, two years ago and brought it into the country. So just out of the, the UK onto the end it's all designed produced and distributed now within the uk so oh, uh, yeah hopefully guys that ordered last time should notice our orders went out within 48 hours so fantastic just hope everybody was uh, was yeah. happy with that i'm sure they were yeah. absolutely they were now we've got lots of brand new things today now you might think to yourself oh parchment that sounds a little bit um old-fashioned I didn't realize you could still do it well this is kind of parchment brought up to date really isn't it don't you think it is it's brought up to date and made more accessible yeah that's the the accessibility is the the aim that we've we've gone for 
And actually, if you've got anything that you've done, maybe from the last show uh, when Meryl and Elaine were here, um, think about taking it, a, a picture of it with your camera and emailing it into us, studio at hobbymaker.co.uk. We can show it on the TV. That would be fantastic if you could. Um, now, we've got all brand new items in the show today, including a really, really lovely way to get started if you've never done anything like this before. Now, this is called Lily Three Ways, which did actually make us chuckle a little bit. It did, outside yeah. Earlier on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but this is basically a, a Lily template and where you can see the white on the template, that's actually been etched is it, is it by a laser. It is, yeah. We do them with a laser cutter, yes. Right. Yeah. And the idea is that you actually put your parchment over the, uh, the lasered section and you can then basically trace the lily and the borders and the frames and all of that sort of thing. So it appeals to an awful lot of people. And if you're not artistic in any way or, or in any shape or form, um, then this makes it easy because it's basically tracing. And if your ball tool goes out of the grooved area where the laser's been, it doesn't mark the parchment. It's, it? it's foolproof, Dave. It is absolutely foolproof, yeah. Anybody can do it. I mean, I said on the show last time, we've got a five-year-old that does it. Um, we've got a lady who's got um, really bad arthritis. She, she can do it. She had to leave her parchment because of the shaking in her hands, etc. She's now taking it up again, and she's really happy to be able to, uh, to do it. So, uh, now, this collection is everything you need to get started, basically, in one really cool kit. You've got your foam mat, which is important. We'll talk about that a bit later on. You've got your template, your etch template, which you can actually feel which side the actual laser has been. You can see, you feel the texture. Yeah, that's right. That, that's the way of making sure you've got the, that template the right way up when you're working on it. Just rub your nail across it. If it's got a rough side to it, that's the side that you're going to be working on. OK. And talk us through the tools, because you've got lots of different coloured pencils here, so you can colour your parchment. We'll go into that a bit more detail a bit later on. Um, ball tools that you've got here, you've got uh, a couple, of, well there's one on each end of the tool, one's really fine and one's slightly bigger and bolder. That's right, we've, the, the smaller tool's got a 0 0.8 end to it, 8, 0.8 mil, which is what the, um, the etching is designed to fit. That will fit exactly into those grooves for you and then there's a larger one on the other end of that and then the, the other tool which I'm going to move on to today for people who already do a bit of parchment but want to move into some of the traditional work. Um, the other tool has got a 3mm ball tool and a 6mm ball tool yep. and we're going to use that to do some um, block embossing. Okay, fantastic. And you've also got your piercing tool here as well, your twin needle piercing tool. Yep, perforating tool. Perforating yep. tool. Yep. And then uh, tumble dryer sheet, which always makes me laugh, but that helps the actual ball tool glide over. It the does. If you wipe that across your parchment, it gives a nice smooth flow to your tool. If you're doing a large piece and you suddenly think, oh, my tool's just a bit gritty, give it an extra wipe with your tumble dryer sheet. Just a word of warning, though, the ones that we've got in this pack are ideal. They're the dry ones. Right. Okay. Um, don't buy the wet ones because that will that will ruin your parchment. It'll ruin your parchment. Yeah. yeah. And then you get how many sheets of parchment? Ten sheets of parchment. Okay, great. That's included too. So everything you need to get started, uh, and you've also got your paper template there as well. That's yeah. Can I just um, just interrupt you there one mm. second, Dave? I actually amended the kit when I was doing the the USB, um, and the parchment you get now is A4 parchment, not A5. Oh, okay. It's the same price. The kit's exactly the same price. But you will get A4, yeah, not A5. You get A4 because I wanted to show um, the parchers how to do fold round cards and you can't actually do that with an A5 so there's a bit more value there for okay. you because Brilliant. We've, we've yeah so I've only got A5 it. in front of me but yeah. you'll get A4 which is great and the USB I think this is a key thing because you've actually got is it a three hour tutorial it's three hour tutorial it goes through doing the template doing the um, pencil work and doing the embossing work so it's for it's for parchers and crafters that want to move on from doing just the plain template and using a paper pattern, which is what um, the traditional parchers do, which is in your kit as well. And I'll, I'll move through that and show you how we can work all that in together. Okay. okay. Well, it's a great starter kit. You've even got your colouring pencils there as well, because colouring on parchment looks stunning. Really, really does. There's so much in this kit. And the product code is SRP916. Now, that price is what you should be paying, but you're not paying that today, as you can see. Whenever you see the blue arrows go down, you know that you're going to be in for a treat. And everybody pays the final low price, which is 54 99 And we've also got on split pay as well. So that is on... Is that on four? Is that four split pays? Three split pays. OK, £18.33 is all you pay today, plus your postage of three ninety five, and it's on its way to you. Everything you need to get started. And I must admit, Lily is one of my favourite flowers. Yeah. Love yeah. them. Yeah. I mean, the, the thing with it is, I, I went for the Lily because it lends itself to being, being able to demonstrate all three of the techniques. 
if people aren't actually keen on lilies, they can still learn the techniques from the USB right. and transfer that on to, um, to other designs. Excellent. Okay, so that's our first brand new kit today. $54.99, but you don't have to pay that in full if you don't want to. Now, we've also got our floral birthday. Now, there are four 8x8 templates here. So if you've already you know, invested in the tools, you've already got those, you don't need them again, then here, these are just the templates on their own. But you're going to get not only all these beautiful flowers for all year round, but you're also going to get that fantastic frame that you can see down there as well. And to give you an idea of the sort of things that you can achieve with this, let me just show you some of the finished cards here. Uh, Janice Wakeman has done this one. Nice one, Janice. This one is by Ruth Fletcher. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? This one is by, again, Ruth Fletcher. Someone's been busy. And then look at this frame. Look at that. And that's by Janice Waitman again as well. But the detail in that frame is amazing. Um, when you don't want to use flowers, but maybe you want to use uh, something more like a cross, for example, again, the frame can be used for all sorts it of can, things. It can, yeah, it's very diverse. And as well, if you want to use it across crafts, so if somebody does decoupage or if they do a bit of cross stitching, that Celtic frame is absolutely beautiful to offset another piece of work that you've already done. Well, Tracy's done that one. Nice one, Tracy. So, yeah, you get all of these. So it's basically all the flowers of the seasons, isn't it? It's, um, it's, there's 12 flowers, one for each month of the year. So the idea is you've got any birthdays you've got coming up for your ladies over the next year, um, get well wishes, whatever. You can, um, you can make a card straight away. And remember, where you've got the image, that's where you'll feel the actual lasered line and the ball tool fits in there. And even if you accidentally jump out of it, it won't mark the parchment. It will give you the white work where the lasered lines are. Uh, $51.99 is the price for this. Is that the, is that the final price? Yeah, $51.99 or two split pays of $25.99 if you want to spread it into two payments. OK, that's brand new today as well. Yep. OK, next we've got the mindfulness. Now tell us about this. What's the idea behind the mindfulness collection? The idea of this is that a lot of people like, um, I mean, my good friend um, Sandra Rushton does Sentangle. Um, it's a mindfulness craft. Um, some people have got, again, hands that are too shaky for it. They haven't got the confidence to do it. So we've actually gone in and we've done this already for you and we've etched all of those lines into those templates so you can go ahead now and all you've got to do is follow those lines around now you might look at them especially the cat and think good grief that is so so technical i can't do that but believe me you can do it yeah. it's tracing yeah so it's if um, doing more. it freehand scares you this is basically putting a ball tool in the groove and just letting it follow the line and you will achieve results just like this these are amazing how's this one been done this is by jan cobley wow yeah. That, that's done using that template and she's actually coloured in um, the teddy bear's head so she's just taken the head from the, the template and then cut it out and put it on there so it's just thinking outside the box. Well the two kind of crafts complement each other, Santangle and Parchment, they do. don't they? Yeah, they yeah. kind of work hand in hand. Yeah. So Yvonne's done this one, the oversized Tangle Cat, that's been coloured in beautifully. <laughs> yeah. Here's another one, looks totally different and this is by Janice Waitman as well. So if you love your animals, treat yourself to the Mindfulness Collection, two 8x8 templates. But if you've tried Santangle and you'd rather have the benefit of having the guide of the groove uh, in this, the lasered uh, line, then that's what's going to make that so much easier for you at $25.99 for both of them, okay? You wouldn't uh, believe how much you lose yourself in those as well. I could believe because it, Because yeah. they, they are quite um, in-depth. There's a lot of lines to them. Um, they're not hard, but you can just lose yourself, you know, if you're just embossing away, watching the TV. And the beauty of it is all you need is a 12 by 12 space. Yeah. Your template, a piece of parchment and an embossing tool. Could you even do it maybe on a lap trace, that in your arm? Yeah, chair? absolutely. That's, I'd, I've got a lap trace. Lap, bleh, laptop, I've got, also got a lap tray. Um, I've done it on a train, take it to the caravan, anywhere at all, even when my husband's driving. Saves me looking at the road, you know. Perfect. <laughs> okay, well, if you fancy those two together, then they're 25 99 for the two. And the, four, the final one is your floral boots. Now, these are really lovely, actually. Um, I noticed you were wearing fancy boots earlier on. Yeah. Is that where the idea fancy came from? Fancy boots, yeah. <laughs> these, these are actually my favourites. Mary Duffy has done this one. So there are the actual templates. There we go, look, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, there we go. I mean, some people do actually have and do grow plants and, and flowers out of Wellington boots like that, yeah, don't they? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, why not? 
And this is just white work, no colouring in on this one. You've got a lovely kind of coloured background, but really, really gorgeous. And the watering can, that's on there too, I think. That's using just the watering can from the um, welly one. From the welly one, yeah. brilliant. Okay, and that's another one. Now, this has been really jazzed up with all sorts of glitter and adhesive gemstones on there as well. Isn't that lovely? You could even use something like that for a wedding card. You could? Yeah, that's absolutely stunning, I think. It's, uh, yeah. Now, just to let you know, we have also got the parchment that is available on the show as well in different colourways. That will be on the website if you have a little look at uh, hobbymaker.co.uk. But the two fantastic templates you get here, they are loaded with detail. They really are. They're so shiny. So let's kind of angle them. That's better. Look, you've got the butterflies on there. You've got all sorts going on. So you can take as little or as much from them as you want to, but there's so much detail. I love the fact you've got the corners up here as well. These decorative corners are really, really lovely. Uh, so that one, if you want that particular item, that is, can't see the price, $25.99. So basically, $25.99 gets you both of those, and that's ROP913, if you fancy popping that into your order. Okay, now, Elaine, what are you going to show us first of all? I'm going to go with the Lily's Three Way to start off with. Okay. Um, the idea is that if you've already done template work and you want to get into a bit of traditional parchment, then this kit encourages you to be, to be able to do both the embossing and the colouring, which is, is the love of my life, colouring. Absolutely adore it, okay. And you've actually got in this kit, I've designed it so that you've got the five pencil colours that you will need to be able to do the, um, the lily. If you can, I don't know if you can see down here, these are what I'm talking about. But, oops, good headshot there. <laughs> Can you see that? This is the, the pencil work, okay? This is done using just five of the pencils, okay? And there's full instructions of how to do this, so don't think you have to be any budding artist to be able to do that. You don't, okay? It's absolutely simple. Okay. And then if we move across to the one that's in the front there, that's perhaps a bit pale background on it, but that's just the, the template work that's done there, just plain template, nothing else done to it. And then at the side there, if I move that one out, there you go. That's the beautiful white work embossing. Now the template buddy, which is up on the screen, if you're wondering what that is, basically that's the ideal frame to put your templates into, um, no matter what size they are really. It is, it? it's like a third hand. Yeah. All, all of our templates are made in 121 mils by 171 mils or eight by eight inches, okay? You've got a large template body, which does the eight by eight inches, and you've got the small template body, which does the 121 by 171. We don't produce anything outside of that. Okay. Okay. So all you do with this body, place your template in the centre and then take in a sheet of parchment paper. Now I, I always use blue tack. Meryl, my partner, she uses um, low tack tape, just rolls it up to make a little roll and then uses that. Mm -hmm. I prefer blue tack. It's entirely your choice. It's um, so long as the basic rule is so long as this is secure. Sure. It doesn't move. Then Maybe um, you're thinking along the lines of this for Mothering Sunday. Okay, we can't get it to you in time for Mothering Sunday because it's only a, literally a couple of days away no. now. <laughs> um, but you should get it, you know, the early part of next week, hopefully. Um, but it could be something, yeah, rather than chocolate or rather than maybe you can't go out for a meal, don't want to, it's going to be too busy, you'd rather get mum something like this, I bet she'd love it. I really would yeah. bet she'd love it. And Easter as well. Absolutely, Easter's a, a fantastic time to, uh, to start it. Right, so I've just attached that to the template body, taking hold of the tumble dry sheet. I'm just going to give this a, a good wipe. I mean, I, I did demonstrate doing the templates on their own last time, but I'm going to cover it again because it's included in this, um, the USB. Um, the USB covers all three of the cards that I've shown you. Yeah. Um, there's a, I think it's about two hours, 50 minutes in total. Um, and it covers everything that you need to know to be able to complete the three cards that I've just shown you on the front okay. there, okay? Brilliant. Which is brilliant. Rather than having your written instructions, you've got somebody in front of you on camera. You can stop it, you can rewind it, you can go back, you can... I shouldn't say that you can share it with a friend. I'm not bothered. <laughs> You're not precious about that. Okay. I don't get <laughs> um, Right, so using the smallest of the tools and the smallest end, which is the 0.8, yeah. um, the parchment protector, which comes in the middle of your template body 
you don't want to touch the parchment at all. Oh, so it keeps your fingers away. It keeps your fingers away yeah. because, I mean, like, my, mine are quite sweaty at the moment. Must be your animal magnetism, Dave, I don't know. Just, <laughs> or, the, or studio lights, anyway, one yeah, of the right. two. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, always start at the centre of your template. The reason being that as you're going round these lines, it's stretching the parchment. So if you're working from the centre, you're pushing that stretch out towards the edge. Okay, I remember so the first time I ever did it, years ago now, I was worried about ripping the parchment, but you can't do that, can you? You can't do that because the laser is set to a certain depth, which ensures that you get an, a nice white embossed line, but you can't put the tool through because right. it's still got acrylic underneath it. And even if you go out of the line, you don't mark the parchment? No, no, if I, if I go... Oh, I so right. if, if a nice child comes up and gets hold of your work and gives it some of that on it, it doesn't mark it. Oh, great. It will not mark it at all. So that's, uh, as I say... The and it means everyone's going to get a professional result as well, because yeah. if you can trace, which is what this is, yeah. you're going to get the same result. Absolutely. And we've, we've got a full angel policy on this. So, it, you know, if you do craft fairs, um, Christmas, if you want to do hundreds of the same ones, they're going to be identical if you use the same template, mm. unless you decide to leave bits and pieces out. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, um, like with this one, you can, you can do a straight edge, you can do a scalloped edge. Um, and we're not maintaining that this is the fastest craft in the world. No, it's not. But, you know, you're in craft because you love the process. If everything was done in 10 seconds flat, there'd be no point in doing it. So, yeah, it takes a little bit of time to do. But you know what? It's so rewarding and it's so enjoyable. I'd, Just I'd, look how quickly those white lines appear from virtually nowhere. Yeah, I'd, I would dare to say as well, it's one of the most relaxing crafts that's out there at the moment. Because you, you really, honestly and truthfully, you don't have to even think about what you're doing. You know, I, I, can, I can actually be, still be part of my family. I don't have to whip away to the craft room no. to focus on what I'm doing. That's what I like about it. You can that's, do it on your lap, virtually. Yeah, that's right. So if you, you know, if you want to sit in front of the TV and watch the soaps with the family, then, you know, it's not that noise isn't going to stop you thinking... Mm, where what about get you know, sitting out in the in the spring sunshine? Yeah, sitting out absolutely. On the patio table doing yeah, it. yeah, absolutely. The only thing you have to be a bit careful of is that um, it's not overly affectionate to uh, to heat. Right. So uh, I did try um, doing mine in Tenerife once on uh, on my lap on a, a sunbed, and it didn't like the the temperature. Right. So uh, I'm just going to do that one lily, so that I can just show you the effect that you get on there. We can come back to this later on. So if I move the I'm button. surprised that tacky stuff you've used doesn't actually leave a residue. It doesn't, does it? I thought no. it would do. No, no. It's uh, the proviso that it's, it's fairly new stuff. Mm. If you use the old stuff, then it gets a bit, doesn't it? But So that, as you can see, in, in just a couple of minutes, I've got that lily beautifully prepared. Look how crisp okay. that is as well. Yep. And if you wanted to add a little bit of extra white work with the ball tools, you could do that too. If you, you could, get a little bit yep. more yeah. We, we can always go, if I just flip this over, um, give it another wipe with my tumble dryer sheet. And then if I start using the, the larger ball tool, excuse me, when you're embossing, you do flicks. So it's a sort of stab, flick, stab, flick. And you're moving in the direction of the petal. So it's creating the curve on that petal all the while. I'm actually going to cover this in the, uh, the next. We have actually got some tools on the screen for you, actually. So you're going to get a... What size are they? Which one are you looking at, Dave? You get the two that are in the kit, basically. Is that, right, is that so right? You, you've got, yeah, you've got two tools. There's a, a 0 0.8 and a 1.2. Right. And then the other one is a 3mm and a 6mm. So if you just want those on their own, they're 8 99 But, of course, if you go for the Lily three ways, you're going to get uh, your two ball tools in there. Get the ball tools in there and the perforating tool, yeah. So if I flip that over, um, lay on the mat, you'd probably be able to see. Can you see that? What do I need to do with that? Do I need to pick it up? You lift it up, it up a, a little bit, bit for yep. us, that's it. There yep. you go. Yeah, okay. So this is the one that I've worked on. Now at the moment that just looks grey. Okay, that's how it should look for your first layer. Okay. If that's come out white, straight away you have gone far too heavy. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a patience game. Yeah. Yeah. 
So what I'm going to do now, what I would do normally, I would go around the entire design and then I'd come back again and do, so I'm going to go back in. Well, let me just show you, if you want those two tools, if you don't want to go for the three-way or Lily three-ways, um, you just want the ball tools, there we go, or maybe someone else wants to do it at, along with you, maybe, you know, get, meet up for coffee or something like that. Those two together with all the different sizes of the balls are just 8 99 OXP986 is your product code for that. Okay, so I'll give them that a second layer now. And as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit more white. Yeah. Or whiter. But don't expect it on the first flip. Don't, ex numerous don't expect the middle where you're doing the free end embossing to match the outside embossing on your first layer. Okay. You're going to need about six layers to bring that up to the same colour. And what you would do, so I've done two layers with the, the six mil. Mm -hmm. I'm now going to change down to the three mil tool and I'm going to once again. Go in there. And all of this is covered on the USB? This is all on the USB, yeah. There's, I'd, I take quite a long time explaining, going down through the tools and smoothing out. Okay, so if I just do that one off of that petal now and let's show you the difference. Oh, yeah. Can you see now? So the smaller the ball tool, the more... Yeah. But don't go in straight away. Don't be tempted to go in straight away with the small tool because the large tool is relaxing the parchment. Right. Okay. And then the, it will accept the smaller tool better. So there is a process okay. that you have there, to There follow. is a yeah. process, yeah. Don't charge straight in like a bull in a china shop. Um, it's easy, but it takes time. Okay. Well, remember, if you go for the brand new Lily Three Ways, this is what you're going to get, remember. You get the all-important two ball tools with the four ends on them. You get your perforated tool as well, the twin-ended perforated needle tool. Your, um, you've got your smooth tumble dryer sheet as well to make it uh, a lot more slippery for the ball tool on the actual template. You get 10 sheets of A4 of the parchment and you get, of course, your template there as well. So this is what you get, the whole thing. Uh, and remember, it's got it on the screen there, 10 sheets of A4. We've got A5 in the studio, but it is A4 that you're going to be getting as an extra little bit of a treat. And that's on three-way split as well. So it's 18.33 today, plus your P&P of £3.95. But once you've paid that, you can buy as many things from us today as you want up to midnight and you won't pay any more than that one pound, uh, that one P and P of three pounds ninety five, and that is SRP nine one six. SRP nine one six. If you want that particular kit today, that's brand new. Now the Lily template. This is the only way that you can actually get the Lily template. You can't buy that individually at the moment. So if you do fancy it, go for the starter kit today, and it will come with. Remember all the uh, beautiful colour pencils as well. You get browns and greens in there, and of course the yellows and the whites. All of those included as well. Are they special types of pencils? They're um, they're polychrome or splendable pencils. Yeah. They're, yeah, they're, they're not children's pencils, they're, right. they're adult coloring pencils, yeah. Um, they're quite expensive to buy. Um, normally on their own they'd be about two pounds each. Right. Um, so th they are, if you buy them, they're your pencils. And do you add the colour from the back or from the front or can you that's do both? That's entirely your choice. Right. Entirely your choice. It all depends on what sort of effect you, you want to get. Shall I move on and talk about the um, the paper pattern that's come yeah, in that sure. kit okay. as well? Because okay. this comes with it. Yeah. That comes with it. So to move on to the next two designs, so the, the pencil pattern and the embossing pattern, you need to work on a paper pattern. So this is moving more away from template to traditional parchment. Okay. Okay. So it's encouraging our ladies to grow in the craft. Right. Okay, mm -hmm. so what I'm going to do, I'm going to place my parchment on top of the pattern, fasten it down. You might like to take a photocopy of your pattern before um, you stick it down and keep this one as a master. I did actually write on the bottom, actually use this as a master, and then I've gone and stuck mine on, but anyway. Um, you've got a white pencil in the kit. Make sure it's very, very sharp, okay? And then all you're going to do is trace all the lines. So this is for somebody with a steadier hand who wants to move on to doing a little bit more of the traditional method. Okay. So the are, are there two different camps then? People that love the template method and people that prefer the more traditional? I think 
think... Um, or is it a mixture? It's a mixture, yeah. There, there, are, there is a camp that is purely and wholly traditional parchment and they think that um, the templates are taboo, it's not real parchment. That doesn't concern me, we're making the, the craft mm. Um, Making it more accessible to everyone, yeah. To, to everyone, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong, Dave, I started out as a traditional parcher, um, and I absolutely love the traditional methods. But we were finding more and more that people that were coming to our classes and our workshops were getting less and less um, because they found it too difficult. Mm. You know, it was either too difficult or they'd got some dexterity problem um, that didn't, that meant they could no longer do the traditional stuff. So having the template gave them the freedom to be able to continue. Absolutely, their and they could still join the friends in doing the parchment mm -hmm. craft, and they could still produce the beautiful images without having to do all of the tracing. Right. So I'm not going to. You don't need to watch me trace all that. What I've done, I've already got one. It's a bit of blue Peter going on there. So there's one there. I've been around all the lines and I've traced it with the pencil, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, to, to carry on now and do some embossing on it, we're going to work on the opposite side to the pencil, okay? So that's the pencil side. Flip it over and we're going to work on this side. Is the um, parchment a different texture on one side to the other? No, no, it's all the same. There's no front and back. No, there's right. no front and back to it. The only, only way that when the only time that comes in, I can't get my words today. I don't know what's the mm -hmm. matter with me. Um, is when you've got coloured parchment. So um, the black parchment that we've got and the rainbow parchment have different sides for different effects. Right. Okay. So working on this to do the to do this card. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to use the largest, the rule of thumb with uh, freehand embossing is that you use the largest ball tool first that will fit in the space that you are embossing. Okay. Okay. So protector, keep your fingers away from it and back again to the flicking, exactly the same as we did on the template. Right. And now when I come round on this one, I'm going to leave a little gap when I come up to the pencil line. And you've got to make sure that you're using your foam pad as well. Obviously. Yeah, use your embossing mat. Sorry, yeah. I forgot to say that. Thanks. Um, so nice and sharp on the edges and then come in round. Again, follow the direction that your petal is moving in. Okay, it all helps to make it appear real. Okay, moving on to another petal. You can actually you find your, your own way of doing this, either working away from yourself or working towards yourself. But in, in each section, make sure that you work in the same direction and make sure that all of those lines overlap just slightly. Okay, you don't want to leave any grey areas inside. Now, with embossing, this is where you move on to um, if you spoil it, you spoil it. Mm -hmm. Okay, once you've embossed something, you can't rub it out. Right. So, nice and slow, when you first started embossing, follow the video tutorial. It explains absolutely everything that you need to know. And just, first of all, just trace out one section, <coughs> excuse me, and, and work on the embossing on that until you get that right, and then you will know you've got the confidence to move on to the full and it's great that that project. usb or dongle call it what you will is included that's what's got the nearly two hour tutorial which you can fast forward rewind pause and play uh, just pop it in your pc and then up the program will pop on your screen whether it's a laptop or a desktop pc but you get that for the kind of confidence you've also well, i suppose actually a lot of people have got smart tvs with usb ports and absolutely you can just plug it into the yeah TV. you can plug it into the tv yeah, yeah. So. Um, you've got your two double-ended ball tools, you've got your twin perforation needle as well, uh, the tumble dry, uh, tumble dry sheet, you get A4 parchment, not the A5 that I've got in front of me, you're going to get A4, plus the embossing mat and the pencils and of course the all-important template for the lily as well. So all of that, that is a brilliant deal and it's SRP916. I know one collection that's going very, very quickly actually is the floral birthday. Can we go over to that now? 
Elaine, we can, right? yeah, if you okay. want to move on to that. Yeah, yeah if that's all right. To, yeah, have, no you got that, um, have you got that board that you should I have, have you yes. Yep. Because this it kind of explains how you can use these. You've got a different flower for each month of the year. Oh, yeah, great. So let me show you these. These, I think, are stunning. So you've got your daisy, you've got your carnation, you've got your iris, all these beautiful flowers. And the idea is that you can, of course, put different months of the year on them so you can make calendars and that sort of thing as well. But look at the beautiful um, Celtic frame that you're going to get as well. And this is so, so impressive. It looks so 3D. It looks as if it's been, um, you know, kind of latticed together. But it's a kind of an optical illusion. And again, the template has got the laser that's been very, very precisely etched into the acrylic, and it's that that gives you the line that you follow with your ball tool. But there's a lot here for your money. Now, we've only got about 25 opportunities to get this if you want it. There's a lot here for your money. Lovely, lovely quality. And, you know, you could be you could be working on like calendars and things like that all through the year to Absolutely. give to your nearest and dearest later in the year. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And you can use the flowers completely independently. They don't need to be for calendars. No, that's right. You, you can either put the the name on them where it says rose and June for the month or just do the rose on its own. Um, and in the Celtic frame template, there's also, is there four or five greetings in there? I can't remember. So you've got the happy birthday. You've got um, get well um, with love and thinking of you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's the gap in the centre. What do they call that bit in the... Is Aperture, Aperture isn't it? The bit, yeah. yeah, is designed specifically to fit one of the florals and one of the greetings. Right. That will fit exactly into that space for you. Well, the bundle, I think, is pretty amazing because, remember, you don't just get one flower on each template. You're going to get four of them, 12 in total, one for every month of the year. Twenty-five ninety-nine is your first split pay payment if you fancy going for it today, or you can give us the full fifty-one ninety-nine if you want to. But very, very popular. Lots of you checking out with this. Dawn in Greater London, Penny in Kent, Sarah in Wiltshire. Also, many of you coming through for these today. Have you got a favourite flower out of all those, Elaine, or, or not? Um, I like the lily of the valley because it was um, one of my aunties. Right. favourite flowers. Uh, as far as colouring them, I like the chrysanthemum. Fair enough. That's just mine. If I can just show you these as well, if mm. that's okay, Dave. Um, if you want to incorporate... Um, ooh, are we in focus? Yeah. If you want to incorporate the white work into these, um, Rachel Elliott did these for me, and um, these are absolutely stunning. Rachel's done the, the embossing within them and she's also done some absolutely amazing pk edge work around those as well again that's a labor that. of love but look it at the is. effect when you the, do it. the effect is stunning and then also if we look at these and also i did two different colors so you can see the different effect that you, you can create as well by the color that you add to the the back of the the mountain Love it, okay. absolutely love yeah. it. And that white work makes all the difference. It makes it, it pop, does. makes it 3D. Yeah, it really, makes it, it 3D, yeah, that's right. And these, when you're trying to start doing embossing work, this is really is a small piece of work. Yeah. You know, it doesn't take a lot to emboss that. Excuse me, where if you're, if you're embossing the lily, it takes a while mm. to get in there. This is just a, a little... What is it three by three? It's not. It's not too challenging. It's not no, too daunting no, to look no. at. And these also. These make a lovely set of coasters as well. Yeah. I did a set of coasters with them. That's and a really that, good idea. Yeah. yeah. That looks really nice as well. So the value is is brilliant. It really, really is. Loads of you coming in now. Um, Tracy, Anne in Kent as well. Penny in Kent. Lots of people in Kent watching and ordering yeah, today. Good. So if you want it today, remember if you've never shopped with us before, if you're a brand new customer, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's dead easy to become a member. Uh, completely free to join us, of course, as well. All you have to do is go onto the home page, so go to hobbymaker.co.uk and it says, uh, if you're not a member, click here and then it asks you for your email address and then you make up a password that you can remember. That's all you have to do, then you're instantly a member of Hobbymaker. And if you do want to take advantage of a special offer, if you go down to the bottom of the home page where it says, uh, would you like to receive emails, if you fill in your email address there, giving us permission to send you emails, telling you what's going on, then you'll get a £5 voucher that you can redeem against a £25 purchase or more. Okay, so that's there for you. Well, worth doing right now and if you want to call us rather than use the internet if you're not very well uh, versed with internet shopping that sort of thing I know some people love it some people don't um, the phone number is free 0800 001 4433 the call center is above me here so uh, they're great people and they'll sort out any issues you may have got in the future uh, and they'll make sure that you remember and they'll sign you up no trouble at all 
Okay, so we're going to do something from this wonderful floral birthday. The frame is, I, I mean, I paid 25 quid for the frame. I mean, the frame is stunning. It really. is stunning, yeah. yeah, And it's so interchangeable with, with so many different things. So be, because there's so much to that frame, I've actually gone ahead and I've... I've done that already, look, so you don't want to watch me doing all now, the way will, around. Will that size of template fit in the body as this, well? This is an 8 by 8 template. Um, slipped my body away somewhere nice and safe. There he is. So this, this will fit in the large template body. Mm -hmm. And the template body, remember, is like having another pair of hands. It holds on to your template for you, it gives you a rest that you can put your hand on so you're not going to get you know, hand grease or, or anything onto your parchment. Yeah, okay, so it fits straight in the middle of there. So working with this one that I've already um, started on, I'm just going to use a little bit of blue tack. I'm just going to put the greeting and the floral into it. So all I'm doing here, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera, I'm just lining up so that I've got a greeting at the bottom of there. And then I'm just sticking it down. Again, you can use the, uh, the blue tacky stuff or you can just use some uh, low tack tape. Yeah, Mar Meryl, as I say, she does like to, uh, to roll a, a low tack tape up. I tend to get in a mess with it, to be perfect. Fair enough. So <laughs> <laughs> I always go for the, uh, the easier option I do. Okay. Hi to John in Hampshire as well. He's gone for this. Shirley in Surrey, Anne in Kent, Tracy in Caerphilly, Dawn in Greater London, Penny in Kent, Susan in Greater London too. Loads of you coming through for wow. this collection. Now we've got less than 20 of these left and there is another show planned for uh, four o'clock this afternoon. So whether this will be in it depends on you. If you want it, pop it in your basket, check out. That knows. Uh, then it's absolutely yours. It's on its way in the next few days and you'll be parching before probably Easter, I would have thought. Definitely. When is oh, Easter? Absolutely. Easter's... Um, a while away, isn't it, yet? Hmm, yeah, you'll be parching before next weekend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, I mean, if, if we've got our orders by Monday, they'll be dispatched Monday by Royal Mail First Class. So uh, you should get them by, um, by next weekend. But, of course, we are reliant on um, the little red van and where it goes. And also, well, what we did um, have questions about earlier on is if you multi-order different things during the day, is it all going to come in one box? No, because it all comes from different companies. If it comes from the same company, it, chances are it will be in one box. But if you're buying something from uh, us today with parchment and then you're buying something from Crafters Companion, Elaine will send your order and Crafters Companion will send your order. So they will probably arrive, if not on the same day, probably a day or two apart, but in different boxes, obviously. But you only get charged one p and p of 3 95 yeah, we've got enough on post in our own now. We're not doing everybody's. <laughs> <laughs> and Meryl and I... See, maybe I've noticed that my handwriting's deteriorated as I've got older because everyone's texting now. We're not writing as much yeah, as we used to. Yeah, that's so this right. is going to give you perfect this handwriting. Is, yeah. So what, what I've done, I've, I, in this, because this font is a little larger, I've still used the small tool, but I've used the larger end, which is the 1.2 mm mil. And then I'm going to go back now with the small one just to catch the ends where there's some li you'll see when I show you what's what's happened to it there's some little flicks on there um, that the large tool won't won't catch so again it's back to that rule of thumb the largest ball tool that will fit in the area that you want to emboss okay so if I remove that from there pop it on my, my mat Let's have a look at this. Okay, shall I lift that that way? There, there we you go. go. Thinking of you. Okay. But look at the detail in that Celtic frame. I love it. Yeah. So that's now just left enough space here for me to put one of the florals in. Right. Okay. So I'm going to change the change the template. Still keeping it on the body. Pop in one of the the floral templates which I ought to have had out of the bag. You get four flowers on each template. You get three templates, plus, of course, the frame one as well, for fifty-one ninety-nine. Okay, so, again, slide it back into your template body. And then this gap here is the gap that you're working with. So position that over the flower that you want to 
to do. Just take a little time, just making sure by eye that it uh, it looks as though it's okay. Bit of blue tack. This is where I think the blue tack comes in handy because you can actually just it wants to curl up a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Make it have it. It's not. It's not very um, fond of these studio lights. Yeah, keep it um, when you're doing it. Keep it in a nice kind of cool place in the yeah. in the house rather than in direct sunlight or whatever. Yeah, you do want to store your parchment as well in an airtight container, um, somewhere nice and cool, not fridge cool, but you know, sort yeah. of proper temperature, proper room temperature. Okay, so again, just back to the back to the embossing. Always remember when you are moving your parchment to make sure that you pop it back on the same way so that you've got your all of your embossing done on the same side. Um, it has been known to end up with words back to front if you don't check when you move your parchment that it's the same way up on the template. Carolyn in Gloucestershire has just come through, brand new crafter, welcome to you. We'll get your name when you register, which is what you're doing at the moment. Um, Anne-Marie in County Ammar, you're loving this. I don't think it's going to be here at four o'clock, you know, Elaine. Does that mean I get to go home early? Oh, no. Oh, sure. We've got plenty of other things. So. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to think about that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but it certainly looks like the floral birthday will be the first one to sell out. Four eight by eight templates. You are loving it. Just a long list of people coming in. Maybe it's your first experience of parching. Um, and you're thinking, well, yeah, well, I can, I can do this. I mean, I, I've got really fond memories of when I was a kid, uh, tracing. I loved tracing yeah. anything and everything yeah. because I always used to get good results. And that's what you're doing here indirectly, is, Yeah. but just following a little... I, I used to have a, a fantastic tracing book that was... Um, you got the doll in cardboard and then you had to trace the clothes yeah. and dress the doll. And I, I spent absolute hours with it because I'll let you into a secret. I can't draw to save my life. Really? Mm. If it, if it wasn't for um, the graphic design program that we use to, to do these designs on, I would have no chance whatsoever. I cannot draw. But it's turning you into an artist. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, anybody that's out there that's thinking, well, it's all right for you, um, <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> Ask me to draw a horse. Mind you, don't, because it's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of those that looks like a table, it's got a leg on each corner. That's me. And the thing is, you know, uh, we're finding an awful lot of people are discovering, obviously, parch, parching with you, but also Santangle with Sandra. And it's a similar sort of thing in, in, in effect. Oh, OK, Santangle is more kind of freestyle. You, you do the shapes or the lines yourself. This is following a groove system. But um, now well over half the stock has been checked out. Loads of you are putting it into your basket right now. But if you put it in your basket and check out now, there's one coming its way to you or one set of four coming uh, on its way to you. If you leave it until the later show, I don't know if we're going to have any stock in the later show. So two split payments as well. So you don't have to pay the whole thing in one go, just first payment of $25.99. Remember, it's one PMP of $3.95 for the whole day's orders. So if you buy five things, up to midnight tonight, you'll only pay one PMP for that delivery of three ninety-five. And you can check out as many times as you want. Leaving things in your basket to save on the PMP doesn't work. It doesn't make any sense. Check out because you won't charge, won't be charged any more PMP than the three ninety-five if you check out half a dozen times or twenty times during the day. Just one postage charge, which we love. It's absolutely brilliant because I mean some of the parcels that we sent out um, just from from our orders last time were above that mm. in, in postage cost. Mm. I mean, if you imagine the, um, the card blanks that we've got on, you know, 50 card blanks and 50 cello envelopes, you can't post them for 3 dollars No, you can't. You know, no. You're not going to get them from, from anywhere, so it is a cracking deal, it really is. So if I now remove that from there, pop that on there and just lift it up a little bit for you. Oh, look at that. There you go. Isn't that gorgeous? Now that could go straight in a picture frame, straight on the wall. Yeah. Okay, we're thinking card making an awful lot here at Hobby Maker, but it doesn't have to be. That could be wall art, mm -hmm. um, someone's new home maybe. Um, I mean, you can imagine if, if you'd got three or four of these to do in a line across your living room wall mm -hmm. in the frames, it'd look absolutely beautiful. Really so, would. Okay, so the floral birthday from Elaine and... 
Parchment Australia or Parchcraft Australia. Remember, it was started off to be a, 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 in, originally an Australian company, but Elaine and Merrill uh, took it over, and now everything's produced and manufactured in the UK. In, in Nottinghamshire. Yeah. Nottinghamshire. Yeah. So Robin Hood country. Homegrown crafts. That's what we like. Yeah. Twenty-five ninety-nine. Then gets you the frame. That frame I love. Absolutely love that. Anything Celtic, I love. Then you get happy birthday. Get well soon with love and thinking of you as the verses and the little frames around them as well. So you can use all of them or just use one at a time, whatever you want to do. I suppose also if you didn't want to have the frame as thick as it is on the template, you can only do just like one strand of the weave if you wanted to. Could you do that or not really? You, you would struggle, Dave. Would you? Yeah. Okay. So it's, an, it's a nice idea, but you, you would struggle because it is, it's, it's intertwined. Right. And so it would look a bit old if you didn't yeah. have it. We, we have got some, in the pipelines, we've got some Celtic frames that are um, smaller than these. Right. So uh, they, they, they will be coming, um, but it would be a little bit difficult. Uh, I think possibly just looking at it, you could possibly do um, a corner on its own, but to actually try and reduce the size of the frame, you might struggle a little yeah, bit. Yeah, might not work. Yeah. Okay, but 51.99 gets the whole four plates for you. They're all eight by eight. They'll fit in the uh, the template buddy, of course, brilliantly, which we really would recommend because it just helps you to get a better result because it gives you somewhere to put your hands. It gives you a hand guard so you're not getting your greasy hands on the parchment, which could mark it. So yeah, it makes sense to go for the template buddy at the same time if you'd like to. That would be a starting point. Template buddy first, then choose maybe either the floral yeah. birthday, maybe go for the lily three ways. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I would strongly recommend the template buddy. Yeah. I mean, the amount of those that we've sold since we actually produced them, it speaks for itself. But, you know, the crafters out there are using them and, they, okay. you know, they're getting to rely on them. And remember, the template buddy, it comes, is it three or four parts you get? Um, you get four parts, four parts. Um, three usable parts. One, one of the bits is just a just to fill in, just to, to hold it all together. Okay, yep. so basically what you're gonna get is, is the actual surround to hold your template, no matter what size it is that you buy from uh, Parchcraft, it will fit in there. Uh, and you get your hand rest as well. And that's just 19.99, OVP947 is the product number. You really will notice the difference. If you haven't got the template buddy yet and you're doing this, get it and see the difference it makes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. And there it is. You can order it on the website. You can order it on the phones. It's a free phone number, and it's free to order on the web at hobbymaker.co.uk, of course, too. Right. What I wanted to do, um, if it's what we've got time, haven't we? Yeah. Um, yeah, seven pe minutes. People often say to me, um, yeah, fair enough, I've got that now. How am I going to attach that to, to a card? Good point, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you two ways, two of the easiest ways. Um, first of all, if you... I don't know, most parties I think of, or most crafters have got one of these in the in the bags. If you haven't got one of these in your kit, um, you can use a single needle tool. And at a push, at a very, very push, you can use the finest of the ball tools, but I wouldn't recommend it. Not ideal. No, Th this is a, a pokey tool. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of crafters Every craft have, has got a Yeah, tool, I would have if thought If not so. six or seven. Yeah, 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 that's right. So all I'm going to do, taking the pokey tool on the perforating embossing mat, and I've laid this on my backing card. I'm going to go straight through into the mat and then take it out, okay? And then I'm going to take... Actually, that's a good point to remind you of what Elaine and Merrill said to me last time, was with your mat, have one side for perforating and the other side for your embossing. Otherwise, the little holes could get in the way of your embossing, couldn't they? Yeah, yeah, they could, that's right. And just mark it with, like, P for perforation and E for embossing. Yeah. And right. what size is the mat you're using, that one? This mat is a 12 by 12. This is designed to go with the template body. Okay. This is the only place that you can actually get the 12 by 12. We, d we designed it specifically okay. to go with Well, it's on screen, it's in the show. Product. There it is. It's $17.99 if you want the 12x12 12 12 map, but have one side for perforating, the other side for embossing, otherwise it's going to go horribly wrong. $17.99 your price, HCP934 is your item number. If you haven't got that, a good investment. That and the template buddy, and then maybe the floral birthday or the lily three ways and you're, you're sorted. Right. Okay, so it's just a case of opening the, the brad. These are little tiny, they're called mini brads. Um, I think they're three mil, um, I'm not sure. I'm missing my um, my parching buddy this week. She's uh, 
she's the one who knows all the technical stuff, you see, and uh, this proves where my shortcomings are because I don't know. She's probably She'll screaming at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be back soon. <laughs> yeah, she will, bless her. Hi, Mara, if you're watching. Yeah. She'll be there. She'll be saying, what is she waffling on about now? <laughs> <laughs> right, so do alternate corners first. It just makes sure that you get everything squared off. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we've got two more silver ones, yeah. Let's go. So brads that. are the ideal way. It, there, there isn't really any adhesive you can use on parchment. You can it? use the, the parchment glue that um, we've got. We've got parchment and, and vellum glue. Ah, that's, nice. um, that's on the show as well. Um, I will show you in the four o'clock show um, the amounts, etc., to use when you're using that to um, to stick um, stick your work on, um, and whereabouts to to hide it. Okay. Okay. So, so is that presumably a lower water content than most? Yeah, it's got very low water content in it because, um, as we've said already, parchment doesn't like um, doesn't like water. No. Well, I, I tell you what, if you've already ordered something, you think, oh no, I've got to phone in again, or I've got to go online again and order the parchment glow, I really need that. You're not going to pay any more postage. So if you paid $3.95 already, it's just $4.99 for the parchment glue, uh, if that's the way you'd like to fix things to cards and to frames. Otherwise, the brads, I think, are really decorative and they're beautiful. They are, yeah. Unfortunately, our, our stock um, is stuck on a slow boat somewhere at the moment, so... Uh, we haven't got those on the show, but they, w they will be coming in, okay. the, uh, in the near well, future. We'll get the glue now and then get the brads when yeah, they come in. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. That's now it's fixed lovely. on. Okay. And then all, in, all you need to do, of course, is to pop that. That'll fit directly on your 8x8 eight eight card blank. Okay. And then you've got a lovely. beautiful piece of work. And what better way to display it than using one of the little acrylic stands. Do you know what, you can be so proud when you finish something like that because yeah. it is a thing of beauty. It is, yeah. I mean, you probably, yeah. if you're giving it away to a nearest and dearest, then fair enough. But if, you, you know, if I did that, I wouldn't want to sell it. I would, I'd just want no. to keep, keep it. The, the problem with making these is that if I'd have made that in traditional parchment methods, the man hours that I'd have to put into it, yeah. um, I would never reap that back um, at a craft fair or, or anything like that. With with the templates, um, this, I'd, I could knock this up in an hour. Now, right. Or probably a bit shy Brookian coming out there. I, I could make this <laughs> <laughs> in, in an hour, you know, which is completely different. If I was doing that in traditional parchment, you're talking five, six hours. But you said earlier on that you're not an artist, you can't draw. But with this system, anyone can. Yeah. If you can hold a pen, you can do this because basically okay. it's just following with the ball tool the lasered lines on the template. And it's like tracing when we did it when we were kids. Uh, but now, with parchment, parchment, it takes it to that extra level of luxury. And, uh, yeah, the pride when you finish a piece is absolutely immense. So these have been absolutely flying out there all the floral birthday, remember. Uh, whether we're going to have this in the 4 o'clock show is debatable at the moment. I don't know whether we will, but you're going to get four different flowers on each template. And then you get that beautiful Celtic frame there, too, which is just stunning. So the whole thing, that is available on split pay as well. It's £56, or it should be. But it isn't here today. It's going down to fifty-one ninety-nine. Uh, we've got literally ten of these left, and then that is it. That's gone. Okay. So just next ten customers to put this through into your basket and check out, please, and we'll get it to you as quickly as we can. You should get it hopefully midweek next week from uh, Elaine and Merrill. Now the mindfulness one. In the last couple of minutes of the show, this is this is almost like Santangle meets parchment. Meets really. parchment. Yeah. Yeah. To, to me, th this is the most relaxing. You know, you can get. Um, Mindfulness colouring books, um, you know, it's all the rage at the moment, the, mm. the mindfulness stuff. Slow your mind down. Anybody who suffers from anxiety or you know, depression, anything like that, sit with a template and produce something that is just so beautiful and yet so, so calming. If you've tried this and you haven't tried Santangle, give Santangle a go. If you've tried Santangle and you haven't tried this, give this a go, because I think they work yeah. together side they, by they side. They do work, yeah. I mean, I, I take my hat off to Sandra, Sandra Rushton because it, her work is fantastic. And she, she's got such, I mean, she can draw, bless her. Well, here you've got these two for just 25 99 uh, Elaine's going to be back at four o'clock with more, more tips and techniques. Yeah, actually, we'll have a look at the, uh, the mindful ones 
in okay, the, look at the mindful the oscillator. And, and also the, uh, the floral boot. Whether we'll have the floral birthday all depends on you checking your baskets out. Thank you for your company this hour. Debbie's back with more Crafters Companion next. <laughs> It couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker! Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one P&P. Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. <laughs> Welcome back to Hobby Baker on this uh, Friday afternoon. Great weekend coming up. Whatever you do, stay with us for as much of it as you can. Lovely Debbie's back for Hello. hour two. You right? Yeah, absolutely fine. Being fed and watered. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, I've got to fine. wait till six o'clock. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm rubbing it in, Dave. Right, Not that I'm rubbing it in. Um, now, before we talk about embossing folders, which is going to be the main focus of the show, got some really, really good news in case you missed out on this. The Secret Garden Collection paper pad and the coordinating 32 sheets of A4 cardstock. I gave you a tease in the one o'clock show that this was coming up at three o'clock this afternoon mm -hmm. it sold out so quickly uh, a little while ago we've been able to get it back in and we've been able to get it back in at the brilliant price so we've kept that price the same it's not going to be 27.98 it should be that's what you should be paying for the secret garden wz2007 is the item product code but look at these gorgeous papers if i just flick through here oh my word absolutely heavenly 
I can see why this sold out so quickly, Deb. It's just beautiful. It's got a lovely, warm, vintagey tones, lots of beautiful florals in there, that lovely secret garden kind of theme, all the florals in there. Um, however, like I said to you before, you don't have to have the rest of the collection. The papers and the cardstock alone are things that I, I consider to be consumables that you need and want by the bucket load because you use them all the time. You Look at it. what we've done to the price. We've matched oh the price. Goodness. Last time it sold out in a few minutes, we've got it back. We've managed to persuade Sarah and the gang at Crafters Companion to get us more stock of this. So you've got 32 A4 sheets of gorgeous designer cardstock, which obviously, as you can see, complements the colorways in the double-sided papers. So wow, what a price, what an opportunity. I'd pay for 14.99 up anybody's money for just the 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know 12 by 12s of this quality normally could go for anywhere up to 25 pounds. I've said to you this before. I, I, I buy, I buy papers, not usually in pads apart from our own, um, and I pay up to anything between one pound 75 to two pounds per double-sided sheet of a 12 by 12. The luxury and the quality of these are sensational. And again, that fabulous price, not just for that paper pad alone, but for the uh, cardstock too, is just insanely good value for We've money. We've got lots of brand new customers, brand new viewers watching and ordering this item. So welcome to you if you're brand new. Remember, if you want to become a member of Hobby Maker, all you've got to do is just register with your email address, come up with a password. You can do that on the home page of our website, or if you'd rather talk to the operator and then do it for you, it's a free phone number. The call center's upstairs here in this, in this building. 0800 001 4433 and then all you've got to do is say can I please sign up for um, emails as well so you can find out what's happening here at Hobby Maker. If you do that you'll get a five pound voucher on your account that you can redeem if you spend 25 pound or more. Wow. That's all right, isn't it? Wow. So just forget our emails and then you'll never be in the dark as to what we're up to and what we're offering you. But it's back, it's back today if you want it. 14 99 we've honoured that price again. It's going very quickly. Veronica in Norfolk, Maisie, I don't know, it's not, not Maisie, that's my cat. Mary in Derby Gainer in Flintshire, uh, Pat in Essex has already checked out, so is Maureen Anne as well. Uh, yeah, loads of you coming through for this. What a cracking offer, a cracking opportunity. Get it now because we're not going to talk about it for too much longer. We've got a limited quantity uh, when it goes, whether we can get any more back at that price, who knows? Absolutely no idea. Shall I go over and talk about the main yep, offer? Yep, you can do that bit. I'll get ready because I've got my boards all ready for you, but you can do your bit. Walk this way because we've got for you brand new 3D embossing folders and these are amazing. Now, you may want all of them and if you do, that's where you're going to save the most money. That's what we always do with Crafters Companion and most of our suppliers here. If we give you the big bundle, you always get the biggest discount by buying the big bundle and this is it. You've actually got a total of 12 embossing folders, 3D embossing folders, none of that one-dimensional stuff anymore. They've got depth, they've got real, real depth and character to all of the designs. Now it's 71.88, that should be the price. OK2051 is the product code, OK? OK2051 uh, is the product code if you want it. But remember, no one is going to pay the full price. Everyone is going to pay the low price. Now, this is a massive reduction. When you consider what it should be, we're going to take nearly £20 off that price, taking it down to 52 99 for all 12 3D embossing folders. Absolutely gorgeous. You've got exquisite blooms, entangled roses, luscious lilies, elegant flourishes, swirling lace, classic lace, lovely lace, embellished lace, intricate filigree, elegant swirls, fancy floral wreath, and elegant frame trios as well. The whole lot, and I know that the lovely Debbie's got some boards to show you exactly, because they're in the packets here, so I can't really show you very easily what they look like, but Debbie's got the boards to show you over there. Yeah, absolutely. Now, the lovely thing about um, 3D embossing is that extra depth and dimension that you get, but they transform a piece of cardstock into something really really quite beautiful and um, depending on the kind of materials that you use on top so things like your gilding waxes your pens your inks whatever it is that you want to use to color them in with are going to make them and bring them to life so I'm going to start with this what we call the standard size four by six so a four by six size is a nice nice size um, especially for American viewers and things like that mm -hmm. that only just go to the you know letter size that's yeah. that's the main one that they use but again just take a look at this this is the entangled roses that beautiful design in there and then of course you've got all that lovely detail i love florals i don't know about anybody else but a good old floral beautiful i absolutely adore the elegant swirls Stunning, just, isn't it? 
Uh, honestly, just stunning. Quite and that started that life as a, car, a piece of white cardstock. Yeah. But add your inks, put your 3D embossing folder to it, and look how beautiful that looks. You could actually cut out that element in the centre and use it as a frame if you wanted to as well. So that's your um, elegant swirls. Then you've got your classic lace, which is in your 4 by 6 And again, that lovely detail of that beautiful frame. If you use your nesting dies, you could perhaps cut that out and have a little frame picture of your loved ones um, and, and things like that. But again, it comes to life when you add ink and things like that to it. So that's your four by six, Dave. Then we've got what we normally do at Crafters Companion, which is where we do our five by sevens. Mm -hmm. And these are just, again, absolutely stunning. This is the exquisite blooms. You can see that beautiful detail all the way around there. Um, and this is a thicker uh, plastic folder, which creates the 3D. So 3D means that there are raised, three different raised elements of um, embossing in there as well and don't forget the deboss side can look just as beautiful so the next one we've got is the intricate filigree and again that one is just stunning i'm going to use that in a demonstration in fact i think that's going to be my first demonstration um just using uh, the uh, intricate filigree that beautiful detail and you can see the frame element dave because we've got it around the center piece of mm -hmm. it then i adore as much as i love the other one this one is just stunning swirling lace absolutely beautiful all the way around there it looks absolutely gorgeous and getting lots of nods and lots of thumbs up about this one because it is absolutely beautiful and again you can see that gorgeous depth and dimension that it creates with 3d so that's your four by six and your five by seven covered then we've got more and this is but this was a new thing for us we don't usually do different sizes apart from four by six and five by seven uh, and possibly sometimes six by six but we've gone five and a half by five and a half of these Dave. wow these are just gorgeous fancy floral wreath and again that beautiful design of that floral around that wreath design but again take all your different colors to it and again you've got something really quite beautiful um again another lovely one on this one is the lovely lace that beautiful delicate detail of that lace de design around the back there with those swirls and those florals again absolutely stunning and you can see the frame element again if you take your scissors or your um, knife craft knife and go around there you're going to be able to create a frame or simply ink up around the edges pop a sentiment in the middle and we've got sentiments on the show as well that are going to work beautifully with this collection and then the luscious lilies i love this one again gorgeous floral design you can see this beautiful floral uh, frame um, design around it but it's absolutely gorgeous so much detail to an embossing folder so that's the five and a half by five and a half uh, covered and then lastly one that we've not done and I can't remember the last time we did one like this size which is the DL kind of shape as well so you've got this lovely slimline very on trend at the moment slimline coming across in dyes and all sorts of different kits absolutely gorgeous that's the elegant frame trio and again you can see the trio there use your um, nesting dice to cut out the center like so and you've got a beautiful frame piece there or simply pop some sentiments maybe on the middle and maybe some embellishments butterflies dragonflies little bit of a just for you in there again stay tuned because we've got some fabulous uh, mini dies on the show. Mm -hmm. Now, look at this one. I love this because, again, the embellished lace uh, can be used in that deal shape, but it can also go into that portrait as well. Uh, sorry, landscape as well. So you've got that gorgeous design and take a look at that beautiful, beautiful feature at the top and the bottom. Again, absolutely stunning. And then lastly in this, we've got the elegant flourish. And this one's got a gorgeous, like a stitch design going around there and that lovely... Um, circle feature along with the florals but you've got that lovely design again which will work both ways so that is all of them if okay. you're going for the whole of the bundle Dave. okay so that is on split pay it's 26.49 your first payment of two or one payment of 52.99 remember pmp is only 3.95 for your whole day so if you've got five orders that you ordered at different times of the day you're not going to be charged 3.95 five times it's just one payment of 3.95 the system collates all of your orders at midnight every night and make sure you only get charged 3.95 postage now we've also got three individual bundles of four so if 12 is a bit too much for you you think i don't necessarily want all of them but i'd like maybe a set of four this is the first one, which is the floral ones. Now, this is going to give you uh, two of the five by five squares and then one of the smaller six by four and then one of the five by sevens. OK, so that's the first set. If you want those four, that's called the florals. Let's get the price down on that as well. It's EW2009. That's the uh, product code for this set of four 3D embossing folders, 1899. 
$18.99 for four embossing folders that are three-dimensional. I remember when they used to be like $9.99 each, Ooh, especially yeah. for the 3D ones. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you're getting four for less than what I thought you'd pay for two. Um, yeah, brilliant value. Uh, give us a free phone call number. Oh, give us a free phone call. It's 0800 001 4433. That's the free phone number and the call center's just upstairs. Right, now next. This is the lace collection. Okay, so as the name says, you expect a lot of frilly, lacy detail and design. You've got the paisley one in here, uh, beautiful florals as well, that lovely kind of oval in the center of that one. So these are again, different sizes. This is like a DL size. This one is your five by seven. Yep, five by seven. This one is your five and a half by five and a half square. And this one is your six by four. So getting nice variety in the smaller bundles as well. So if you love your lace, that's the one to go for if you want to go for a set of four. And that's going to be the same price. XR2052, 18.99 is your price for that one. And then the last set of four down the bottom here, this is the Elegance Collection. Now this is going to give you a couple of the DL size. That's that two in the middle. Uh, that's got the three circles that uh, Debbie just showed you a few minutes ago. This one is your six by four, and then that one is your five by seven. So you're getting a lovely mixture in all three of those bundles. But remember, the price is going to be the same for this as well, just $18.99 for four brand new 3D embossing folders, ZH2065. So you can buy them individually as well, but of course you will be paying the higher price for each one individually. But if you do want to make your bundle, your own classic bundle, you can do that free of uh, any more PMP than just the $3.95 for the entire day. So you can mix and match. We like to give you variety. Lots of people love to buy the whole thing. Lots of people love to buy the smaller bundles if they're on a lower budget. And lots of people like to cherry pick maybe four or five or six of the individuals that you really do love the look of. You can do that as well with one PMP of $3.95. Now another fantastic offer that I really should urge you to go for not only the fact that we got the secret garden collection which is flying out the door at the moment. Loads of you going for that. But we've got the cut and emboss mm. deals. Now this, I believe, is a half price or better than half price deal on better this. Better than half price. We're going to do it better than half price. You've got, now what are the, what's the difference between an embossing folder and a cut and emboss folder? So this actually cuts, so it's got metal and embossing detail in one folder. So it's a die inside it's it. It's a die inside the, the um, embossing folder. So it embosses and die cuts at the same time. So I love 3D embossing folders because they transform pieces of cardstock, but a cut and emboss folder, does more than transform. It creates a card quite instantly. Apart from adding other elements to it, like your papers or your um, inks or whatever style card you want to go into. Um, and you've got a few samples there, haven't you, Dave, I to have. show? Now, this is one of my all-time favourite embossing folders mm, that you've done. I love this, and it's in this offer. Amazing. Hello, Sunshine. Uh, this is Rebecca Davis Sandal who's done this one. So basically, you've got the embossed rays of the sun, and then you've actually got the circle of the sun, which is where the dye is. So you could do this one is also in the bundle as well you've actually got your new home style card here or well, it could be a church window could or be anything it could be anything, anything yeah. at all but the window is die cut so it opens yep. and then you've got the embossing for the brickwork yeah how cool is that just gorgeous absolutely beautiful i love a cutting emboss folder um and look at this one dave absolutely beautiful like so like a little theater diorama kind of star card that one but that it great? die cuts and embosses at the same time to create these beautiful cards and if we get chance i'm going to show you very quickly how easy they are to use because um they're just fabulous we've well, got just the diagonal literally. stripes on there that yeah. have been embossed and then the die has cut out this kind of stitched aperture yeah it could be a post box or you could put any word behind it that you wanted to or turn it into a shaker card which is what we've done so basically what you've got here is not just the uh, embossing folders and the dies you've even got a stamp set i love that now it's 59.95 any day of the week normally that's what your price would be for all four of them 59.95 is what it should be it's worth every penny of that and i do remember when they first came out they were that sort of price mm -hmm. you're going to get the sun ray you're going to get that beautiful flower with the aperture you're going to get that what i call letterbox and you're also going to get the windows or they could be doors with the brickwork as well and you're going to get those stamps and the stamps have got just happy queen bee you home is where my heart is home sweet home happy new home so you get all of those stamps as well let's get that price going in the right direction let's get it down I said it's going to be below half price. How much below half price? You're looking at 20 something, aren't you? Yeah. I, I'm like, Steve's I'm banging his drum. I'm having a little look. 28 99 for the whole lot. Better than half price. If you want it, be quick, because a lot of people are going to think the same as you. Uh, love the idea of these. They cut and emboss at the same time. And at that price, knowing that you saved half price is a fantastic feeling, isn't it? 
OM2053 is the product code. If that's what you want, if, is that going to be your first ever order with us at Hobby Maker? Is that making you think, I want that? All you've got to do is register with us on the website, or if you'd rather do it with the operator, it's a free phone number in our call center, 0800 001 4433. If you'd rather do it online, you can do that now. Just put our, you'll see when you go to the homepage at hobbymaker.co.uk, you'll see there's a little section say, Are you a cust aren't you a customer yet? Click on that, that takes you to the setup page. You have to put your email address in there and a password that you can make up, and then you're in. And then don't forget to get that five pound voucher. Just agree uh, and tick the box at the bottom of the homepage that says sign, sign up for emails from Hobbymaker. We make it. If you do that, you'll get a £5 voucher, which you can redeem against the purchase of £25 or more. So well worth doing that, and you never miss a show or never miss what's going on here on Hobby Maker. Right. So, shall we go to the embossing folders? So I'm going to talk about 3D embossing folders, because I'm always aware that there are new viewers all the time, people new to mm -hmm. craft, and they're probably wondering what an embossing folder is. Now, uh, I'll talk about the cutting emboss folder, if there's going to be enough left okay. and get time to do that one. Uh, but um, a standard embossing folder is just uh, what we call um, one raised element. So it's your plastic folder that's got one raised of depth and dimensions. It's got like a, a raised side and a recessed side so that it fits together and punches through your cardstock. And, and I say punches, it impressions. Impre it gives the impression, yeah. impression through your cardstock and embosses into there. Now, a 3D one is um, thicker. So it's, a more, it's more thicker in the um, material Material that we use um, and it's got more levels of embossing so it's not just one level of raised embossing, more depth. embossing. there's more depth so you've got multi levels in there so it's very quite clever and it's a really clever concept and um, we do them I know other companies do them as well but I always say ours are honestly the best in the business they're just beautiful now when you're looking for your embossed uh, side or you you can always it's a visual thing um, you'll be able to feel the raised side and when you run your fingers across you can feel that raised element and then on the other side it's the bit that's cut out so when it's pushed through and when you've whenever you're remembering where you put your cardstock when you want it to push through the cardstock and the raised side to come up you need to put your cardstock onto there now okay. I'm all right because yep. I've got black cardstock for this one Dave but if you wanted to get it where it was raised through you would make sure your colored cardstock would be on that raised element so that's how I always remember this now this is one of the five by seven ones mm -hmm. um, and I'm just using matte black cardstock because we use some with the yep. three-dimensional embossing folders, do you need to change your plate formation? Oh, yes, you do. Right. Yes, you do, Dave, and that's a very good um, starter. Now, in the um, in the Gemini machine, uh, there is an in, uh, in a pamphlet in there telling you how to use it. Right. And it tells and discusses about 3D. Now, when you're using your Gemini, the only platforms that you need for a 3D embossing folder, because this is a thicker plastic, is uh, your cutting plate, which is where you pop your folder and your cardstock. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to put your magnetic shim on top of that. And then lastly, the we, Sarah calls it the frosty shim. I call it the plastic shim. Uh, but the frosty shim, plastic shim, is the one that goes on the top. Now, a standard embossing folder would just be your two clear cutting plates okay but this isn't standard it's, right. it's got more depth more detail and more raised elements so all so, machines will be able to work with the 3d embossing uh, yeah folders, but honestly you just have to change your plate formation a little bit yeah absolutely uh, so you'll just need to check with your um whatever machine you've got their manual for things like your uh, embossing so i'm just going to pop that down there for a second dave and bring these out because at the moment when i bring it out um, you're probably going to think, well, it's not really done very much because um, oh, it it's has. on black cardstock. I can see from here it has. Can you see it from mm -hmm. there? Yeah. And, the, and the, di the, the difference there is this raised element. So I'm going to see if you can get in a little bit close because I am going to in a second. Oh, now that is a great shot. Oh, because you can Steven see. Even on camera too. Get honestly, it that's a perfect shot because before I've even added anything on there, you can see the different levels of embossing. You can see the flatter, the flatter at the top. Yeah. But then going down here into this one, look at that. Th that's the 3D effect. Wow. And that's what creates that extra depth, extra dimension, extra sculpture, and what literally turns it into something absolutely beautiful. Now I'm keeping it very stripped back for the first demo. I'm using Pebio Gilding Wax. Ooh. I don't know if we've got it on the website yet. All I will say is, if it isn't there well, now, remember, wait, it will be coming soon. We have been told that at some point this afternoon, our website is going to go totally live. Not yet, but at some point this afternoon, meaning that any product from any company that supplies us here at Hobby Maker will be available on the website, not just the show at the time. Okay, so that's what we're working on. That's what hopefully is going to go live yep. later, and that Absolutely. will mean that the, the, the gilding polishes they yeah. will be on there. So. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll let you know when it has gone. Absolutely. Through. So I'm just using a couple of mine that I've got, which are my gold ones. Um, and I've just popped a little bit onto my middle finger. The reason I'm using my middle finger for this is because um, I'm not going too heavy handed. I, I can't control it. You know, like your four, four fingers, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can get a little bit. Gun With the middle finger, I'm a little bit more lighter on it. So I always start and add. And the minute you add it over, it picks up over that raised element. And the key thing with gilding wax is you need the tiniest amount. Yeah, the tiniest amount. You don't need to go heavy-handed straight away. You can always build up. And that's why I prefer to do the lighter method first over the top and then literally just build up on that colour. And it just looks absolutely beautiful. So gilding wax originally was kind of developed for furniture, wasn't it? It was with Pebio, yeah. yes. Pebio is a... A, a French company and that's what they started you know you know things like you when you, you like on your furniture legs mm -hmm. furniture frames all those picture kind frames. of things picture yep. frames yeah um, and was brought into the world of craft a few years ago now we've all been using it I mean I know I'm not just the only uh, crafters companion guest that absolutely loves this um, Jan, Craig, Corinne we all are big lovers Debbie, Leanne, Sarah you know what I, I, remember I, know people, out forgetting anyone. I know people who have had their pots for literally years because yeah. you need the tiniest tiniest you amount. do and I have only used a couple of tiny amounts there I'm just to switch to another colour Dave and pop that on um, and and then I'm just going to add, because I don't like to add a couple of little shades. There are five in there. There are actually five in there. There's a silver and then four shades of different golds. Um, I'm using uh, king gold and um, antique gold on mine. There's empire gold as well. Empire gold, yeah. Uh, Renaissance gold and then the, the lovely silver as well. Um, and I promise you, your pots will last you a long time. They will last a long, long time. But again, you can see just by adding that on and running across there, the difference that it's bringing, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Build it up, add more if you want to add some more. Um, it's entirely up to you. I suppose it depends on the look that you're going for. I know Leanne, mm -hmm. and Leanne will be coming soon to Abbey Maker, can I just tell you? Oh, she's coming down? She is, yes. Right. I saw our, we had our schedules come through last week, this week, this week, last week, this week. And uh, Leanne's heading on down oh, next month I've so you're going to see months. it in a in april you want to make sure you're on when I'll, I'll give you i'll give you a sneaky update and then you can see if you can wangle it okay because i know she'd love to see you uh, but yeah i love lily will be coming down and leanne loves going in quite um she's I, I go in quite light and build up but leanne's not afraid to just go straight in there and not add. seen leanne before leanne's actually the head of product development she is Arthur's companion she comes up with it's not all of her idea the whole team have input they do indeed the kind of impl implements it and gets she it is the that oversees everything yeah. yeah absolutely now i'm just grabbing myself a little dirty old rag okay you can see it's a little dirty old rag it's actually i can't i think it's an old napkin that um i may have picked up somewhere <laughs> 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 When I've been out and about. Are your restaurants missing napkins? You know where they go. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just given it a little buff up. And it's just to take the excess off, you can see there. Um, <coughs> but it makes so it guess, shine, doesn't it? It does. It just gives it a lovely little extra um, oomph, as the word I'm going to use, oomph. Uh, but if I just lift that up for a second. Look at that. <coughs> Look at that. That's what a 3D embossing oh, folder does. Uh, Not one gorgeous. level of embossing, but three different depths. Makes the whole thing pop. Yeah, absolutely. And again, perfect camera work there, Steve. Just brilliant because it's just showing you how fabulous that looks. And if I just give it a little wiggle, you can see the different depths and dimensions there with that 3D element. So what I'm going to do, Dave, is I'm going to add it and we're going to turn it. I mean, there's tons of, you know, inspiration. Our lovely Jan once did um, a two-hour, like, master class on different ways that you can use embossing folders and I think it was something like 17 different ways really? they should have had long oh yeah wow. there's loads of things you can emboss with I know you um, can um, treat it like a letter press you can actually put I'm going to do that embossing folder yeah I'm going to show you how to do that one as the show goes along I've got one that I'm going to do a coloring one okay. you can um you can emboss acetate oh, yeah. uh, vellum yeah vellum that will then end up looking like parchment because that looks beautiful can you emboss like faux leather you can, yes. You can emboss real leather, Dave. Ooh. You can emboss real leather. It's something that our Sarah loves to do when she's demonstrating the power of the Gemini. Not only can it cut leather, but it can also emboss it as well. Um, so, yeah, there are tons and tons of different um, ways that you can use embossing folders and create something really quite you know, striking and beautiful and elegant. And all I'm doing with mine, Dave, is I'm turning mine into a card. Why not? So I'm just using some of our Centura Pearl and some of our cardstock. I actually thought we'd got this mirror cardstock on today, hence why I've used it. So I'm not sure what's happened there, 
might have to check in between shows because uh, I did use a little bit of mirror card. OK, um, now, uh, even if you haven't found anything that you want to buy today yet, remember, it costs nothing to join us at Hobby Maker. If you want to get your account set up so you're all ready to jump in and buy something when you see something you fancy, all you've got to do is phone the operator. They can do it for you. 0800 001 4433 or you can do it yourself at the website hobbymaker.co.uk. Absolutely. So all I'm going to do now is just add a little bit of ribbon on there and we're going to add a sentiment because we've got some fabulous sentiments on the show, Dave, as we well. We do. Um, and I'm going to use one of those. So I'm just going to pop my ribbon over the top like so. I think I might use some foam pads for this and lift it a little bit. But yeah, there's lots of things you can do with embossing photos. And if you ever want to find that one of Jan, uh, just type it into YouTube and you'll find it somewhere on there because she did an amazing uh, tutorial um, of all different, um, different ways that you can use embossing folders which is absolutely fab um i love using it for own deco pieces mm -hmm. um there's loads and loads of things that you can emboss onto different materials um but these are just gorgeous and, and i'm going to show you just three different ways that you can use them um in this hour but uh, honestly just absolutely gorgeous they transfix and tran transfix Transform. Transform. Transform, yep. that's the word. They transform uh, a piece of ordinary, and you saw it, it started off as life as a black uh, cardstock, just plain black cardstock. It's our matte black cardstock, which I do know we have got um, on the website or online. When that, uh, when that, is that website live? Oh, it's yeah. Not yet. I think yeah. we'll be able to, well, there? it should be this afternoon at some time. When we get the thumbs up, I'll let everybody know. But certainly, uh, everything that's in the show is on the website, and that's what we're yeah. showing you at the moment. But hopefully, at some time this afternoon, the whole website will go live. Everything we have available will be available at literally a couple of clicks. Now, this sentiment that I'm using is one of the mini dies that we've got on the show. So that is just for you. And I've just literally used it in the same colourways that I've got there, uh, Dave. And I'm just going to pop on there now a little bit of a ribbon. And we are done and dusted. There you go. So again, transformed a piece of black cardstock added with other elements that I've had in my collection um, and you can create something really quite dimensional and you can see that 3D feel yeah. all the way around there from the flat level to the more raised level to the really raised because that, oh, oh look. Hey, it's a good job I did a good job with my gilding wax then. We got him really close. Right close there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but again, just so you can see the flat level. There, there's a great example. Flat level of that one level of um, embossing to the more depth and sculpture and dimension. Absolutely beautiful. What we call it, him, Stephen? Okay. <laughs> 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 He's got a nice nickname. He He's got has got a hawk. <laughs> um, there he is. Look. Oh, I haven't shown you the team today. No, I, you I, haven't. I forgot to no, now. yeah. Oh. I'm a Ben's House Shade, <laughs> our director, specifically for gallery cam. There's Laura in there, there's Laura's our producer, there's Ben, director. Yay! There Where's Ben hiding? He's got the most amazing purple shoes on today, can I tell you? <laughs> he's definitely Crafter's companion up today because he's got some amazing purple shoes on that I were in, in total awe of earlier. Wow. <laughs> okay. um, loads of messages coming in. Thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, a message from Shirley. Hello, Shirley in Lancashire. She says, oh, I love this new channel. I'm excited about the new website. Loving it. Thank you. We're loving you watching as well. Thank you for that. Any, any more? Oh, Alison. Hello, Alison. You've uh, messaged in as well. Alison said, uh, hi, Debbie and Dave. Loving the show and how you can use embossing folders. It's brilliant. I yeah. love using them. I have yeah. loads of time to get crafting. That's fantastic. Good news. Yeah, there are so many ways and more oh, ways to be showing with Debbie fairly soon as well. And if you're wondering how you got the messages through, you can do that by literally going to the website and clicking where it says contact the studio. Send it in to us. Maximum of 150 letters, I think it is. And we can put that message on the screen for you uh, and welcome you to Hobby Maker. Loads of People get really excited about yeah. the new channel, which is fantastic. And remember, if you are new, just sign up today uh, to register for an account so that when you see something you want, you can quick and easily uh, pop it in your basket and check out. Now, this is what we've just been working with. So these are the 3D frames, remember, $52.99 with two, two split pays. So basically, this is the whole bundle. You're going to get all 12 of them, OK? So £52.99, you've got around about a £20 saving off the price, and it's on two split pays for you as well, just £26.49 to pay today. Product code is OK2051, and that's going to give you all those different sizes. You're going to get your 6x4s, your 5x7s, your 5.5x5.5, and, and your DL as well, a mixture of all of them. That's if you want the whole bundle, but they are available in sets of four, and you can buy them individually. But remember, with us at Hobby Maker, you never, ever, Ever pay more than 3.95 no matter how many orders you've made during a day it's just 3.95 
per day. If you've got 20 orders in, ordered before midnight, yep, just one PMP of 3.95, which we love. Now you did mention these dies, didn't yes. you? Now the mini dies. Now they're in separate sets, I believe. So the one that you used, this is this has got the just for you in it. We've got um, we've got party. We've got with love. We've got elements, which is basically just for you. We've got the uh, best wishes, and we've got happy birthday. So there we go. So this is the happy birthday one. So you get all five of those. And they're quite substantial. We call them mini dies, Dave, but um, to be fair, you know, you can use them for, I mean, there's a couple of little um, extra embellishments used on here mm -hmm. from those beautiful party balloons to that lovely happy birthday. Um, you can use them in your gift tag. So, I mean, look at that on the gift tag. looks absolutely gorgeous. And you've just seen um, I used it in that one. But again, they could be used for um, any kind of thing. So maybe you've got other things in your stash and you just want them as extra embellishments. Um, but you can make them focal parts of your card as well, Dave. That one's a gorgeous one. Look at what the price has tumbled down to. Only four pounds each is what they come out at. Wow. Nineteen ninety-six. You get all five of them, so you're going to get your elements there with the uh, the presents. You're going to get the little cake with the candle in it, the two balloons. You're also going to get the word with love. You're going to get just for you. You're going to get best wishes, and lastly, in that one, you're going to get happy birthday. Now, the other ones we've got for you are. This is your congrats bundle. So obviously, you've got the abbreviation congrats there. That goes without saying. And then we've got special friend. And we've got the Aww. elements for dogs and cats. Then you've got uh, newborn. That's really sweet with the so elephant. You're really in the cute. Up. If you have the babies in the family, the new, new home. home. Yeah, yep, absolutely. So this is going to go down the same way. All five packs for 19.96. You'll use these so much. I know you, you will. You will, yeah. Mine sit on my desk, on my crafty desk. I've got yep. them sat. I've got like um, a storage at the sat. And I use them all the time because there's all sorts in here that you're going to be able to use over and over again. Now, the last one, I what are we calling the last pack? One. This is gorgeous, I love this one. What's this pack called? Hello? <laughs> Butterfly? Butterfly, dragonfly, you've got the plants, you've got the tags, Tag. and you've also got the little fairy there as well. That should be on the website as well for you, and that will be again 1996. Okay, so we've definitely got those two that I just showed you. That last one may or may not be on the website. I apologize if that sold out, but it might have done. I tell you what, have you got the cut and emboss folders yet? If you haven't, don't miss out on this. Better than half price for these. These are going crazy. I knew they would be. You've got your embossed folder there with the element that's cut inside it. You've got uh, basically a die is within each of these embossing folders, all right? And we're giving to you a better than half price. You've got the windows. You've got the, what well, looks like a letterbox, but it doesn't have to be a letterbox. You've got that beautiful floral with the aperture, that kind of semicircle cut out of it. And my favorite one, I remember when this first launched, I loved so it then and I love it now. Yeah. That could be a Beautiful. sunset or sunrise. Yeah. And do you know what? Can I show you? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you how to use them. Okay. To, yeah, because I right. think I think because they're such a great price. They really are at a great price. I'm not going to lie. Um, especially when you consider uh, a cut and emboss folder. So I'm going to show you what we mean by that cut and emboss feature. If I open it up, you can see a very noticeable difference uh, between the 3D to the 2D. Because yeah. this is a standard. I call a standard one level of embossing. Mm -hmm. The only difference with this is is that there is a metal die. Now, please don't think that this is a piece of paper oh, left in there. That's a mistake I made. Yeah, I know. I, Dave, the first time I used one, I actually got my poker tool and picked it out right. because I thought they'd made a mistake in manufacturing. Oh, no. Debbie soon learnt it's there for a reason uh, because there's a metal die in here. And you don't, and like on normal dies, you have a little release hole mm -hmm. at the back to be able to release them. Um, and an embossing folder, you don't really need that because it's a plastic folder that just embosses. Yep. Yep. Um, but when you've got combination of two, you need something to release it. But if you stuck a hole in the back of there to release the die mm -hmm. piece, it would look a bit silly. It would. So that's why that sponge is in there. And it literally is sponge to... It just pops um, out the aperture, doesn't it? Makes yeah. it pop out. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to show you. I've taken a, a card um, and I've cut this to 10 by 7. Uh, seven 10 by 7, scored it in half at um, 5, so I've created myself um, a piece that is going to be a seven. card front, yep. 5 by 7. So when you're using this, Dave, if you always remember that the metal die is the bit that you want to cut into your cardstock, so by that, I'm just going to sandwich it in between my card fold. I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a, a very quick uh, card. So when we pop that in, you'll see now it fits in there really perfectly. This is 5 by 7 in shape. Now, I did say at the very beginning that when you're using um, a standard 
embossing folder um, you're just going to use your two clear cutting plates so I've got my two clear cutting plates now there may be um, an exception to the rule sometimes where you maybe need to add an extra shim and if there was an extra shim that I was going to put in there it would be the metal shim um, sandwiched in between never put the metal shim on top because uh, metal to metal with the rollers will end up looking like a little banana when it comes out so right. we don't do not that good. <laughs> uh, no not good so I'm going to try it without first because that's that's how I've always uh, done this and I'm just sandwich that embossing folder with the cardstock uh, and I've popped the um, two plates together and sandwiched it in between the embossing folder. Okay, lovely. So like I said, exception to rule may be that you might need to add an extra additional shim. It wouldn't be the rubber embossing mats, it definitely wouldn't be the uh, plastic shim because that's just a thicker depth. Um, so if it was anything it would be the um, metal shim. Okay. So I'm just going to take that out Dave and lift that out but I've not oh, really, wow, I, I yeah. haven't really needed to use anything because hey, it's popped out and that, that release piece pops that out absolutely perfectly. And now you can see you've got that gorgeous embossed detail. Isn't that great? There. And the reason I've done it in mirror card is so you can see that beautiful embossing. And of course then it's created the aperture and cut out. Now if you did that in white card stock, you then could add your inks and, or your gilding mm -hmm. wax if you were in black or whatever it is that you want to add, colour those elements in. But that's how quick and easy it is to create create a cut and emboss folder die cut piece instantly and create yourself a card. You're, you're saving better than 50% off the price. So imagine how useful these are going to be to have. They will emboss and die cut at the same time. I mean, that would make a fantastic Christmas card, wouldn't it? With the windows, you could have a Christmas tree inside the window. I mean, are you on the inside looking out? Are you on the outside looking in? It could be a new home card. Lots and lots of uses for that. That could be a church window if you wanted it to be. You could put a cross in the middle of it with the windows open. Next to that, you've then got your diagonal emboss lines, and then the aperture in the middle can be with any sentiment, any verse, or any picture you want in the middle of it. So the die will cut out the rectangle, and that faux stitching for you and the embossing folder just embosses the diagonal lines beautifully. The one that um, Debbie just used was the one that's just next, that's included too. And then the last one, my favourite, is the sun's rays. So the sun will actually be cut out as a circle. What you put behind it or what you put in front of it and raise it up with foam pads is entirely up to you. And that's not all because you're also going to get all of these fantastic stamps as well, which will work in conjunction with the cut and emboss uh, uh, folders too. So really, really cool value for money. Worth every penny of the double price that it should be, but it's half price, better than half price, uh, 28 99 OM2053 is the product code. Well done to all of you that are coming through and putting that in your basket and checking out, because when the stock's gone of this, I don't think we'll get it back. It's a case of get it while we've got it at that reduced price. And don't forget the big bundle of your embossing folders, the 3D embossing folders, they're available as a set of 12, or you can buy them as sets of four, or you can buy them individually. Uh, the smaller sets of four, I believe, are in the lead at the moment. Um, I'll quickly show them to you so you can see what's what. So this set here, up the top, this one is called Flowers, is that right? First set, Florals. Florals is the first set. Uh, all different sizes as you can see, six by four, five by seven and the five and a half inch square. So that's your floral one. The one next to it is the lace, the lace collection. Again, you've got Paisley on here, lots of lace detail. You get one DL size, uh, one six by four, one five by seven, and one five by five. So a nice variety in that. And then the last selection down the bottom is the one, this was the elegant collection. So this has got again a five by seven, a DL size, two DL sizes actually, and a six by four as well. So those four are available too. These are also a great, great price of just uh, if you want to buy them as a set of four, they're not $52.99. That's the whole bundle, okay? But if you want them as a set of four, they're on the website. They're all listed and photographed there for you individually as well. And you can build your own bundle knowing that you're not going to pay any more than $3.95 postage. So it could be you just want two embossing folders. Yeah, you just want two or three embossing folders. Okay, you buy them individually. Your PMP still stays at $3.95 for the whole day. You can buy the whole lot and your PMP stays at $3.95 for the whole day. Very busy for it. Okay, 2051 is the product code. And um, we'll get back to, uh, to Debbie and do another demo. Debbie, if that's all right. That is absolutely fine by me, Dave. I'm going to use um, the letterpress technique that we, you talked about. You mentioned about that. I'm actually going to use some of our metallic ink, um, the, which is the from the Midas uh, collection of our Spectrum Noir, uh, which is uh, Amethyst. You can use this with any inks. I've just used this particular one because I absolutely like it. 
as you can tell, because mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of stoned, my embossing folder. Um, I am using uh, a brayer. We we do brayers. This is just my own, well, you can see it's a bit low. I love that. <clears throat> I do clean them. Corporate colours. Uh, yeah, I do clean, and they have got in corporate colours, but we do <laughs> do brayers as well. So um, the letterpress technique is a really great one to do. Um, and you can do it on both sides, because don't forget you've got your um, embossed side and your debossed side, which equally looks just as beautiful. Uh, but I'm going to go into the recess piece, piece with this. Uh, so I'm just going to pop this in. And what I'm going to do, Dave, is I'm going to take my ink pad and I'm going to pop my brayer over the top and literally just pick up um, some ink onto the brayer. You can see it's on there. What I'm going to do then, Dave, is just I'm going to pop it on. Now, I'm not going to keep on inking and inking and inking. What I'm going to do is use my brayer to spread that ink. Okay. So I'm going to spread it all the way around like so. If you haven't got a brayer, can you do it with a brush or you something? You can go or? straight on with your ink pad. Oh, okay. You'll get a different look. I'm not going to lie. You will get a different look. Uh, a brayer gives you a bit more of a smoother, even... A bit more controlled. A bit more controlled, yeah. And as you can see, I am only literally taking taking it one way and then going another way just to spread out that ink. Now, our Midas ink pads are incredibly juicy, so they have got a lot of ink to them. Mm -hmm. um, but um, I just want to use that one little bit on my brayer and then keep on going until I'm happy with the amount that I've got on there. Looks pretty even to me. Looks pretty even to me. So I'm going to stop there for a second here. I'm going to pop my ink back on there. Uh, I'm going to take my piece of cardstock um, I'm actually going to pop it in the bit that hasn't got the ink on because I can control that a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to fold that over the top. Now, this technique I, is an age-old technique, but it's absolutely fabulous. And, and again, I absolutely adore it. So I'm going to pop that down onto there like so. It is a 3D embossing folder. Um, and then I'm just trying to remember the pattern to this one, dear. I've completely forgot which one this is. Bear with me. It is the uh, lovely lace okay. for a second yep. that I completely forgot. Um, popping on that combination again for a 3D embossing folder. So the magnetic shim with a plastic shim on the top. Um, and you've got that sandwiched in there. We're going to run that through. So we'll pop that through. And what that does now is it, imp it puts the um, ink into the area that you want it to be. Well, letter um, pressing they used to do for newspapers, didn't they? they? Did, yeah. In yeah, the old days. So. Places that do it, didn't they, as well? They mm. do the proper letter pressing. I remember when we went to... Oh, wow, look at, this. Look Just, at this. Can we do that reveal again? Can we do that reveal? Because me and Dave were like, Whoa, wow, this looks amazing. Uh, can we do a reveal overhead? Perfect, thank you very much. So when you take that off... Oh. I mean, it really That looks like is ceramic now, doesn't it? Just absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see how gorgeous that looks. It is incredible. Um, it I'm almost able looks to like a, it there. It almost looks like a card cameo. It, honestly, it's just exquisite. It's one of those techniques that I absolutely love. And if we come in, look at Jimmy. Jimmy's coming in close there. Look at that gorgeous. If that doesn't make you want these embossing folders, oh, I don't know what honestly, will. Honestly, it really is beautiful. And then, of course, it's, you can use it and then ink. I mean, again, as well, Dave, I'll show you, because I've done, I've done other colours with it as well. But it's the kind of things that you can create, different colours. These are used in, um, uh, this was the board, board row. The red one, can never say it, Bordeaux. 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 Yeah. yeah. Uh, using that one. And that wasn't, that was just with um, uh, water reactive ink. And then another one there with uh, the fuchsia. So again, you, you know, there's lots of ways that you can use it. And then, of course, you can take it into your card making. So for me, I did this one last night and pop it on there. But when you take it into card making, are you ready for this? Ready? Go on. There you go. Oh. And absolutely looks just beautiful. So that's one technique, another technique that you can use. I'm going to get ready to show you another quick technique, well, Dave, if I, I can. I'll tell you what. Um, yeah, we've only got about 13 minutes left on the show. This offer is fantastic. To get all 12 3D embossing folders, the more demos you see with Debbie, the more you realise the versatility of these. Um, that's my favourite demo, actually, to do a letterpress like that. I think that's fantastic. That and, and heat embossing are my two favourite things. Yes. But all of these can be used in exactly the same way. But rather than just being one shape and one size, you've got some of the most popular sizes you've got the five and a half by five and a half so that would look great on a six by six or seven by seven card you've got your five by sevens you've got your six by fours and you've also got your dl shape the kind of long thin cards which are very fashionable at the moment all of it the whole lot has come down to 52.99 saving you the best part of 20 pounds and it's on two split pays so all you pay today is 26.49 plus that capped postage of 3.95 on the day if you want to order it and you're not a member all you've got to do is become a member either on the website 
website or phone the operator and can, they can do the whole thing for you. 0800 001 4433. They'll get you membership and also they'll, of course, get uh, all your payments sorted out, your split pay and all that sort of thing as well. And they'll give you an account, uh, give you a password or you can tell them a password and they'll sort it out for you. So that's the way to do it. Absolutely. It is. It's a great way to do it as well, isn't it? Look how gorgeous those embossing folders look, Dave. They're great, aren't they? They're absolutely beautiful. I mean, I don't know how many people that don't like florals and swirls and lacy kind of things. Um, the fact that the different sizes and shapes, again, and the, again, the versatility yeah. of an embossing folder and what it can offer you and how many ways that you can do embossing techniques, just tons of ways. If we get time, I might see if I can grab some vellum from somewhere uh, because vellum looks beautiful on it as well. But well, we'll show in, you another little You're technique. in the right place for Well, that's then. what I was thinking, you see. Yes, Elaine. I know Elaine. I'm thinking, Elaine, is she watching? Uh, I might need to just pinch a little bit of vellum if I can. Uh, but I'm going to use another technique now. So I'm going to do a little bit of colouring with this one, um, Dave. So I'm going to use the, uh, in, I'm going to call it distangled roses then, entangled roses, uh, which again, this is from the four by six um, piece. So again, all you do, and all you remember is that combination that you're going to use each and every single time, which will be for your magnetic shim and the plastic shim over the top and run that through. And this can be done, like I said, on, oh, oh, oh look. Oh, look. How you are Sky Deliver. How did you manage that? Well, I won't. I'll come back to this one in a minute. I'll in fact, I'll tell you what, I'll finish this one, then I'll do that one. Okay. Because that is just beautiful. I've got loads of time. I've got loads of time. Uh, so when you take that out, again, you can see that, Dave. It looks just absolutely in exquisite. Even on white, it looks just beautiful. Ooh, Jimmy. Jimmy the shimmy or shimmy the jimmy. <laughs> Well, it was Shimmer Jimmy the shimmy other Jimmy day. Jimmy Jimmy, look how shimmy close he's gone in there. Again, that one level, but going across there, that raised extra sculpture and dimension. Now, I actually just used a little bit of ink on mine um, just to give it a little bit of life, Dave. So all I did with this one was add a little bit of pink tulip water reactive to it um, just to give it a little bit of a background colour. Uh, and literally all I took was one of my ink daubers and you just go over with your uh, ink and i'll just show it on your little segment because i think i've got plenty of time to squeeze that one in as well I think you have. but you simply just take your ink and go across and pick up that lovely detail which just looks again absolutely yeah, beautiful stunning. it looks honestly it looks gorgeous but do that all the way around um uh, dave and you get that lovely effect but i'm not happy with that i want a little bit more so i'm going to bring in and you can use any. You can use tricolours, tri blends, yep. any kind of water markers and things like that. But you can colour with them as well. So I'm going to go in with, and again, just use your raised element over the top. I don't to know. Create. I don't know many craft purchases that are so flexible and versatile as embossing folders. Exactly. Um, especially because you can do so many different things with them. So many, so many different things with them. Um, a lot of things you can do with it. And I do love the colouring technique. Take your pencils. If you love pencils, take your pencils to them. Um, whatever it is, colouring medium. If you're going to use um, water-based, you could use your sparkle pens. Now, you, these are the tri-colours you're using. Yes, these tri are my tri-blends, yeah. yeah. So I'm just using tri-blends over the top. And you can see straight away, again, how much that lifts when you take that colour. I'll use one of the green ones as well. But you can go in. And you, if you want to add your... You know, if you want to do your tri-blend effect where you're adding a bit of depth and dimension in with your, Just in case you know, your colours. Sure. The tri-blend's basically a, a one colourway but in three different shades of that colour. So it yep. allows you to blend and get, get that three-dimensional effect. <coughs> Absolutely. So sorry. I've got red, right. remnants of the uh, coal. There's uh, lots just, of it going around. Yeah. And again, just taking it over and going over that area like so. And all you've got to do... Dave, is just carry on colouring it in. Absolutely. And then I'll show you my finished one that I did, but the only difference that I did with this one was when I'd finished colouring it in, I went back to the gilding wax. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you want a drink? <coughs> Tell you what, we'll get Debbie a drink. Thank you very much, thank you. And then all I did, Dave, there was literally take the gilding wax. So once I'd coloured it in, gone over the top, and again, Picking up, adding more dimension, because all this is doing now is picking up over that very detailed raised sure. bit and picking that up. And if I go in close now, can you have a little look? 
Look at the difference it makes. Look at the difference and how you transfer. And you just simply build it up. So take your time, put your ink down first, then put your colour, whatever medium it is that you want to colour. And then when you take it into your card making, and I'll show you and finish my finished card make, is there. Oh, and you know it. what I've used as well? Go on, tell me. The With Love from the Mini, the oh, from mini, the mini Sentiments. sentiments yes, as well. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So you can literally take that piece of cardstock that starts off plain, pop it through with your embossing folder, add what ink, add what colour you want to use, and create something really dimensional. Now, the With Love... I'm going to get yourself cleaned up, Dave, because okay. I'm going to do that last bit with the, um, with the um, vellum. Okay, the With Love is in the Happy Birthday bundle of the Mini Sentiments. You get best wishes, happy birthday, just for you, with love, and also your wrapped present, the cake slice, and the two balloons as well. So they're on the website right now, if you fancy those. Um, now, we are going to do a little demo with vellum in a second as well, but shall I quickly remind you of the main collection over there so you can see them? Now, you can choose the whole set of 12. Um, we can also offer you them in sets of four, four, four and four, or you can cherry pick the ones that really take your fancy and buy them individually. But remember the PMP is only 3.95 for the whole day. If you've got 20 things that you've ordered at separate times during the day, well, it won't be an, there won't be any more charge than 3.95. Mary and Jerry in Lincolnshire are in, Anne in Kent is in as well. Uh, a brand new crafter is have, putting it in their basket right now. So loads and loads of you coming through right now the more you see what you can do with these embossing folders the more you want to get hold of them and remember they're all 3d uh, i'll show you some finished samples quickly as well before we go and do a little demo on the um on the parchment which we'll do very soon uh, monica wakluska has done that particular one there lovely one monica karen heathcote has done this one aren't they lovely and again, you've got those beautiful gilding waxes that have been used to really make those flowers pop. This is a, a really Baroque one. This is done by Michelle Shepperson. Uh, really, again, lovely. But look at, the, look at the, embossed, the embossed detail around the edge. Look at it. It's amazing. And you can use them in so many ways, whether you're braring ink onto them and doing a letterpress technique, whether you're just keeping them plain. Sometimes just leaving white cardstock plain with an emboss is just so elegant. There's so many other ways of using them, though. And this is one of the ones from the Lace Collection. Uh, Jan has done this one. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? Evelyn in Rimfordshire. Hello, Evelyn. You're in now. Loads of you coming through for these. Remember, 12 that gives you the best value for money. Two separate... Um, Split pays as well, split pay of two, so 26.49 is your first payment today. And then in four weeks time, we take the second and final 26.49 with one PMP of just 3.95. Okay, we've got to go back now and we've got a few minutes left on this show to do the, uh, the parchment demo. Elaine, sorry, we nicked a piece of parchment, is that all right? Bless. And we're just like, oh, I could do a bit of vellum. And so he said, oh, what? you're in the right place. <laughs> uh, absolutely we are. What a great show that was earlier. Uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop that into my embossing folder again, Dave. Um, and again, it's going to be exactly that same combination. This is still 3D, dependent on what you put in there. Um, it's still a 3D folder, so the combination will always remain the same. Um, all you need to do is check for your... Um, Manual, if you don't own a Gemini, what the combination is for a 3D, but you'll know if you've already used them, because there's loads of companies out there that have 3D Compared folders. to ordinary embossing folders, you have to remove something, obviously, because the embossing folders that are 3D are thicker, so that's yeah, the rule of thumb. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and then when we take oh. that off, oh, it just looks absolutely beautiful. Now, can we, can we get in? I'm going to just leave it there for Steve. Look at this. Look at this. In oh, one pass. my... If you want parchment, Gosh. we've got lots of it in the next show. An hour with Elaine and Parchment Australia. So that's coming up between uh, four and five this afternoon. And we've got great offers on parchment, A4 sheets and smaller sheets as well. But one pass with an embossing folder. It looks just beautiful. It's always got that, that white detail, that white line detail that you get from your parchment. But honest to goodness me, that is just beautiful. And that's just one of the many materials that you can emboss. Let's remember, normal cardstock, use your gilding waxes, mm -hmm. use your uh, mediums, your alcohol pens, your pencils, your water-based products. Um, take things like leather and materials and emboss with them. Take things like parchment. Get over this. Uh, take things like um, acetate. You can emboss acetate as well. Um, craft metal, lots of different things. I mean, 
it would take me ages to get that sort of detail I, I tell you what get yourself some embossing folders 3d yeah. embossing folders in this show if you want to go for 12 that's fine or set of four or individually yeah. but join us for the parchment show coming up because now you can see what you can do with an embossing folder with parchment you're probably going to want some parchment so yeah. that's the show for you we've got rainbow parchment black parchment all sorts of different can you colors imagine that on rainbow yeah that'd look beautiful would look gorgeous yeah it would look beautiful well as ever, amazing demos from Debbie. Debbie and I are together again at five o'clock. Um, we always love getting your messages. So uh, whenever you want to send in a message to us, Caroline's done just that in Hampshire. Hello, Caroline. She says, afternoon, loving the shows today. And the lovely Debbie is such a joy Aww. when on. Keep up the great work from Caroline. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you, Caroline. That's you are a joy. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Ah, thank great. you. Great to know you're loving the shows. Thank you for watching, by the way. Whatever you do, remember, um, make sure that you stay with us. If, if Well, hopefully every day between one and six. That's when we're on live between 1 and 6 p.m. every single day hopefully in the near future we're going to be going longer hours than that but at the moment that's where it's staying for the time being anyway between 1 and 6 hopefully uh, we're going to get our, our um, website up and running and completely functional in the next few hours that's what we were told earlier on so let's fingers crossed hope that happens if not today maybe tomorrow but we'll let you know exactly when it is live and all the products are there for you to choose and cherry pick between okay we've got some fantastic parchment coming up next then we've got the fantastic Elaine to do the demonstration as well what have we got coming up at five so oh, I think we might have a bit of amalgamation of everything right. so we've got the br brilliant lattice folding dies if you didn't oh, yeah. catch them earlier make sure you tune in at five o'clock because we've got those repeated again and don't we've forget got amazing papers the secret garden is back yeah. in stock if you missed it last time uh, it's a cracking price and that's on the website right now but boy it went very quickly earlier on uh, 14 99 thank oh, you Debbie amazing. see you in an hour see you now I'll see you with Elaine and some parchment right after this it couldn't be easier to watch Hobby Maker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day you still will only be charged one p and p shopping made simple with hobby maker our call center is based in the uk and available 24 7. just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk.
When you purchase anything on Hobby Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobby Maker. Here at Hobby Maker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and Shopping made simple with Hobby Maker. <laughs> Friday afternoon continues on Hobby Maker. Hope you're well. I'm Dave Bradford with you for the next couple of hours through until six o'clock. Then, of course, it's a Gemporia Lifestyle Textile over after that. And we've got a little bit more parchment for you today. Uh, Elaine and I, in the earlier show, it was so busy, especially for what's in front of me. Um, I've got to let you know that 80% of the stock of this has gone. Uh, this is your floral birthday, and I can see why it was so popular and so busy, because basically you've got 12 different flowers. Difficult sometimes to put the flare on them because they're so shiny. You've got 12 different flowers in these brilliant etched boards. That's the only way I can think of describing it. It's a, it's a laser that lasers the picture of the flower and the words, and it creates like a slight dip and a groove, so that when you're using your ball tool and parchment, where you draw, you're actually being channeled. It's guiding you around the actual image. And you end up with wonderful white work on parchment. It's absolutely fantastic. But we've only got a few of these left. I wasn't quite sure if we were going to actually have any left for the show at all, but there are literally a few left. Uh, less than 20% remains now on the stock we started with today. And I know loads of you love. Oh, it's now less than 10% remaining. OK, wow. wow. These are going to go any minute now. What that is down there, by the way, is the most beautiful frame. And if I just show you. This is the sort of thing that you can do. How amazing is this? Whether you're a fan of colour or whether you just want to use it as monochrome, black and white, that sort of thing is entirely up to you. But that border is just perfect. It looks like a three-dimensional weave, doesn't it? And then here we've got all these different flowers for different months of the year. So, you know, you don't have to use them for calendars and for diaries and things like that. But if you wanted to, that's what the, the 12 were developed with very much in mind, weren't they? Yeah, absolutely. And, and each month has a, a birthday flower as well. Yeah. So, so the idea is that if you've got somebody who's got a January birthday, then you've got a little um, thing there that you can make a, a very quick card, um, or you can go and use the entire frame and go for make it. somebody a special treat. Yeah. yeah well, exactly. what you're going to get, remember, is it's amazing value for money when you consider what you've got here. You've got four eight by eight size templates, but you've got four flowers on each of those three, and then you get the fantastic verses and sentiments, and also that beautiful woven frame all for $51.99. Now, split pay is there, which means you don't have to pay the whole $51.99 in one go if you don't want to. You can pay just the first payment of $25.99 today with your PMP of $3.95, which is the only PMP you need to worry about on a daily basis. That's the maximum postage you'll pay no matter how many times you order. And it doesn't have to be in the same order. It can be different times of the day during the day. No more than $3.95 postage. Already we've got Deborah in, putting this into a basket right now in Berkshire. Nice to know you're there, Deborah. Welcome back to Hobby Maker. And if you are brand new and you're not a Hobby Maker customer yet and you'd like to register, there's still time. You can still do it. It's easy. All you have got to do is go to hobbymaker.co.uk, um, go to the website, and you'll see there if you're a new customer, click here basically. And then they ask you for your email address, and then you come up with a password that you won't forget. And that's it. You're in. And then if you want to get a five pound voucher to redeem against a purchase, all you've got to do is just click to receive emails, and that's at the bottom of the screen on the on the home page as well. Just just click to say that you're willing to receive emails from us. You'll get regular updates as to what you can look forward to on Hobby Maker, but then you'll have a £5 voucher that you can redeem on a purchase of £25 or more. That's a little welcome from us to you. Uh, right, now, Deborah's just checked out. Fantastic. She's gone for one of these. If you want them, I think they're going to sell out this show in next to no time. They're going to be gone. URP920. Why is it, do you think, this has been so popular, honey? I think because there's so much variety in it, yeah. and it's... Um, Sometimes it's difficult to think what to do for a card um, and you know you've just got that one thing that this is January, this is the flower for January, you know, and it's so 
universal. It doesn't matter on the age group or, or anything like that. Plus, you can use it um, without the name of the flower and the date on. Mm -hmm. You can use it for a get well card, um, for a just simply with love, thinking of you. It's just so across the board. Yeah, I perfect. Think that's, you know, and it is, it's cracking value for money. It is, and so is our starter kit as well. Let me just remind you that we have the Lily Three Ways as well. Now, this is a brand new um, purchase today, and it's a really, really great, great deal. Um, you don't get A5 parchment. That's what I've got here in front of me. Um, Elaine's upgraded you to A4. So you're going to get 10 sheets of A4 parchment, so ignore that. It will be bigger. You're also going to get your colouring pencils, which are professional parchment colours colouring pencils from Germany. Uh, you've got greens, two shades of greens, a brown, a couple of shades of brown and a white one as well. You've got your double-ended ball tools, two of those in different sizes. You've got your perforator tool, which is twin needles. Um, and also you've got, of course, your uh, tumble dryer sheet, which helps to kind of lubricate um, the parchment and make the ball tool glide over the parchment really easily. And then importantly, you're gonna get your lily. That's your lily template with, that's been lasered. And then you're also gonna get your foam mat as well, uh, which we always suggest you use one side for embossing and one side for perforation. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And then you also get this, which is your other printed parchment project that uh, Elaine was showing you how to use as well. So you get that included too. All of this for fifty-four ninety-nine, and it's on three-way split pay as well. Eighteen thirty-three is your first payment of three that you pay today, if you fancy that, and that proved really popular earlier too. Uh, we've only literally got about 20 chances left on this particular kit as well. We had an extremely busy earlier show at uh, 2 o'clock, and this is the last show of the day, okay? So there is your starter kit. If you want to start off with something beautiful and manageable that's not too daunting, this is a good place to start. Yeah. And don't forget as well, Dave, you've got the three-hour tu tuition USB oh, well, yeah, I about that. on Sorry. there. So, I mean, I, I've bought things on craft channels before, thinking, oh, wow, look at that. You can achieve that. That's fantastic. And then you get it home. You get all excited, yeah. you get stuff out and you think, what did they do? What did they do with that? Well, you get me in your living room, in your craft room, for three hours, you can shut me up, rewind me, play me again and Elaine again. Elaine on demand. You know, yeah, that's there you right. Go. So you get the USB as well, which is a real tutorial. So if you forget how to do something or a certain technique that Elaine's talked about today, it's all on that for you. And this is the only way that you can actually get the Lily template as well is in this bundle today. So if you've never done it before, Go for this. I'd be tempted to go for maybe some more parchment as well. We've got uh, designer parchment in the show, different colours, rainbow parchment we've got in the show. I mean, after that demonstration a few minutes ago with the embossing, pa uh, the embossing folders, um, you know, think about going for some of our coloured parchment in the show today to be used with the ball tools, but also embossing folders too, for that matter. Um, so that is basically the starter kit. And that's SRP916, if you want it, SRP916. That will get you this. And it's really got everything you need to start. It has, yeah. And just, just as a... I mean, I know we send cards for happy occasions, but also the the lily, if you use that with the black parchment, that makes a fantastic bereavement card, sympathy card, okay? And we've, we've got the black parchment on the show. The only proviso I would say is that if you're using black parchment or a dark coloured parchment, you will need to work on a light box. Right. Okay? If you use on a, work on a light box, you can still see the template through it. If you try and do it on your black mat, you won't be able to see. Right, okay, but oh, ordinary parchment, so. you, you don't need a ordinary light box. Ordinary parchment, you don't need a light box, no. And any light coloured, the um, the rainbow parchment that we've got, that'll work fine with, without, a, without a light box. Okay, uh, that's SRP 916, 1833, your first split payment of three, or just one payment of 54.99. Okay, now let's remind you of the mindfulness. Now let's have a look at these, these are great. Now if you're a fan of Sandra Rushton and Santangle, um, this is what this reminds me of, because basically this is um, Parchcraft Australia's version of that, but using the lasered lines as guides. So if you're not very good freehand, I know with Sandra's, it's kind of, you know, if you can draw a line or can draw a circle, you can sand tangle. Uh, but if you can't really do that very easily for whatever reason, this, where, always, where you see all those white lines, all that white detail, all of that is lasered to perfection. So the ball tool follows every single little fleck and mark and, and detail. The cat's face is intense. That is really, really intense. You'll lose yourself in this. The bear is absolutely gorgeous as well. But if I just hold up, where was the finished one of the cat? Uh, I think I've probably stolen it for you. Oh, yeah. No, I, uh, yeah, I bought it here, sorry. It's all right. 
I've, I've been messing on with you. Don't worry about it. There you go. <laughs> Look at this. You don't have to colour it in if you don't want to. I, I quite like the kind of monochrome myself with sand tangle and with um, parchment. But if you want to colour it in, of course you can add colour, no trouble at all. But, you know, that is... A, the reason it's called the mindful set is that basically you kind of lose yourself when you're doing it. You don't Absolutely. even realise what you're it's doing. It's so therapeutic and the time just goes. And you know when you've got your mind full of the day and you just think, oh dear... It, everything just goes apart from the fact that you're just focusing on that stroke. The, the action of stroking that tool through the grooves is so, so relaxing. It's, it's brilliant, it really is. And you're going to get both. You're going to get both the cat and also the bear as well. Um, the bear is probably where, where you, I, I would start with the bear because it's a little bit more open. It's, not it's, quite it's a, bit, a bit more open, yeah. The, they're both very doable, um, but yeah, the bear is it's more open. Um, so, you know, you've got more chance. But, of course, if you wanted to go to the nth degree with it, all those little, um, are they called fronds on his fur? Mm -hmm. You could two-needle those out and um, cut all the PKs and everything. That's great. You know, you could, you could colour it or you can just do it just as it is. We call them naked if you just use a template. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let's try to angle it so I'm not getting the lights on. The, they're so shiny. But anyway, both of those together are $25.99 the price. And then we have the boots, the floral boots down the end. Now, I think this will be your first That's my favourite. Yeah, it's my favourite. This is favorite, your favourite. Yeah. I haven't got any I'm, of the finished cast I'm, now. I'm, I'm into kinky boots, so um, I, I've, I've, I've nicked them, Dave. That's all right. <laughs> Can I nick them back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at this one. Mary Duffy's done this one. Obviously, loving a bit of the sparkle. Isn't that lovely? Then the opposite. You've got your welly boots, but they're designer welly boots, by the look of it. Yeah. Helena uh, has done this one. They're, so actually, they're quite topical at the moment as well because they've got the sunflower in there for the, um, the Ukrainian um, oh, course. appeal thing. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. Well, that that rainbow parchment is actually picking up the blue and yellow as well. It is, actually. Size. Absolutely. Yeah. And the rainbow parchment is in the show. I'll give you details of that in just a second. There we go, look. You're going to get your boots, you're going to get your watering can, really practical and beautiful corners. Uh, and of course, you don't have to use every element on each of these boards. You could just use one or two elements on a, on a project. A, a butterfly here, a butterfly there, a flourish here, a flourish there. But it's all there for you on both of these, and they are $25.99. Okay, now we have also, after we do a quick demo, we'll move on to our parchment. I've just got to show you the rainbow parchment is in the show. Yep. Rainbow parchment, and you can white work that? You can, yep. I'll, I'll do a, a little bit of a, a demo with that at, um, sometime in the, the show to show you the difference between working on the back and working on the front. Okay. Okay. Terrific. But it's um, all there, listed and pictured on the website if you go to hobbymaker.co.uk. That's where you'll see all the parchment. Different colours of blue and red. We've got black parchment as well in the show, and the rainbow as well. It's all there. And needless to say as, as well, um, the rainbow parchment is exclusive to PCA UK. Right. You, c you cannot get that anywhere else on the market at the moment. Right. So, uh, so that's we like uh, exclusive. Yeah. We, we do like to be exclusive. Right. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look at the, um, the welly plate to start off with. Um, but I thought I'd do a smaller card and just use bits and pieces off of the template to show you just, you know, you don't have to do the entire thing. Mm. This, uh, that, that in its entirety is designed, designed to do an 8x8, eight eight. Um, but I'm just going to do a little 5x7. Five five so with my trusty blue tack, I'm just going to pop bits of blue tack on there. Pass in the part if you the haven't got any of that, you can use low tack tape. You can, yeah. I, o I ought to actually show you how to do that because... I will do on the next one. I will do. Right, so I'm just going to stick that just about there. This is where you get the freedom to be um, a bit artistic. You know, you can, oh, I like that bit. I'm going to pop that in there and, um, you know, I don't like that. I'm not putting mm -hmm. that on. So let's just do this little watering can. Oh, by the way, you do get the tumble dryer sheet in your starter kit with the Lily three ways. And that basically just helps us like a lubricant. It helps the, the ball to gl uh, ball tool glide. It does, yeah, yeah, that's right. There, there are other ways of doing it. Little tea light candles you can use. Um, scratch it on on your head. Anything just to help it glide along. So this, this bundle with the uh, the kinky boots and the wellies. Um, you're looking at twenty percent of the entire stock gone now on this one. What's have you made your mind up about this? 
is my favourite. I, I really enjoyed designing this because I, I am into uh, different sorts of boots. So, uh, so as you can see, I'm just going around these tracks for anybody that hasn't done this before. Um, as we said before, or anybody who didn't catch the first show, if you come out of these tracks, it's not going to mark your parchment at all. So. That's what amazes so me, actually. Yeah. You know, if you're thinking, well, if I do go out of the tracks, I'm going to ruin it. No, it no. just doesn't mark. No, it does not mark at all. So you, you cannot go wrong with it. Let's uh, just quickly... And like you said to me earlier on, I didn't realise this, but you said to me that um, you're not an artist. No, no, I, I cannot draw to save my life. I, I, can, um, I can do coloured pencil port portraits on parchment um, because parchment is a tracing element. Mm. So if I um, find myself a photo and pop it into a graphic design um, program, I can then work from that right. and, and reproduce the photo. But I couldn't design it myself because I can't draw. And all of these uh, templates, by the way, are manufactured in the UK now. Even though it says Australia, uh, that was the original home of the, the brand. It and was. You bought it. Yeah. It, well, it was their baby, so we, um, we kept the Australia bit in there. Um, because Richard and Linda that we bought it, it from built it up from scratch. They, they actually produced the, the original um, acrylic template for use on parchment. Oh, right. Um, there, there was nothing else um, in the world at that stage. Um, there are others now that are um, produced in the UK. Um, but yeah, so uh, really proud to have been able to take it over from them mm. um, and to take it forward. And it's, it's got, I think what you've been able to do is kind of reinvent the wheel with it a little bit because you've got a whole new generation of people coming through doing it. Absolutely. Whereas maybe it was uh, regarded as a very traditional, quite old fashioned craft many years ago. Um, nowadays, you've put a modern twist on it. Everyone the, can the, do it. The thing is, we try to update our designs as well so that we've got some things in there that are appropriate for um, teenagers, etc. Mm. You know, we've got some uh, nightclub scenes and things um, in the pipelines. Um, so, so, yeah, it, it's more appropriate for that generation, but we've still got, um, we've got about a thousand templates on, on our website. Wow. Um, so there really is something for everybody. And the beauty of it is as well that three generations can craft together. You know, when summer holidays come around mm. um, and you, you know, if, the grand, if you're looking after the grandkids and you want something, you know, I want to do my parting, but the grandkids are, are here, set them up with it. Now, as, as crafts go, this doesn't mean that you've got to spend an awful lot of money. You haven't got to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on machinery and that sort of thing. Once you've got your initial tools, and if you just want the, the ball tools on their own, we've got them available as a separate item. If you just want these to give it a go, uh, they're eight ninety nine. So, you know, that's as, as, as affordable as it can get. But of course, if you've got the ball tools, you're probably going to want to go for the starter kit because you've got the template, you've also got the foam, uh, and also you've got the colouring uh, pencils there as well. And you get 10 sheets of A4 parchment in this one, which is the th uh, Lily Three Ways starter kit. Okay, that's what we're showing you on the screen. Now, we've also got some brand new vellums, and lots of you are wanting the vellums. Or what's, is it vellum or parchment? It's vellum. vellum. The, the, the burgundy and the dark blue is vellum. It's right. 100 grams, uh, 100 GSMs. Um, it's more for use um, for backing okay. your work rather than embossing on. If you try to emboss on it, you have to be very, very light-handed. The, the parchment that we use for, for the templates is 140 GSM, 160, and then the coloured is 150. Okay, now this is crazy. £6.99. And how many sheets do we get? You don't get one of each. You get two packs. Six ninety nine. Yeah, there's two packs. One pack of each. You get one pack five. of each. Yeah, there's five in each. Okay, so five of the red, five of the blue. Six pounds ninety nine is all you're paying for that. And this is vellum, okay? And that's uh, ZVP nine nine one. Um, our notes say ten of each colour. It could well be. It could well be. <laughs> Yeah, you're getting 10 red, you're getting 10 blue. Okay, even better news. Yeah, so uh, if you thought you were buying five, you're now getting 10. It's 
absolute bargain. Yeah, six ninety nine, and they're on their way to you. So that's the blue and the red vellum. We've also got a lot of you, a lot of you wanting the rainbow. Now the rainbow vellum is ten sheets. Ten sheets of this rainbow. Look at that. Now there is a front and a back side to this. Okay. Now you get ten sheets of it. It's IMP 950, that's the product code if you want to get this beautiful, beautiful vellum. And again, you can white work with it as well. Only 14.99, less than 30 opportunities to get this rainbow vellum. If you want it, you've got to be quick on this. And as you can see, as all vellum and parchment, it's uh, beautifully translucent there. So is this parchment or vellum, this one? That's parchment, it's that's parchment. 150 GSM. Right. And in the pack, you get five sheets of the darker one, which is the one that you've got there. And then there's also five sheets of the pale. Oh, and you get here they come. Beverly in Cardiff, Maureen in Northumberland, Elizabeth in County Fermanagh. Uh, brand new crafters coming in as well for this. So you get five sheets of the lighter pastel and then five sheets of the darker, which yeah. is that one there that I'm holding at the moment. Yeah, um, that is a, an absolute must have. Lots of you multi-ordering on that as well, actually. And you won't uh, get that anywhere else. So, you know, if you want that, guys, then uh, get it while it's there. Now, the other thing that we've got for you that we talked about earlier on, I didn't realise that you could get, I didn't realise you could actually get black parchment until I started working with yourself and Meryl. Um, now this will, you will need a light box underneath this tool. You will, okay. yes. Yeah. Which hopefully a lot of you have already got. Now there's 10 sheets of 150 GSM black parchment here and this is also just 14.99, and that's FPP. 910 FPP 910 that's the product code if you want the 10 sheets of vellum and again this is a lovely GSM 150 GSM and do you use it front or back do you where do you do your white work on the back you can use it both sides but you'll get a different impression do you want me to just pop a template in and just show you the Go difference that's Go uh, on the sheet yep yeah, I love that one thank you that'd be, uh, be great You can tell which side is the you can. top and which side is the bottom. Yeah. Side. You can tell um, there's a dull side. Yeah. The dull side's yeah. the back yeah. side. The dull side is the back side and the bright side. That's the side that the ink's on. Right. Okay. So if you let me just do I'll just do a little bit on here. Now you can see without a light box, it's not easy to see where the lines are. No. No, I just realised, you know, when I said, give me that sheet, Dave, and I'll show you how to do that, I thought, well, how are you going to do that then, Elaine? But anyway, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but look, even though you're going out of the groove, it doesn't mark. It only it's marks not, it's not marking is. anywhere. So this, this is a bit that I've done on the grey side, okay? And you'll see that as I'm embossing on this side, it's actually showing white. So the finished piece of work... All it's done is raised the black. Can you, actually, can you see that for the shine? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let can me you. see. There you go. So you've got a raised black embossed area there. Okay. If you were to emboss on the shiny side, Just do a couple of lines, just so you can see. Oh, okay. Okay. So yeah. now you've got the white work right. come through got on you. the black parchment. So two effects, one sheet of paper, and it works exactly the same way with the rainbow parchment. Okay. You've just got to work out which side the ink is on. It's easy to do because that's the shiny side. Yeah. Okay. If you emboss on that side, you'll get a raised white line. If you emboss on the dull side you'll get it raised the same colour as the parchment itself. Fair enough. Okay, so two, two different things from one sheet of parchment. And uh, while we're on the subject of parchment, the other parchment that we haven't really talked about is the standard classic. Now you've got 140 GSM or 160 GSM. I've got 160 here. And if you buy that today, you're going to get 25 sheets of it. Uh, again, lovely, lovely thick, heavy weight to this. And that's going to be 19.99 for 25 sheets. So well under a pound a sheet for top quality parts. Absolutely, yeah. And it is, I'm, I'm not going to say it's the best because I don't know if it is or not. I don't use other brands, but it's the only parchment that, that I would use. Yeah. You know, even for exam work and things like that, that's, that's um, 
If you want the 150 GSM, there's not much difference. That's 140 40. GSM, sorry, 140. So slightly lighter. We have that, and you're actually going to get how many sheets in there? That's 25 as 25 well. 25 again yeah. of the 140. And that's uh, available in the show as well. And that, I believe, is 18.99. Yeah, 18.99 for those 25 sheets. And that's LQP 952, your item number. So all these parchment offers, pop them in your basket, check out. Uh, you can have as many things in your basket as you like, and you can order as many times as you like. You know what I'm going to say? The PMP is always just 3.95 for your entire day's orders. The system collates all your orders at midnight every night and makes sure that you only pay one postage, which is pretty amazing. You will find with, with the parchment, Dave, that as you start to work with parchment, you will start to realise whether you're a heavy parcher or a light parcher. Right. Okay. We always start people off on 140 GSM because it's the lightest and it produced the easiest results for medium weight um, embossers. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the same as, you know, if you're handwriting, you have a different pressure. It's exactly the same. The 160, if you turn out to be a heavier parcher, once you come to do the freehand embossing, then the 160 is far better for you. It won't buckle as easily. Um, there's less chance of you actually going through the parchment. Sure. Okay. So if you're a beginner, you recommend the 140 GSM? The 140, yes, yeah, for definite. Not, that's what we start people out on. Is that yeah. what's in the starter kit? That's in the starter yeah. kit, yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't put anything else in there. So what I've done here, I've done this um, watering can, and now I'm just turning it round, and I'm just going to put this little corner on. So you pick out of the templates exactly what you want to do. So just... You just do a few of these. We're so getting the flow of it. It doesn't take long, does it, really? No, no. When, once you've actually got the feel of where the, the grooves are, you can just whip along and, you know, it's just... I just love it. <laughs> just love it. Right, turn that over again. Mm -hmm. And there you can see. So all I've done, I've taken the corner from the template and the watering can. So we've got a nice little five by seven card. What's that, 10 minutes? Yeah. Five minutes, just once mounting onto card. And you may okay. never have done anything artistic in your life. You no. two will get the same results as Elaine's got. Yeah. Professional quality all the way. And maybe it's something new. Maybe you are a colorist at the moment, or you use your uh, alcohol pens, or you use your water-based pens or whatever. And you're thinking, do you know what? I've been doing that for years. I fancy a new change. Well, this is something that's traditional. It's classic. And when you, It may take a while to do a piece if you, you know, do all the different techniques and that sort of thing. But you know what? We're crafters because we love the, the actual act of crafting. And that's what we love to fill our spare time with. So the fact it's going to take you a little bit of time to do it, I mean, in that case, not very long, much uh, time at all. But if you're doing it the traditional way and you're doing the snipping and the, and the perforations, that sort of thing, that will take you a bit of time. But when you get something that's been a bit of a labour of love over the months or weeks or days, when it's done, you're so proud of it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And this, you know, if you've got a child with you and they can produce something like that mm. within a matter of minutes, you know, the, the, there's, it, you can hold their attention for, for enough time to be able to pr produce something like that. And you said the youngest parcher that you've got that you know of five. is five years old. Yeah. That's amazing. Five year old, yeah. yeah. I mean, if they can hold a pen or a pencil, mm. they, and they're not going to harm themselves with these tools. No, no they're you not know, sharp. That's, and they're cheap enough for them to have, you know, you can have granny's tools mm. and. Well, if you do want extra tools, if maybe a, a few of the family are going to be doing it all together, you can buy the extra tools, the ball tools, for eight ninety nine. They're on the website right now. And one thing we would recommend, if you are going to buy a template or two, is to go for the template buddy, because that is a frame that your template sits in. And it's like giving you a second pair of hands, but it's also giving you um, a protector so that you're not resting your hand on the parchment, because sometimes skin, skin oils can actually stain the parchment. They can, mm. yeah. Yeah, that's right. You'll get a nice little greasy blob if you don't protect your parchment. From, from your fingers. Um, Template Buddy's up there. It's on the screen. Um, I thought it was 19.99. It is. Okay. It is. On the other side. Sorry, I was looking on the left-hand <laughs> side. 19.99. There's your uh, Template Buddy. There we go. Yeah, and you do get a few extra 
uh, little yeah, images. The, there's the actually butterflies things. around the edges yeah. of that that you can um, add to any of your designs as well. So it just seemed a waste to have the body itself, which is a piece of acrylic with nothing on it. Mm. You know, there's a space there, we might as well use it. And the body's got adapters for the different sizes of templates, so whether it's the 8x8 or the smaller one? Or the smaller one, yeah. 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 So you've got a small template body, large template body, and your protector. They all fit together nicely for storage. That's, you know, terrific. Jobs are good. Right. In the last show, I showed you um, sticking things with brads. Yep. So putting the card onto the back end. I'm just going to use some of this um, glue. Now, it does have a very fine nib, mm -hmm. but I find that if you pop the tiniest bit onto the edge of your, um, your body and use your smallest tool, so this is the special glue for parchment that's on the website for you. And then all I'm going to do is a tiny bit in what each corner. It is tiniest, tiniest bit. It's always the same with parchment. Less is more, especially when it comes to anything that's got um, any sort of, of liquid in it. But this is the the best. My husband bought me um, a cookbook for Christmas, a very large cookbook, and I think he thought I was maybe going to use it to cook him some things, but what I actually use it for is when I've prepared a topper like this, I pop it inside the middle of the cookbook <laughs> <laughs> and wait for it to dry. So it was a very good gift from him. That, that backfired yeah. massively on his part, yeah, didn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm going to show you this because where the glue is, you will see the glue. Right. Okay. When you come to embossing, you can do, you can pick out bits of white work that will take some glue behind. But of course, there's a little pokey tool. All we're going to do, what all crafters do, where that glue is, I've perhaps put a tiny bit too much on, on there. But it's sticking. Pop a nice little jewel in each of the corners. Do you know what? I'd, one of these days I'm going to be one of these people that have demos prepared. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. So, there you go. Okay. So the you can't so actually see the glue because it's now hidden behind those those gems. And that, you know, I'm not going to lie to you. You can see glue yeah, sure. through parchment. Okay. If I'd have gone um, with a very fine tool, I could have taken the time and put the glue behind this white or if embossing white line. On a or if I'd or done something like that, yeah, you can use it behind You can that. use it behind that and it won't show through. Well, that, that particular okay. card didn't take very long at all because it's basically yeah. the outline of the watering can and the outline of the frame uh, corner. Lovely. So, yeah, that's kind of speed parching. But if you do it the traditional way with the perforations and all that sort of thing, it will take you a little bit of time. But again, it's the actual act of doing the craft that everybody seems to love. I'm, I'm, I make models, and sometimes models that I make can take months to do. Mm. But I don't mind it because it's what I love to do. So it's the same with parchment, I think. Yes, you can do things very quickly if you want to, using, of course, the, uh, the tracing of, the, of the, the templates. But other, th other techniques, the snipping, the perforation, if you want to go down that route, then that may take you an awful lot longer. But it's, it's elements of it that you can explore. It's as simple as that. Twenty-five ninety-nine then is the price if you want to go for the uh, the floral boots. Those are the floral boot templates, the one that we've been demoing with. So that's down here, just to remind you again of what you've got just here. There we go. Look, there they are. So you've got your floral boots and you've got your welly boots, you've got the watering can, you've got the butterflies on there as well. And like we were saying earlier, you've got lots and lots of elements on there that you can just use individually if you wish to. Apologies for the lights, but they're very bright and these are very, very shiny. Um, and they're lovely. Okay, so that's those two plates. We've got still, remember, the starter kit, which is the Lily Three Ways. Uh, that's proving very, very popular as well. And don't forget, we've got all the coloured vellums and parchments on the show as well. The rainbow parchment, we've got the traditional parchment in 140 GSM and 160 GSM. It's all there for you. Now, how many of the floral birthdays are remaining? The next four of you will be lucky. These 
will have gone, I'm sure, in the next minute or two. Um, you're going to get all 12 of these flowers. There's four templates in total. Three of them have got the flowers, one for each month of the year. And then you've got this wonderful Celtic square frame, which is gorgeous. And again, you've then got the sentiments and the verses in the middle there. But this is about to go any minute now. This is going to be out of here and gone. But if you just look at what they can make, before we go back to another demo from Elaine... Look at that, isn't that lovely? Have you got that board that shows the uh, the floral ones, coloured down? Yes, it's down here. So I wonder where it was, it's down here. <laughs> here we go. So there that is the frame to start off with. They're actually mini mini piece of um, artwork in their own right, the, um, the coloured ones are. And that's just showing you the different ways that you can actually work with that frame. So you can do it on coloured parchment, you can add your own colour to it. Um, if, you know, when you get a bit more advanced, the little overlocking squares, you can actually cut those out, mm -hmm. you know, so yeah, it's a wealth of things. Now look at these, you could probably get, what, um, probably four or maybe six flowers out of an A4 sheet of parchment? Yeah, could, yeah. You? six I would have thought, yeah. 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 Daffodil for March, I mean, you don't have to use the words, you don't have to use the months of the year, it doesn't have to be for a calendar or anything, but if you would like to gift maybe to members of the family, a parchment calendar for 2023 how amazing would that be that would be fantastic yeah it's a shame we didn't get it out a couple of weeks earlier actually because it would have been fantastic as you say for mother's day and uh, and things like that well but mum if you buy it for mother's day today that she'll know it's on its way absolutely yeah. record this yeah. show play it to her on mother's day and say that's yeah what I've ordered that's it. what you've got yeah yeah that's right could be an fantastic answer. yeah great okay yeah. so our next demo if that's all right yeah I'd, i wanted to touch on a bit of um Snipping, if that's all right. A bit of perforating and snipping. Yeah, perfect. We've not, yep. we've not mentioned the um, the snips. Well, remember, we've also got the 12 by 12 foam mat in the show as well. But always remember, have one side for perforating and one side for embossing. Because otherwise, if you try and emboss where all the perforations have been, it could end up messy. So Yeah, this is very much a case of um, do as I say, not as I do. Because <laughs> I've just gone straight on um, to use this mat to perforate on where I've been embossing. What I will share with you, and I know she's watching, so she'll be after me. This is Meryl's mat. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bless her. She always leaves all the things in the uh, the kit ready for uh, ready for the show. She's so prepared, you know, so organised, and I'm just not, just not at all. <laughs> so we, we complement each other, I suppose, in that respect. And remember, you are in the starter kit with the Lily Three Ways. You are going to get a double uh, needle perforating tool. Yeah, the, the twin needle. So all I'm doing with this, sorry, I'm whipping along and I'm not saying what I'm doing. With the twin needle tool, each time you go in, as you're doing a line, you're creating one more hole, okay? So you go in across, dropping back into the hole that you've just done, and then making one more hole drop the tool across, back into the hole that you've just done, each time just making one more hole. Okay, That way you're sure that these holes are all equidistance apart and your PK edging is going to be even. Okay, So I think we'll, we'll just leave it at that. I don't want to... So you're not doing two holes at a time. You use one of the needles to go into you the hole you've just done. Absolutely. So then they're yeah. equally spaced. So you, you slide back into the hole where you've just been, perforate, so you make one more hole, and then you move your tool across, slide it back into the hole that you've just done. So each time, one more hole. That's also on the um, the USB in that Lily starter kit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've covered that in there, uh, along with the technique that you need to make the PK edging. Okay. It's not actually part of that kit, but I got a bit carried away and, <laughs> you know. Well, the starter kit, this is still available actually. And remember, you're not gonna get A5 sheets of parchment. You're actually gonna get 10 A4 sheets. Uh, Elena Merrill have been very generous and up upgraded you to more, more uh, parchment. You're gonna get your perforation mat and your embossing mat. One side for perforation, one side for embossing, uh, and you choose which. Uh, then you've got your template with the lily, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and then you get your colouring pencils, which are professional parchment colouring pencils. Two shades of green, two shades of brown, and a white, which is great for colouring in the lily. Um, the USB, remember, with up to, is it three hours? It's, it's between two and three quarters and three hours. Right of tutorials on all the techniques that you're yeah. seeing Elaine do in the studio today. There's your twin perforation tool, which is just there. 
Okay, so that which we were using in the demo a few seconds ago, that's included as well. And you get your double-ended ball tools too, and the tumble dryer, perf um, tumble dryer lubrication sheet as well. So that helps the ball tool kind of roll over the parchment so much easier. Yeah. Um, the, the pencils that you've got there, the five coloured pencils, are the pencils that you will need to complete the Lily in coloured pencil following the tuition that's on the USB. Right. Okay, I've picked those specifically for that. The white pencil is a cheaper pencil and it's just specifically for doing tracing, when you, as I showed you in the first show, when you're tracing um, from a paper pattern you need a white pencil right. and you need one that will be easily erasable which is the one that we've popped in the kit right. there and you do get okay. the paper pattern as well that's not just packaging that's actually a traceable image which you can use of course with the uh, the pencils too so 54.99 or three split payments of 18.33 that's all you pay today with of course your pmp of just 3.95 and that's always the case it's not just a special offer for today it's every single day no matter how many orders you make in one 24-hour period it never goes more than 3.95 postage free phone call center number as well if you want to talk to our operators and if you want to register as a customer with hobby Maker, you can do that with them as well as on our website 0800 001 4433 is the free phone number and the call center is above us so in the uk and it's a free phone number which is fantastic Right, so I've perforated um, a line of holes along there. Now these snips, these are, these are exclusive to PCA and I, I strongly believe that these are the best in the country at the moment. I mean the sales that we've had on these is just absolutely phenomenal and we've had nothing but good feedback. They're very fine on the end and they've got very sharp points but they've also got a mechanism at the side that I'll tip it up there, you can see you've actually got two screws, okay? So one is the screw that fixes the width of the points at the end, mm -hmm. and the other is the locking screw for when you pop them away. Okay. Um, I just have to tell you, we do have these in the show again. Um, every time that Elaine and Merrill are here, they, they absolutely fly. Twenty nine ninety nine for these scissors, and once you've got them, you've got them. And th the fact that you can actually set the mouth of the scissor, yeah. so every cut's the same. Exactly, so, so all you do, um, you need to get your best way to show it on there. There you go. Okay, so you've got your, your snip ends there, and that is the width of the PK that I want to do. So I'm going to use this inside screw, and I'm just going to tighten it up so that it won't allow those to go any wider than that. It will allow them to go in mm -hmm. so that you can do the snipping, but it won't allow them to go any wider. Okay, mm -hmm. so it just it just makes it so so much easier. Now I don't know how much of this you're going to actually be able to catch, but we'll give it a go. Two holes. The tool, the end of the tool, I can just feel on my finger. Okay, I can't feel the points. I can just feel the pressure. Mm -hmm. Okay, drop the tool right down flat, twist it, and at the same time snip it. Okay, and you can actually, if you've got it right, you can hear the snip. Mm -hmm. If you've not okay. got it right, you'll hear a one of them. Yeah. Okay, so into two holes, drop it down flat, turn it, pull it. Okay. And that's what gives you that really lovely, like a serrated edge. It's like a bit like a, a postage stamp, but in miniature. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's um, it's called a, a PK edge, and um, I mean, don't get me wrong, this will take some practicing. I have explained fully on that um, USB what you need to do if you're left-handed, if you're right-handed, etc. So, I mean, it's well worth having that USB just to pick up um, this bit of extra advice that's on there. Well, Martin in Leicestershire, you've got these in your basket right now. He's bought the snips. Good, yep. good man, Martin. Good man. You won't be disappointed. You know, it's, it's a precision piece of equipment that will last you probably yeah, years. Yeah. We do, Meryl and I took two years to, um, to develop this design to find a manufacturer that could make them as we wanted them making. We, we actually rejected over 50 pairs um, because we knew exactly what we wanted. Mm. And, you know, some of them that were coming back, they were either poor quality, the ends weren't um, wide enough, just not right. I'm going to stop there because it's making my nose itch because my fringe is in my face. Right, so if I can you actually see that against my thumbnail? 
There we go. Which, that's Getting my edge, you can Look see. There you go. Can you see that? It's like minute teeth. Yeah, and that's that's what you need to, to work at getting. When you first start off doing PK edging, you may find that you get little squashed bits on the end. Yeah. Um, but, you know, just, yeah. This that. is what Janice has done on this one. Yeah. And you can see that the, the, the edge, it's only when you get up really close that you can really appreciate it. And it is a bit time consuming, but you know what? It's the labor of love. That's why you do parchment. Yeah, the tracing with the boards is relatively quick, very quick in actual fact. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, obviously you need to perforate it first, then snip it second. Then snip so. it, yeah. But it's, it's how much work you want to put into a project mm. to get the results. I mean, Janice is actually on that one. She's gone all around the edge of the Celtic frame. Um, and as I was saying earlier, you can see the little squares that are in between the, um, the interwoven. We have got some pieces of work where the ladies have actually cut out those tiny squares, mm -hmm. see in, in the basket weave there, and it looks absolutely amazing. Well, loads of you putting the snips in the basket. Why is it a bestseller? Buy them and try them and you'll see exactly. What size do you recommend for people that want to do that technique? Is it literally only a millimetre or, or so, or the size of the, um, you know, the opening of the teeth? What you would do, using your two needle tool, pop yourself two needles together because you can actually get these in different different widths okay right. and then stick your tool into those two holes and oh, tighten, and screw the, right, tighten gotcha. the screw and then that is set exactly as you're going to need it Perfect. for for all of those for the entire row that's the way they work okay that's yeah. right aren't they they're brilliant yeah, yeah. Uh, 29.99 once you've got them you've got them basically uh, for the snips that's imp967 that's the product code for that have we got time for one more demo? Got anything else lined up? We have. Um, what would you like me to do? You Don't pick. Forget, this is the um, this is the fantastic template buddy, which uh, holds on all of your templates, no matter what size they are, because you only do two sizes of templates, don't you? Is it the eight by we eight? We do. Yeah, we do the eight by eight and the one twenty one by one seventy one right. centimeter. So you've got the adapters for both of those sizes. Yeah, plates. that's that's the eight by eight one. Yeah. And then the this one fits snugly inside it. So whichever size you're using, you've got that firm outer edge all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can we have a look at the bear? Yeah, let's little do it. Little teddy bear. We've not done anything. Our mindfulness the, uh, collection. Mindfulness you're going to get the bear, way. and you're going to get the cat. So if I just uh, find myself a sheet of parchment. Well, let me show you while you're doing that. I'll just show you a couple of the finished cards here. I love both of these. The bear is dead cute. The cat. There's a lot to the cat. Look at the amount of work in this. All of those lines have been lasered onto the template. So what you've got to do is put the ball tool in and you will get the most incredible um, finished result. You really will, because it's impossible to go wrong when the templates guide you. Um, whether you want to color the cat in, whether you just want to do it in white, just the white work of the parchment is entirely up to you. Uh, another one here, this is by Janice. Just doing the outline really of the cat and then coloring in maybe the fur and the eyes, that sort of thing too. So, but. That's where you've got the detail. I mean, this is a labor of love. It will take you a bit of time to do it. But it's a bit like sand tangle meets parchment because obviously with sand tangle with Sandra and her team, you, you get a pencil, a pen or whatever, and you draw the shapes and maybe you follow an image in the book. With this, if you find that a little bit tricky to do, if you haven't got really much manual dexterity, but you can hold a, a ball tool, the, the channel guides you on yeah. the parchment. So I think the two yeah. things will kind of work in harmony together. If you love sand tangle, you'll probably love this. If you love this, you'll probably love sand tangle. $25.99 gets you the bear and the cat together. Uh, IP, I know it's IQP985. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but what about um, a little girl doing a teddy bear? Mm. You know, just, um, it's, it's just, we, we tried, as we've said, to cover all bases. So with this bear, it's exactly the same principle as everything else that we've done okay wipe your parchment with your tumble dryer sheet and go ahead and start embossing and you want to say start in the middle yeah? start in the middle or middle-ish you know you don't you don't have to measure the center for certain but I always work outwards okay and when you come to a bit where there's a join in the lines so where two lines meet like there. If you work away from that line, 
you'll get an even emboss. If you work across that line, you'll end up with um, what we call a junction. So you get somewhere that's been double embossed. I'm trying to do it on, on here on purpose so that you can see what I mean and my hand won't let me do it. <laughs> it's, mm. just, uh, it's just doing it. To, there we go. That's. I love the fact you can just do this maybe on a lap tray. You don't have to lock yeah. yourself away in your craft room if you don't want to. Yeah, and on the train as well is brilliant for me because I go, um, I go to Edinburgh quite quite a lot um, and you know all those hours on the train if I'd got to have a steady hand and the train's going do, 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 mm. you know you're going to end up with um, pens and pencils everywhere um, but with this if it jolts you and you come out of that line it doesn't matter it's not important at all now remember everything to do with parchment that you may need in addition to maybe these boards or these templates, uh, you'll find it on the website. We've got lots of you going for the coloured part, uh, vellum and parchment. We've got red and blue vellum, we've got packs of those. We've got the rainbow parchment and we've also got the clear parchment in two different GSMs as well, 140 and 160. Uh, and Elaine always recommends a 140 for beginners because it's obviously that much easier to, uh, to do the emboss with them because yeah. it's slightly lighter. Yeah. So if I just take that from there, I don't know if you're going to be able to pick this up. What I was saying about, um, you know, when you come to a junction where the lines are. If you notice here, that's a lot whiter than it is here. Yeah. Okay. So what I didn't do there was work away from that junction. Okay. So I've just gone down and back. Okay. And it's given me a darker line there. So if you want to get an even presentation, then work away from the join and you'll get an even line all the time. You know, with art and crafts, you know, if you're trying to draw something from scratch or paint something from scratch, it can go horribly wrong because, you know, not everybody has got the talent to do it. Myself included, I haven't got the talent to do it. But when you've got these boards, these templates that literally give you a professional result every single time, you can't really go wrong, can you? No, no, you can't go wrong. And as I said earlier, I can't draw to save my life. You know, um, I'm very fortunate that I've got a graphic design programme that allows me to, to manipulate lines and, you know, create things like this. Um, and I can, you know, if I don't like it, Gone. Delete and it's gone. You yeah. know, start again. That's uh, you know, that's as uh, as much as it as it is. Um, what I would say for anybody that's watching, if you like the idea of parchment craft, if you've started parchment craft, um, and you have an idea for a template, get in touch because we're always always looking for new ideas. For you know, we want to make them current to the market, mm -hmm. and who better to know? what they want to the use yeah. than, than the audience. How do they know? get in touch with you? Have you got a Facebook page? Um, we've got a Facebook page. Um, we've got um, a website, which is just info at parchcraftaustraliauk.co.uk. Not forgetting it's got two UKs in it there. What do they search um, for on Facebook for you? Just Parch Facebook, Parch just Parchcraft Australia. Okay. And you, you'll find us there, yeah. We've got a beautiful chat group on there. Um, there's about 500 members at the moment very welcome to come and join us on there and anything that you produce please please let us see well let me just say hi angela in hampshire violet in hampshire brand new crafter maureen in wrexham as well all of you coming through for this catherine in north yorkshire has just checked out as well so you're going for the mindfulness ones the bear and the cat together uh the cat is the one that is more intricate so maybe the bear would be a good one to start with first if you've never done it before but certainly the cat one it's like parchment meets santangle santangle meets parchment the two obviously are very different but there are similarities this is stunning and you've also got of course the words wishing you a perfect day that's also been lasered onto the template you've also got uh happy ah birthday see what you did there birthday, birthday. yeah, birthday. yeah. yeah. Uh, have a nice or have a very nice day love it okay so all of these together uh 25.99 so that's only what 13 pounds a template and these will just last you again and again and again and as soon as you've done one the chances are someone else in the family will want to have a go as well absolutely maybe someone as young as five yeah yeah absolutely 
Um, it, it really is spanning across all the age groups from five to 95 and even above, I dare say. Uh, you're going to absolutely love this. Are you someone that likes to add colour to it? or? I, I like to add colour. I'm a coloured pencil um, portrait. I was going to say artist, but I'm not an artist. I'm a colourist. You're a colourist. Um, yeah, so, so I love to add colour. But I also, when I'm doing traditional work, I like to do um, plain parchment work as well. Fantastic. Well, if yeah. Elaine's inspired you to take up the craft today, remember the easiest way to uh, either become a, a hobby maker customer is to either register on the website with your email address and your password or do it free. The operator will always register you, no trouble at all. If you go to 0800 001 4433, the call centre is above me and they will actually make you a member, absolutely free to become a member, even if you don't want anything right now, but you just want to become a member. So when you see something you like, you haven't got to kind of start to join. Do that now. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, you will uh, be welcome with open arms. And if you want to receive emails from us, just go on the, the home page of the website, or the operator can do this for you as well. Just select, yes, I'd like to receive emails, so you get all, all the up-to-date information from us. And you'll get a £5 voucher, which you can redeem uh, against a purchase of £25 or more. So that's well worth doing, I'd say. Now, a little tease towards the next Yeah, just here. give you a little taster of what's to come next time. If you like the, um, the mindfulness, um, we've got a collection coming next time, which is the seahorse. As you can see here, this sample design has actually gone in with the PK edging and taken all of that stuff out. There's a unicorn, brilliant for the little princesses. They'll, uh, they'll adore that. Um, and then we've got a horse as well which that, that's taking it to the nth degree wow. and it's removing all and of that, that all the scissor snipping? That's all with the scissor snipping. Wow. We won't have time to demo that during the show. No, probably um, not. It is, that really is um, a labour of love. This, this was created by one of our sample um, team, Sharon Mills, and that's fantastic. And something else um, for next time, the birthday flowers, if you enjoyed those, We've got the birthday zodiacs coming out next time. Okay. So there'll be 12 zodiac signs, a nice frame to go with it. So that'll go across, make it unisex as well. well if you want the birthday flowers, that set of four, remember, the four eight by eight templates, the next two of you will be lucky because then that will sold out completely. So pop it in your basket and check out if you could. That confirms your purchase and they'll be on their way straight away. Uh, Elaine, thanks so much. That's brilliant. Enjoyed it. Lots yeah, of love to Nice Meryl. to see you. Yes, I oh, will. I'll give her a big hug. We'll see you soon okay. as well. Yeah. Uh, when do you know when you're back? Is it two weeks? Um, two weeks-ish. I'm just waiting for the uh, confirmation of it, yeah. All right, great. And we'll see the seahorse All and we'll right. see you then. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your company this hour. I've still got one more live hour to go, of course, here at Hobbymaker. I'm with Debbie Robinson in a couple of seconds at Crafters Companion. It couldn't be easier to watch Hobbymaker. You can join us on Sky, Freeview, on our website or on YouTube. So you can watch at home or on the go. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day you still will only be charged one p and p shopping made simple with hobby maker our call center is based in the uk and available 24 7. just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk
Welcome to our exciting and brand new shopping channel, Hobby Maker, dedicated to crafting. We'll be working with some of the biggest brands in the industry, which means you can look forward to highly skilled crafters, demonstrations and great products at great prices. We'll be bringing you a mix of paper craft, mixed media, resin, candle making and so much more from our expert guests. So let's get crafting with Hobby Maker. Our call centre is based in the UK and available 24-7. Just call 0800 001 4433 or email help at hobbymaker.co.uk. When you purchase anything on Hobbymaker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee, meaning that you can shop with confidence. Happy shopping with Hobbymaker! Here at Hobbymaker, we want your shopping experience to be as simple as possible. That's why you can buy as many items as you like all day and only pay one postage and packaging fee. It doesn't matter what weight, size or quantity of your order or how many times you check out that day, you still will only be charged one p and p Shopping made simple with Hobbymaker. <laughs> Is it afternoon or is it evening? I never know at five o'clock. What do you reckon, Debbie? Uh, evening? Early evening. Early evening. Late, well, late afternoon. Okay, that'll do. Late afternoon. Yeah, we'll compromise. Late afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for tuning in to Hobby Maker today. Thanks for all your messages as well. Uh, remember, there's still time if you want to get in and become a, a customer and a member of Hobby Maker today because we're live until six. You can do it any time. You know, we don't have to be live for you to, be jump, but to become a member. Go to our website. Just go to hobbymaker.co.uk uh, where it says become a new member or are, are you an existing member or whatever. Just click on that. You can then register with your email address and come up with a password that you won't forget. Simple as that. And then what I really recommend you do is go down to the bottom of that page where you kind of log in and it says, uh, would you like to receive emails from Hobbymaker? If you say yes to that, and give us your email address, we'll give you a voucher for a fiver to redeem against the purchase of £25 or more. So there's yeah, money for nothing really, and you'll keep abreast of all the things that are happening at Hobby Maker now and in the future. Uh, you won't miss a thing. So that's what we recommend you do. Uh, we're with you for another hour, and we're gonna remind you of some of the main highlights of um, Crafts Companion shows today. Now, one o'clock this afternoon, whether you were with us then or not, we launched these dies. Now, I've not seen anything quite like them for a very, very long time. I don't know whether it's the first time Crafters Companion have done them at all. But this is fantastic. This is the Gemini Lattice Folding Die Sets. So basically the dies will do the cutting and then you basically, where the dies have cut, fold it down. And you can create these wonderful interlinking patterns and designs. Look at, you can even do it on the corners. So it looks almost like a very posh ring binder. How cool is that? Isn't that amazing? And you're going to get all of them if you want. If you don't want all of them, you can choose and uh, cherry pick the ones that you like. And again, remember, our PMP is always just three ninety-five for all your orders that you've made during the day. If you've made twelve orders, separate times of the day, provided they're in a one twenty-four hour period, it's just three ninety-five to get all of your orders delivered home. That's something that I know everyone is loving. They love it on Facebook and social media, saying how good that is. How cool is that? So it's, it's that paper engineering. That's how I kind of described it earlier on. And this one, look at this purple and gold. Really, really nice. It looks complicated, but honestly, it's a breeze. It is so easy to do. And that one is another one of the ones in the collection. You know, if you love one, you're going to love all of them. So why not go for the whole collection? You've got two, four, six sets. There's 12 dies in total. Uh, and have we dropped the price yet? We haven't. Okay. I can't remember where it went early. I know it's a good deal. 
47 pound and a few pence. Okay, where's it going? Let's get it down. Let's get it to below 40. 39.99, so saving around about seven pounds and a few pence. And we've got split pay as well. So it's 19.99 today, your first payment of two. You're gonna get all of these. And let me run through and show you which ones you're gonna get. And you can see the different techniques that it will give you, the different effects it will give you. So this one is your double diamond. Next to that, your chevron. Then you've got your star. Next one. Opulence. Moving along. Double loop. And then circle. There we go. So all six of those, 12 dies in total. Or if you want a set of three, you can go for them separately. That's a set of three, and that's a set of three. Or individually, they're on the website for you to cherry pick as well. 0800 001 443 on the phones. If you'd rather order on the website, which loads of you do, it is, of course, hobbymaker.co.uk. Debbie's here for a third and final show of the day. Are you right, my love? Yeah, absolutely. I'm not going to rub it in, but add another copper. Oh. Sorry, Dave. That's all right. Um, <laughs> Shimmy Jimmy keeps me... Yeah, top top, don't you? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Now, this is going to be the last hour that you're going to see these live as well. So this is absolutely fabulous. These are just such a great concept. Actually, lattice folding is an old form of craft. Mm. Back in the day, and I'm going back, back, back in the day, uh, before die cuts, before die cutting machines, you used to have to get templates and craft knives and try and work it all out. I remember that. Oh, my days. Mm. Too much of a faff. I don't want a faff. No. I want a nice, simple craft. And these dies enable you to create this lovely, fun technique, this eye-catching technique um, with ease. You've got two dies in here, Dave. So we've got this one that measures at uh, two inches by four, and then you've got the six by two. Um, and simply run it through, which looks quite plain at the moment, cut there, die cut. Mm -hmm. But it simply is a case of fold back and tuck under, fold back and tuck under, fold back and tuck under. And I promise so you, honestly, it is just, in fact, let me bring a coloured one in. That's the one that we did, you did that in earlier. this uh, mm -hmm. first show. And that's with this absolutely fabulous design of uh, the star. It looks great in just black and white, but imagine yeah. if you've got double-sided papers, how cool will that look? Yeah. Or you can cherry pick what you Absolutely. want on the back of the die cut. Absolutely. Choose a contrasting paper to yep. get the wow factor every single time. Um, the double diamond, this is the double diamond one. Again, a really fabulous, um, it's just beautiful. Mm. This one I didn't get round to this morning, so this is what I'm going to be doing. Well, this morning, this afternoon, whenever we started. <laughs> uh, we're going to be starting uh, with one of these as well. So again, absolutely fabulous. And I'm going to show you the concept. What I'm going to show you, first of all, is each one of the dies. The chevron, love the chevron, creates a really beautiful um, technique. They are border dies, so these are going to work beautifully around all your borders of your boxes. Uh, make them focal parts of your cards. I've got some black and white concepts in a moment to show you the different cards you can be making. This one is the opulence again really beautiful doesn't matter whether you have it up down sideways whichever way you want it to go um, you really are going to create my favorite is I, a think, double I think this is my favorite as yeah, well because it looks look. like chain mail yeah it does and it's so clever it's so clever in how it's designed and how it tucks underneath and I promise you I'm going to do a demonstration in this hour with this one as well because it looks more complicated because of the different shape of this one mm -hmm. looks more complicated but it isn't it's nice and straightforward and then lastly the lovely circle so the circle one uh, we did this morning and I, I think this looks like nautical to me it really does it's got a lovely feel to it but look at it when you bring it into different colours and again just contrasting colours there to bring that pattern out and it looks absolutely fabulous really truly beautiful designs very cleverly designed as well but I want to show you that versatility factor and I do talk about it a lot however I want you to be able to see the different ways that you can you know use them mm -hmm. um, take them they've been designed to work with four by six and seven uh, five by seven yep but there's nothing to stop you with this design, being able to create it in different. So we've just done a nice straightforward pattern um, on a six by six card. Uh, what about your boxes? So if imagine that being in a gift box, and I'm gonna try and do a gift box in this uh, hour. Uh, again, just showing you how lovely they look in black and white, but however, the minute you add the color, which we will talk about, and we'll show you some more samples later on as well. Uh, what about in your stepper cards? Mm -hmm. What about in just a straight back fold card? I mean, how gorgeous does that Can look? Can you repeat the pattern? If you're doing something bigger yes. or longer, yeah, you, and you would all you would do is just attach 
attach it on. So if you've got a longer piece of card, you just attach it quite near to there so that that continuation would be able to flow right. through. So yeah, there's nothing to stop you from being able to do that, Dave. I think it really is entirely up to you how you use them. What style of card you're going to pop them onto? Um, I love the spine. Mm. On the spine for me, I would never thought of doing fabulous. that. Yeah, just creates a whole new different look, um, especially to your cards. Sorry, I got the right way around there. How lovely Caroline did these for us. Uh, but again, just showing you lots and lots of different ways that you can use these, um, and how lovely they look in white and black. Yeah. However. The coloured versions are just absolutely fabulous. And also imagine putting mirror card or something like that or satin card yep. behind it. That yep. would look fantastic too. Absolutely. So that's just a plethora of different card styles okay. that you can use. You honestly get your creative juices will go a flowing when you get hold of these. They are absolutely fabulous and it's very, very easy to achieve that look. Demo to come. But before we do that, we wanted to hold something back special for the five o'clock show. And that's what we've done. This has been available all day, but it's not been on the website until now. Now, we have got an unbelievable opportunity. Sorry, I, I know you have. <laughs> what you've there. got are dies, stencils, yep. templates. So in here, you get your dies, and I'll show you because I'm going I'm to be demonstrating these, but inside your flower forming form dies, you get, that's the die set yep. with all the dies and the so petals on. Yep. Yep. And then you're getting a set of templates as well because you can extend these flowers and you can make really big statement pieces as well with the use of the um, uh, templates in there. So that's what's in there. Then you've got 12 sheets of flower forming foam. Now this, you die cut. Yep. And I know we've got an iron coming into the studio today because yep. you do need, all you need is an iron and for these to work. So you can make your own flower petals, die cut them first. We'll put them on an iron. It kind of makes them curl up a little bit like real flowers would. And you've then got your, also, you've got 400 of your stamens here as well in this packet. So to be able to make your own foam flowers, this is crazy value for money. That's not the drop price. That's oh. what it should be, £21.97, okay. so nearly £22. To get the dies, the templates, the stamens, and all those sheets of foam, look at this, 17 98 for the lot. 421 pieces when you count the stamens, of course, wow. as well. But you can make all of your flowers, and foam, making foam flowers is something a bit different, isn't it? It is, and once they've been activated with heat, they hold their shape. So once you've distressed them, once you've inked round them, coloured them in, whatever it is that you want to do with them, I'm just going to keep it in a simple form and show you how to put it together. Uh, but honestly, they hold their shape, they stay in that 3D format, and they're absolutely fabulous. They really, really are. It's the most top quality form that is out on the market. Uh, now, our flower form whether form. you have made flowers before or maybe you're starting for the very first time, remember you've got the dies to do all the hard work for the shaping for you. All you've got to do is just basically activate them, like Debbie said, with heat. The stamens, the foam, the dies, the templates, the whole thing for under £18. And if you did buy something earlier today and you've paid your 3 95 already in postage, you don't pay any more. Simple as that. It's just one. PMP charge of 3.95, no matter how many orders you place with us during a day up till midnight tonight. VZ2087. If you want to get hold of this, maybe you've already done um, flower forming foam flowers before, and you're thinking, oh, I fancy having another go at that. I've run out of foam. Here's your chance to get it today. Uh, really great value. Yeah, absolutely. And I will demonstrate how, to, how easy it is to use those as well, Dave. Okay. Cool. Uh, shall we do a first demonstration with our lovely uh, let, lattice? Style? Let us do it. I yep. want you to see how easy these are. So each one of the dies comes in two pieces. So you've got the smaller one, which is the four by two. Then you've got the larger one, which is the six by two. And that's the one that I'm going to use right now. So I literally, and I'm using the double diamond for this one, Dave. So again, can I just tell you as well, on your um, uh, front of your packaging, yep. simple instructions, one, two, three, shows you how to pop it on your card, shows you to run it through, and then tells you to fold back and tuck underneath and cut away the excess card and you create that lovely effect. So we've even popped it onto there for you to make it really, really easy. You're gonna have so much fun playing around with different pattern papers, different colors, <coughs> different effects like um, mirrored or satin or whatever. Could you even, I suppose you could even do it with parchment if you wanted to Absolutely. and vellum, yeah. Absolutely, with anything you wanted, Dave. As long as it's got a good cardstock weight to it and a good GSM, you'd be absolutely fine with it. Now there is a little notch, I don't know if you can see just on there, there is a little notch. Do you know when we talk about those spines of cards? Mm -hmm. If you were gonna pop that onto a spine, that is exactly where you would pop it. Let me just turn it that way so you can see it. 
right down there at the bottom. So if you're going to line that up onto the um, spine of your card, that is where you would line that little notch up onto. Um, so again, it's just a fabulous way of doing it, but I'm going to show you the simplest form. I've taken a couple of pieces of cardstock and I've used some of this gorgeous... Um, I want to keep saying Pacific. I, still, I can't remember the name of the card. This I got it from one of my bigger pats. It's a bit like pistachio, but yeah. I don't think it quite is pistachio. Okay. Uh, but I've just measured these just over the two inch mark and just under that six inch mark. But I'm going to bring in some um, low tack tape. So I'm going to hold that into place, top and bottom, mm -hmm. and then we'll run that through the machine. So on a normal standard machine, it is a straightforward, normal combination with your thin metal dies, uh, which is your plastic shim, magnetic shim, and your other cutting plate. As easy as that. And we're using the Gemini that's yep. still on offer. We've still got the offer on where you buy the Gemini for £179.99, but you get £70 worth of extra goodies at no cost. That is a special launch deal. There it is, PW2003. I remember that, that code religiously. We've done it so much over the last few days. <laughs> but we're coming to the end of the month, and that's yes. when the offer ends. Or if the stock sells out before the end of the month, that's it, offer over. Yeah. So you get £70 worth of extras, um, embossing folders, dies, all sorts. And it's only £44.99. On your first split payment of four, if you want to spread the cost of it, but that offer is coming towards the end of the of the deal. So if you want it, PW two double oh three, the big full size Gemini with seventy pounds of extra goodies. Yeah, absolutely right, Dave. I've die cut it through. At the moment, it looks like a lot of W's. If I just it held does. that there for Steve, it looks like a lot of W's. It looks really cool. It does, actually, funky. Yeah. Absolutely is. However, watch what happens now. So I am going to take that first piece that's been die cut and I'm going to push it back. All the folds are in place as well on each end. Mm -hmm. So we're going to fold that back. So now it's like a, an M and a W together. Yep. And I'm just going to take that second one and do exactly the same where I'm just going to pull that back. Yep. Now for this to sit down, Dave, can you see the little twin points there? Mm -hmm. Twin peaks. Twin peaks, yep. 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 Oh, I love that programme. I never got into that. Did you know? No, back in the 90s, that, weren't it, Twin Peaks? Yeah. They tried to bring it back with an updated version and it just didn't do it for me at all. I think it was, uh, it should have been left alone. It's one of those classics that should have been left alone. Um, mm. But yeah, I absolutely love that. But that's it, your Twin Peaks took it underneath. And there you go. It's, that's and as difficult that as it easy. gets. Yeah. So I'm just going to take that one again, the one underneath. I'm going to pull that back. You can use your bone folders if you want, but I mean, I've got little TV nails on here, so don't really need that. But again, all I'm going to do is take those little twin peaks and we're going to push that underneath. And there you go. And that's all you keep doing. So you keep on taking it and folding it back. And it could not be any easier than that now you can stick those pieces down on and we said that this morning if you wanted to stick it down you can stick it down with some um tacky glue if you want you don't need to i don't yeah i just think it looks quite nice and effective when it's got a little bit of a lift yeah i do too yeah so but all you're doing is just it's just repeating that design all the and way people down people will wonder how on earth you did it yeah did yeah. you do it with the craft knife did you do it with tape measures but uh, rulers whatever no you nope. don't you don't need to tell them that i did all the hard work for you no nope. and no templates no measuring, no craft nice, <coughs> nothing. You just simply use the die and then tuck your little twin peaks, as we're going to call them on this particular one, um, or in its proper word, is the double diamond. Now, can you see the very last one? When I pull that down, Dave, if I pull that down, we've got a little bit of a problem now because it has got a bit of a hole around. Ah. It doesn't matter if you're going to continue the pattern. So if right. you continue yep. that with another piece, so if I put another piece there and ran a die cut through, it wouldn't matter because you'd be able to continue that pattern through. Um, however, I just, um, I'm not a lover of the overhang. So you just take your scissors and you snip and that's all you do. And it's just, it's just a nice little feature. Snip off the bottom one. Mm -hmm. And then tuck the last one underneath. There you go. Job there done. There you go. It's that easy. And I'm just going to lift it with a little piece of uh, glitter cardstock underneath this time. Perfect. Uh, to give it a nice little factor there. And again, all I'm going to do, Dave, is I'm going to stick that down. So I think I'll use my tacky glue for this one. Mm -hmm. And I'll pop on the back now. And I'm just going to run that across. And again, taking care not to go... Um, too close because I don't want any glue squidging out there. You could use your, you know, your dotty tape pen or your solid tape pen, depending on how clever you are at getting that that straight one around there. But I'm just going to go in with some tacky glue all the way, and we're going to pop that onto the top. And I've just got a piece that measures the same, um, but you could, if you wanted, have a nice straightforward panel that would look lovely just over the top. And I'm just going to hold that down, Dave. But how easy was that to put that together? Mm. So, so easy. 
a lot easier than it looks. And also enjoyable, because I think yeah. an awful lot of us do love working with paper and card, got a thing about it. Paper, like um, origami and that sort of thing, I, I love all of that. And this yeah. is kind of almost a little bit like that. Absolutely. Now, I've just repeated it with the second piece, because I'm going to make a little feature on a card. Mm -hmm. So it's exactly the same panel, exactly the same die cut, and exactly the same fold and tuck. Fold and tuck. That's all you need to remember. Um, and again, just going to pop that on to my glitter cardstock. Let's put those two pieces together. Got a bit of a squidge there. Let's get rid of that piece. Hold that down. <coughs> Are you going to do like a triptych with it, by the looks well, of it? Well, you, you know what? I think a gatefold that would look nice on. It would, um, yeah. And to be fair, either way, you've got two different looks. Two different looks, and it really does look absolutely beautiful. I've, I just love them. I think they're absolutely fabulous. So I'm going to bring in my card blank. I've already done a little bit of decoration on the inside with um, a little strip. Mad, um, popped a couple of little strips matching the glitter card stock, so it brings it all into line. Mm -hmm. And I love the little sentiment there. You always know just what <laughs> to say and just what to do. Exactly. And this is my gatefold card, so it's literally a gatefold that I have popped into. I don't think anyone would send me that card. You want to look? I don't think anyone would send that that card to me. Why? You always know what to say and what to do. Really? Yes, you do. <laughs> you always, you know, I always feel like I'm in a safe pair of hands when I'm with you, Dave. Oh, well. I've always said that. Don't take this the wrong way when I say that I feel like a pair of comfortable slippers. Okay. Because well, you I'll just, and I mean that. that in the very nicest of ways. <laughs> because I just feel, I, I've said to you this before, I've worked with you for many years now. You've always kept me calm and cool. And yes, that because you do know what to say and you do know what to do. Well, so this card you. is perfect for you. I absolutely adore working with you. Oh, you are I adore the right working person. for you as well. Oh, bless you. Yes, so there we go. So again, I'm just going to pop that in. Actually, to be fair, it looked nice to have a bit of a, a contrast there. Yeah. But I've just gone into the middle of my strip like so. And then I'm just going to pop onto the front. You're too kind, thank you. Because ah. you are. I tell you what, though, it's something a bit different, isn't it? Maybe you've, you've seen this yeah. in years gone by, but haven't actually got the dies to do it. Well, now you have. Yeah. Um, and if you don't want to buy all six of them, you can just get a set of three. They are available in sets of three on the website and even individually, too. So if you just like that one, that's really jumped out at you and you want to go for that, then you can buy them individually. Just go to uh, hobbymaker.co.uk. And there you go. Lovely little feature, lovely border panel just running down the side of either side of the gatefold um, and that lovely lattice design running through all the way. And again, you wouldn't be, well, you could if you wanted to sit there, try and work that out with a craft knife and a craft ruler and, oh, no. I wouldn't no. have the patience no. and I probably neither. would go horribly wrong anyway. I'll tell you what, though, so many people over the years have said to me, Gents cards, that's what I struggle with. Yes. Or maybe teenagers cards, that's what I struggle with. Can never get the right theme or whatever. Sorted. You're sorted for absolutely everybody. Ladies would love this. Uh, gentlemen would love it. Kids would love it as well because it is really different. And it's just, at absolutely. the end of the day, a lovely pattern, isn't it? And remember, absolutely. you've got all these different patterns to either choose from or to buy it all in one go. If you want to save the most money, get the collection that's on the screen right now because that is going to save you the best part of... Um, was it seven or eight pounds off the price? How much was the price before we dropped it? I can't remember. Yeah, 47 odd. So you're saving about seven or eight pounds off the price by buying them as a set. Yeah, nearly eight pounds off. CQ2098 is your product code. Uh, 19.99 is your first split payment if you want to spread it into two payments. And the way that works, I'm sure you know by now, but basically you pay the first payment today plus your 3.95 PMP unless you've already paid it. And then the next payment comes off your card in four weeks time of 19.99. So it's interest free completely and it's there for everybody. All you have to do is literally click the split pay option that comes up when you get to the checkout and it will halve it for you in this case. But you can, can sometimes have split pay up to three or sometimes four uh, interest-free payments, depending on how much you're spending. Now, let's go over to our fantastic foam flowers. Now, this is a combination of dies. You've also got uh, stencils or templates in there as well, so you can actually draw around those and cut those out if you want to, but you get the dies as well for your leaves and your petals. But then here, you've got the green for the leaves. You've got, of course, your purple and your pink for your petals as well. All you need, <coughs> you get your stamens as well, over 400 stamens in there. All you need is an iron and a non-steam a non iron as well, just a dry iron, that's all you need, and we'll show you why. But this is a brilliant price, 17.98 to be able to make your own foam flowers, either to put on cards, maybe to put in your hair, or maybe even to put um, 
on you know, home decor and that sort of thing. So yeah, you can, you can get a, a few of these maybe if you want to. If you want a multi-order, you don't have to pay any more than $3.95 to get it home. $17.98 is your price. We're already busy. Denise in Staffordshire, Chris in Bristol, Nikki, hello to you, Angela in Cheshire, Jenny in Nottinghamshire, just a few other people that are coming through for the foam flowers. Yeah, so I'm going to show you how easy they are to use. Okay. And I, I've got my iron already plugged in. Jimmy got that all sorted for me. Um, <laughs> Where is it? It's oh, just down there. Okay, I've yeah. got a lot of heat coming between <laughs> my legs and I'm like, Phew, it's a bit warm in here. It's warm outside. <laughs> you need a fan normally anyway. <laughs> It's <laughs> quite all right, Jimmy. Oh dear, it starts to unravel at this time. <laughs> <laughs> so I've just folded over my foam. Now you're going to be able to multi-cut this foam. This foam is absolutely the best foam on the market when it comes to our uh, flower foaming. It's been designed to be able to put inks to it and your pens to it. Um, and then, of course, for it to be heat set. And when I say heat set, you're going to apply the, the heat to it to get the moulding and the shaping right. with it. So I'm going to use a couple of those. In fact, I use the th I'll use three of them because you've got lovely shapes. Love the idea of these stencils, Dave, because um, we've gone from a, like a little small petal. Mm -hmm. uh, and I mean a small petal because they're little tiny ones on there as well and um, to lots of different shapes and then the, the actual stencils themselves it means that enables you just literally just pop your foam down draw around it and then cut them out to be able to create bigger petals so you can go from a little tiny flower to a really great okay. big, big one mm -hmm. but I'm just going to run those through um, in fact let me chop down a bit of this foam I don't want to be wasting this foam because um, make the most of your foam and I don't want to, to waste how I've many sheets of foam do you get 12 yeah um, yeah and you've got multi colors in this particular yeah. pack and then you've got the florals in there as well I want you to remember that this flower dye actually will work with all your papers as well of course it will yeah, yeah it's exactly absolutely. the same quality as paper dyes yeah. but it works on foam and always remember that your paper dyes will work on foam as well so dyes you've already got at home that you don't even yeah. think about using with foam yeah. they'll work even yeah. with fabrics a lot of them yeah. will work well, yeah absolutely yeah um so yes yeah, so literally now we'll take that dye off in fact we we'll remember to leave these here Dave because they're not mine the Jimmy's ah. <laughs> I've, been I've been borrowing his thing so I'll I'll put them back on there uh, but literally now I've been able to cut out and I've, there's about four layers here so I'm just going to separate them pop that in the bin and then just separate them so we've got um, at least four petals mm -hmm. of the various sizes. Let me just see if I can get my poker tool in there because it compresses the foam down as well. So let's see if I can. In fact, Dave, how good at you? you I've got silly nails on. Let's see if you can Give it spread some out for me. Thank you very much. I'll tell you what, though, I mean, foam are some of the most realistic looking flowers you yes, can make, they I are, think. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Would you be able to do that one for me as well? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I may have got there, Dave. Let's have a look. In fact, I'll get you. I'll get you working while I'm sound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get. I'm here. Use me. <laughs> get that one for me as well. Now I'm gonna bring in my iron, Dave. So I'm gonna bring in my iron. Um, <coughs> any iron will do. I usually carry a craft um, iron around with me. Um, I would say not to use the steam ones, but yeah. because. Um, We've got one here, but it should be fine. What we're going to do is get we'll turn it the steam off setting. anyway. Yeah, yeah, turn the steam part off it because you don't want that bit. And what I'm going to do, Dave, is I'll use my. In fact, let me grab a pair of tweezers because I know what I'm like when I'm round a hot appliance. Clumsy doesn't even come into it. <laughs> she says when trying to remember where she's put her um, tweezers. Oh, do you know what? You, I, thought, I thought I got my tweezers with me. Would you Edge use tweezers time. or could you use a ball, ball tool? That's what you're going to um, use. I'm yeah. going to use the ball yeah. tool. So I'm going to place that onto there because I want you to, I want you fat. Can Steve get in close to this one? Oh, I didn't realise you were that close, Steve. Uh, and then again, you just pop it onto the iron and then literally Does it have let to... that bubble and then knock it off. Okay. That's Does it have to be on a really hot heat? Or, or... A hot heat, yeah. Oh. I'm just wondering if Jimmy turned turn this up to the max. I can't... Do you know me? You can tell I don't know why I know. <laughs> because I don't... Me neither. It needs it a little bit more, did you say? I'm, I hope I'm going in the right direction. Let's see if I'm going in the right direction. Because the hotter the setting, the better you get with the moulding when it comes to the heat set. Uh, so, you like me? <laughs> Check to wake up. I think you're right. Do, you do, do you do your ironing? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm not allowed <laughs> anywhere near heat or blades. Oh, bless you. Um, well, I, you're craft, I just. Is it, really? Because the kids are all grown like up, knives, and there's like only that. really me in the house. Like, my son lives there, but treats it like an hotel more than anything. <laughs> uh, but, um, I, and I make him do his own iron, he's 26. Uh, so I, um, I buy clothes that don't need any ironing. Yeah, I do too. 
That's what I well, do. Well, not always, but sometimes. I've done it for too many years. Brought, bringing four kids up. Uh, yeah, I do it, I've, I've done it for too many years, so. But can you see how it bubbles with the heat? Oh, we've got the ball tools as, uh, available as well. Didn't realise they were in the show. They are. <coughs> uh, and you're saving seven ninety nine. so it's a set of ball tools, yeah? All the different sizes that you need. Yeah, and there'll be some foam in and there as well. And a petal distress tool too. Yeah, and I'm just going to carry on doing that. Now, obviously, if you're doing this at home and you're using a normal iron, please obviously take care this is an auto appliance um i've heard people say how do you talk about I, I swear if you get the highest setting of the heat you get the better um you get the better distress better the better reaction molding. Yeah, yeah the better and you can see that how it's cupping up i'll pop that one back on if you're not happy with something dave you can just go back on um until you are happy and again okay. just, and it'll just rebubble it just rebubbles oh, yeah, yeah so and i'm just going to give kind that a little is so addictive honestly it's so addictive it really is i'll pop a couple of those little smaller ones on i'll just turn my ball tool around and i'll be careful not to burn myself i mean you can see Ooh, how many got two on there. you can easily see just how many petals and how many elements of a flower you can get from just one sheet you're going to get 12 oh, sheets yeah this in is the, just in the yeah, pack this is just one of the colors on there um and just one of the sheets as well yeah. so again let's pop that up and oh i've got one more there let's see if i can get that one did you separate that one for me dave I did, I think, didn't I? No, I was oh. going to say, I can, see, I can see, yeah, I've got I've got one side done, but the other, it's fine. Uh, actually, that's a good way of getting them separated. Yeah, the se separate itself. Yeah, absolutely. So again, let's pop that on and then let that bubble off. Right, okay. so I'm going to move that far out of Debbie's way, just then, just down here, out of the way for a second. And then I'm, I haven't got my foam with me, so I'm going to use my uh, foam that I used for this one. But in your bowl tools, you'll actually get a white foam pad yep. for you to use this. And the bowl tools come to you in um, th oh, six different sizes. Let's get this right way around. Um, you've gone from a really small one, mm -hmm. like this, and then uh, the next size up. And then you can see your bowls start to get bigger. Wait a minute, does that sound nice? I love working with you, Dave. I'm so sorry. I can't. <laughs> Big up, big. <laughs> I know what you mean. Uh, you know what I meant. You know what I meant. You know exactly what I meant. Um, but yeah, different sizes on there to be able to create different pieces. But can you see how that, how it's initial, how, how it literally has taken that and cupped it all beautifully, and then you can literally take it and then start to do some extra shaping with them i'm going to start with one of the bigger ones and use one of the bigger ball tools do you actually, as well do you glue them together then Is you that can the... glue them together you can just stick them together but but honestly you can get different shapes you thread the, the stamens through the middle don't, don't you so you, you thread, do yeah. yes yeah there's a lot of sniggering going off and i can see steve he's gone to pieces over there <laughs> to him. literally literally he's gone to pieces uh, but uh, literally now all we're going to do is we're going to manipulate and we're going to shape and we're going to distress we also have a distressing tool dave which distresses and crumples them okay. so you can get some different effects but can you see now it's not going back to that initial foam piece mm. i bring that in for a second in fact i've got some die cut here dave can you see that's where life started that's yeah. how it started and you can see by that heat um, well, it doesn't set. look very impressive there, but it does there because yeah. you, know, you can see all the dimension. Every petal of the flower is different and un you know, unusual. Yeah, and then and because you've got those six different ball tool sizes, it does mean that you can really, really um, shape these. And there's the cup way that you can cup them. You can do the bubble where you turn it over to the other side. Um, so you can literally... <laughs> so these are roses that we're making at the moment. Yes. This is the rose, yeah. So I'm going to pop that there for a second and then I'm going to just continue to shape them. And you've got all these different sizes, so you literally can have, you know, you can you can get really creative with them and create different... It's like with anything with flowers. Mm. No two flowers are the same, no, are they? No. Um, and again, depending on how you use these tools, enables you to be able to... Um, create different petals. Well, we've got the details on the screen for the actual kit. So you're going to get, remember, a big pack of uh, stamens. You're going to get the templates, which are uh, reusable to actually shape or cut out the flowers that you want to. But you're also going to get that selection of dyes as well in various different shapes and sizes for the petals, also the leaves as well. All of those 12 sheets of foam for a bargain price. Seventeen ninety eight. It is a great price. It really we, we saw is. that on the, on the on the meeting that we had before the shows today, and I said you've got to get that on. You've got to yeah, get that on. Yeah, yeah, we Less did. Less than didn't twenty we? quid for that. Right, I'm just going to grab my poke tool, Dave, 
Um, and your pokey tool now, when you've got your stainless, so you've got your stainless in there, and you'll just need a little bit of like a florist wire or your jewellery wire. Mm -hmm. If you're you know, into jewellery, you can just a thin piece of wire to be able to tie them round. Um, again, because I haven't brought my kit with me, um, I'm just going to show you how you would put them together. And then, of course, if you've got a hot glue gun, you could literally um, take them and glue them in between each stage. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to start with the smallest. So I'm going to go in and I'm just going to split that uh, petals up, but go into the centre and then just attach them to my um, flower and you're just going to build your flower up literally take it from the smallest mm -hmm. and you can see it already forming on my little uh, pokey tool there it looks just beautiful yeah uh, and you can shape them because they're still still it, because it's still being you can still got time to mold it mm -hmm. um, and again I'll just carry on building this up with my small petals so you can have diddy little flowers so you can have quite large ones you, exactly and and the lovely thing because you've got uh, that stencil as well you've got the stencil that enables you to create bigger petals uh, and you can create depth and dimension by just um uh, offsetting the petals as well so all i'm just going to keep doing is um split going into that center opening that up once you've got it done and keep on building up loads of you coming through for this nikki chris in bristol donna uh, a couple of new crafters as well, brand new customers. Welcome to you, Jenny, Denise, Angela, and Maureen, all in for this. And can you see it coming together? So I'm just going to put my last couple on there. Let's get the right size again. Um, if you want to change it up as well, let's change it up. Let's go the other way, where you can change it the other way as well. So you can create a different kind of petal. Uh, it's entirely up to you how, and you you know, the style of petal that you want, the style of flower that you want, to be fair. Uh, but once you've got it all on there, Dave, mm -hmm. we've taken that, and I'm just going to push that up. Let me take off. Can you see now? How gorgeous does that look? That's awesome, isn't it? And this is now your 3D flower, ready for, um, you could pop little bits of tacky glue on and add some um, uh, glitter around the some edges. Some glossy highlights for Yeah, glossy highlights. You can ruffle, you can open, you can still keep on moulding. Uh, because my hands are quite warm as well, you can still get a little bit of shape if you haven't got that heat set, you know, if you, ha if you didn't do that, you can do it with that. And because it's foam, they weigh next to nothing, so it's yeah. not going to weigh down your car, no. it's not going to increase postage by any amount at all. Um, yeah, but also not just for card making. Think exactly. about picture frames, yeah. um, home decor, uh, you could wear them in your hair, you decorate, decorate I've hats. I've made um, hair pieces before, yeah. uh, what about your corsages, yeah. your weddings, things like that, what about little bouquets for your weddings? That's, that's your could you actually sew them onto like a jacket? Yeah, you could, absolutely, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So that's how you put your form together, uh, your flower together. I'll just hold it there, one second. Um, get your stamens, pop them through the centre there because just all you'll do is just pull that through and then feed your stamens through. But you can see how I've been able to um, shape and mould those petals and continue to do it until you're really happy with the style of flower that you want. What a bargain. Again, looks just beautiful. Who'd have thought, for less than a £20 note, which at the end of the day doesn't really buy you much these days, does it? Uh, you're going to get all those dyes, you get... How many dies? One, two, three, four, five, six dies or nine dies. Big about nine dies. And you're going to get your stencils in there as well, which are plastic, so they're totally reusable for the bigger petals if you want to do bigger flowers. And then you get that lovely collection of green, pale blue, purple, and pink fo uh, foam foam for your flowers. Uh, so 12 sheets of that. Uh, really lovely presentation as well, all coming to your door uh, for just £17.98. pence. A great, great price. And so many of you are in thinking that uh, yeah, that's a really good deal and you're going to be making flowers and more flowers and more flowers for uh, weeks and months to come. It's great fun to do, yeah. very inexpensive. I'd buy maybe a couple of sets and give a set of dyes to a friend as a present and then you can you know, just enjoy having, having more sheets of foam to work with. Right, now, what are we doing next then? Should we do some of the pads? Hmm? Should, we do some, Should we do some pads? Let's yeah. do the pads. I'll, get, I'll okay. get ready for it next time, or you do some of those pads. What about the secret garden? Now, I'm amazed we've still got this, actually, because this was available in the earlier show that we did um, and it sold out a couple of weeks a couple of weeks ago last week start of the month okay so oh, back at when we started yeah uh, and I can see why it sold out so quickly because this is secret garden and it's uh, 36 sheets and 32 a4 cardstocks as well and the a4 cardstocks complement the artwork and complement the colors that are actually in the 12 by 12 pad you're going to get both of them for 14.99 now if this doesn't make the phone lines busy and the website busy i don't know what will it did sell out at the beginning of the month we were able to get more stock in today from crafters companion you can see why everybody loves them and of course here you've got your double-sided paper so if you want to use those wonderful lattice dies that we were talking about before and uh, fold the papers how cool will they be so yeah 
36 sheets in there. Uh, and then you get an extra 32 sheets. But as you can see, if you look at the artwork and you look at the colorway of the A4 sheets, it's the perfect combination. Perfect shades of pink, perfect shades of red, perfect shades of green and blue. So yeah, the two together work well together and you're getting them for $14.99. Wow. And that's WZ2007. I mean, that is worth $14.99. To be fair, that I think is worth between 20 and 25 quid. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, we, we, we sell a lot of our paper pads, but I don't think I've seen it with including all that cost, that luxury mixed card pack as well, for the same price as it would be for the paper pad. It's just yeah. a crazy value and well worth getting. Not just for, um, I said this earlier, do you know the, you know the theme behind there was from one of our collections that's got dyes and embossing folders. Sure. It doesn't need that. You've got that there to be able to take into your crafting, whether it be your scrapbooking, whether it be your card making, anything that you want to do, and a great, great price. And a great price for delivery as well. To yeah. get that delivered for 3 95 because that weighs quite a bit and is quite a big, uh, big parcel, obviously. If you've already paid your postage today because you bought something else, you don't need to worry about it. This will be delivered without any more postage. So, yeah, go for it today. 14 99 gets you 68 sheets in total, 32 of them A4, 36 of them 12 by 12. Now, the Masquerade one, oh, yeah. if you like, vibrancy and you love a good old carnival it always makes me think kind of Rio de Janeiro when yeah, I see it's this it's just gorgeous look at the this. New Orleans that do the carnivals and yeah. things like that yeah, yeah Amria. it's beautiful wow it's the colors and the patterns and and the spot foiling through these and again the 12 by 12 in size snippability you can chop into this you could create yourself out of one sheet four six by sixes so again absolutely fabulous um, value for money too as well and beautiful colorways with uh, all of this Gorgeous vibrancy. The tones are just out of this world. I love, I love this pad. This is just nineteen ninety nine, but it's not just that you're going to get. You're going to get twenty five sheets of again perfect colour coordination. Um, and are these um, standard sheets of cardstock or are they? You've got luxury mixed in there as okay. well. So you've got some mirror card in there, some matte, matte mirror, mirror, and some pearlescent cardstock as well. Great, all of that. Both of them for nineteen ninety nine. Let me just quickly delve in to show you. And this, look, I mean, this is just beautiful. Ooh. And it matches, as you notice, those t tones match that paper pad as well. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the colour tones. Just gorgeous. The purple one's my favourite. I love that one. You thought it was all every beautiful. everyday cardstock in there, uh -uh. so did I. Mm -hmm. Nope. You nope. get all of these wonderful designer sheets. Love it. So that is 30, uh, sorry, 25 sheets of that. And you get, remember, uh, 24 sheets in the 12 by 12. And it's yours for just 19 99 if you fancy both of those. Now, another one is the Bell Countryside. Now, this is another fantastic dip. I love the colorways here, too. It's yeah. muted. It's vintage. Yeah. Very classy. If you love your greys and your dark blues and your dark greens, which are very fashionable at the moment in home decor, you'll love this. Now, this is a half price deal on this paper pad as well. These are the A4 sheets of cardstock you're going to get with it, which again complement the whole collection brilliantly well. The artwork is gorgeous. Mm, just gorgeous. Look at that house. Beautiful. Stunning, isn't it? And you've got houses, you've got flowers, you've got script in here as well. Um, old fashioned adverts, too. It's beautiful. The lovely, the lovely horse in there. They, they, it draws you in because you're looking to see, there's the horse, look. Yeah, it's just beautiful. Turn that round, Dave. Let him have a look at that one. That is just glorious. Whether you're using it, like I said, in scrapbooking or in your card making projects, whatever it is that you're using, you've got beautiful papers um, that really are a, a wow factor. Every single one, every page turner is just beautiful. Love them. Absolutely. Well, how many do you get? You get 24 sheets, 180 GSM, and there you get 18 sheets. And that's 250 GSM. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yep. Very heavyweight. So that one is included. Half price deal again, 14.99 gets you both the A4 and the 12 by 12. How about that? And again, remember, no more than 3.95 postage. No matter if you want, to, if you wanted all four of those, those card kits. Imagine how much that would cost to post. We'll send it to you for 395 tops. That's the maximum PMP. Now the next one, and the last one in the counter, is the Sarah's signature. This is Enchanted Dreams. Now this is a bit different because you get a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 6. And it's exactly the same artwork, but it's been scaled down for the 6 by 6. And you also get two um, three meter rolls of cotton, um, cotton ribbon. So you've got the, the, pit, the printed butterfly ribbon on the top in brown and you get a little script ribbon down there in brown as well now let me flick through the 12 by 12 because you can see the artwork easier yeah 
Here we go. It's just beautiful. Again, colour tones, the, the artwork in there. Um, the layered, it's like a layered paper um, where there's lots of different um, like vintagey things in there as well. Do you know, like your lovely tones. But again, mm -hmm. just look how gorgeous. Look at the florals on those. Beautiful. The hydrangea, absolutely exquisite. They all... Every one of these pads, I, don't, I think it's so hard to, to send me favourite because I've got some of my favourites in there. Who doesn't chop love a rainbow down. at the moment? Yeah, chop those down. You've got yourself a card base. Uh, a card, actually. Just make, you know, yeah. you've got yourself a card. You need to add a couple of little embellishments. Maybe add some of the flower for me for me if you've gone for that. Yeah. And if you're not yeah, familiar with 12 by 12 paper pads, cut, cut them down. Make them yeah. into three or four inch strips or make them into four six by sixes. Um, and if you can do that, you're going to quadruple the, the, the you know, the, um, the, the versatility of it, really. Uh, yeah, because you've actually got the six by six pad there as well. So why not cut the 12 by 12s down to six by six as well? And you'll have a totally different angle on it. All double sided too. Yep. So there is your 12 by 12 and six by six. And there is your two reels of three meters of cotton ribbon, all in for 20 pounds and 98 pence. How about that? Amazing value. So yes, lots of you going for all of them. Some of you going for just one or two, but a lot of you thinking well, those sort of prices I'm going to stock up. Okay, now we're going to go back to our main deal. Yes. Let's go back to our main deal, which of course are these beautiful uh, lattice foldable die sets, which are just brilliant. Yeah. And when you see them on the boards here, I mean, basically, the top folds into the bottom. Yes, that's it. That's as difficult so, as it gets. Yeah, as easy or as difficult as you want to make it, it is absolutely just simply fold back and tuck under, and that's all you do with these. Now, you've got your lattice folding die. This is the star, this one. And then next one we've got, this one is your diamond, double diamond. And remember, the big kit is the biggest saving. That's always the case. Chevron is this one. <laughs> really lovely. Then we go to your opulence. Then we've got two more. You've got your double loop, which I think is both Debbie's and mine, mm -hmm. my favourite. And then the last one there is the circle. Actually, I do love that one as well. So, yeah, it reminds me of that, like the life boys that you see maybe by a pool or on a ship or something yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah, it's got a very nautical feel to it, this one. Definitely. And, um, you know, you're going to get two dies in each set. One, two, uh, one four inch and one six inch, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, shall we use them again? Mm, let's do so, we're going to use the double loop one. Now, actually, do you know what? I was thinking, because I'm, I'm going to make this um, double Z fold card um, and use that double loop um, to create a nice little feature on my card. So, to do that, Dave, um, it literally is, I mean, it depends on the size of the card that you want to go for. Uh, but if you remember when you're making, and I've done mine with um, a white cardstock as well as this uh, pearlescent cardstock. But when you're starting off and just take your measurements, if you just remember to put your folds in the same place. So on this one, I'll just give you the exact measurement because I think it was a six, yeah, six by six, scored in at um, three inches and six inches to create that like a fold back um, effect. And the same with the um, strip that I've done. And I've cut this just over two inches so that I've got, because if you remember, the die itself is two inches. I've just slightly cut it slightly bigger, but I put the folds in the same place. So I've popped the 12-inch um, strip. I've scored it at three inches that I'm going to fold back mm -hmm. on itself. And that's six, uh, sorry, three and six to create that. And then all you're going to do is just turn it over. It literally is a flip reverse, and that's how you create your double Z fold card. It's really easy to do, but very, really effective. Yeah, very effective and very striking when you're doing that, Dave. So we're going to use this now, and I'll um, I'll just show you the firstly how I'm going to do it, and then I'll, I'll show you the one that I've, I've pre-done. Um, now then, I want my bigger plate. What did I do with the bigger plates, Dave? Can you spot them anywhere? Bigger plates. Bigger plates. Mm -hmm. Where did I put them? Do you know, oh, they're down I, there. I were having a tidy up earlier. Thank you very much, Dave. All Thank right. you. So, um, yeah, I'm going to tidy up because it's going late in the day. I thought, I'll, I'll tidy up. I'll make, I'll make it. A I'm, I'm the same as you. If I tidy up anything, I can never find anything. <laughs> That's the problem. That is the problem I have. Um, so, again, thin metal die combination. So, we're going to go in with the plastic shim on the top, the magnetic shim on the top of that one, and then, lastly, the other cutting plate. And we'll run that through our machine. Um, so, let me just turn that that way. Run that through. And then we literally, and again, I'm using the larger plates this time. So this is the original plates into the original Gemini. Um, but of course, you can use your smaller plates as well in there. You just turn them on the side uh, and it cuts down the time as well as, um, as, well as, the, as the speed of it going yeah. through the machine. And also remember that time is ticking with that offer on the Gemini. If you want to yep. get 70 pounds worth of extra goodies, they're all in here actually, all the goodies you're going to get. Jimmy's gone and got this for me. Um, let me just show you. This is what you normally would get with the Gemini. For $179.99, you get this as an extra, an embossing folder, and those dies. 
uh, and that edger as well. But that's what you get. And you're still going to get that. But what you won't normally get, and what you won't do after the end of this month, is you won't get all of these extras. This is a combination of dies and stamps, more stamps, more dies, more embossing folders, worth £70 plus. And you're going to get this added into your order, and you're not being charged for it if you go for the machine today at £179.99. And you don't have to pay in full. You can easily, if you want to, spread the cost with, of course, uh, interest-free, £44.99. Okay, so that's split pay, $44.99, your first payment today, plus your P&P of $3.95, and it's on its way. Yep, absolutely. Now, Dave, I have um, cut one piece of it. Now, what you're going to do is just line it up on the other side, like so, and run it through your machine again. Okay. And now, when you've run it through your machine, you'll end up with your two die-cut elements, and if I just bring that one in so I can show you what I mean, you've cut it through across both of these panels now. And again, it's exactly the same. So if we start at the very top, and if you remember simply... And let me just start from the top, Debbie, you need to put your like, oh, mm -hmm. honestly. Start from the top and pull back. And the double loop one is exactly the same way, it's just that you're pulling it back and tucking it underneath. So if I just get that going, Dave... And there is a little score I mean. line where you fold it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly that one. And then all I'm going to do, excuse me... <coughs> oh, dear. Hot lemon and honey for... Yeah, Debbie for Debbie. <laughs> and then I'm just going to do that exactly the same and then tuck that underneath. And it's as easy as that. That's all you keep doing and following that design down. It really couldn't be any easier. I mean, I've, I've seen these or something similar to these in the past, but I've never seen that particular shape. I've seen the ones that are quite diamond pointed yep. before, but not this one. I, I love it. It looks a bit like an, um, like an anchor chain or... Yep. It's just so clever, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and again, it just looks absolutely fab. So just pull back. All we're going to keep doing is pull back and spin it underneath and tuck it underneath that other flap. It's so, so easy. It really, really is. Um, and it looks so effective. And look how easy it is to do. And at the moment, and if I've put that the wrong way around then, Debbie, I'm just about to kick myself because I'm like, ooh, yeah, there we go. No, um, okay. And just keep tucking that underneath. And, of course, you can glue all of these pieces down, which I'm going to do in a moment. You can glue all of them down, and that's all you keep doing. And you keep on folding back and tucking under. It is such an easy it's concept. Really effective. It's so clever, isn't it clever? And you can leave it plain like that if you yeah. want to, or you can back it with some glitter card or some satin card or mirror card. Yeah. Um, or you can do it with double-sided papers. I mean, that's obviously the same colour, both sides. But if you've got some of the, the pads that are in the show today, that would work really well because um, some of them are, have got totally different patterns on the back side as they have on the front side. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's just, and again, that would look really good. Now, I'm, I'm at the other end, Dave. So I said, you know, if you flip this over, you get a little bit of an overhang. So I don't want that bit, so I'm going to cut that little bit off. Doesn't matter, okay. it's because it's been designed to work that way. Um, actually, I wonder if I can tuck it under and just snip that. Let's have a look. See? No, no. No, no, I, w no I, want, I want that little bit off, so I'm just going to finish that off. I, I suppose it's a personal choice, really, mm -hmm. if you want to keep it on. Uh, but you can see now, and then all those tucks then, you, when you tuck down, you can stick. So I'm just going to stick all of my down. How are we doing for time? Uh, about six minutes. Oof, how does it... Uh, do you know, you have so much fun, we have the extra time. I, I know. Still, I still... But we get loads of demos in, that's the great thing. Yeah, yeah. So again, I'm just going to pop that down, and then you just hold it into place. I perhaps should have done one of these like a Blue Peter style at home. However, do you know what? I think I'll do. I'll speed it up a little bit. And let's just bring in my little pieces because I'm going to add a little bit of a contrasting colour underneath. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to go under the um, that one. Let's do it that way. Oh, I've lost my tux. Hang on a minute. Don't want to do that, do we, Dave, at this time of day? No, let's no. Let's get that underneath. Let's get that back. That's probably why, especially on this one with this double design, I probably would glue it down. So let's have a little bit of, um, let's have a bit of glue. Let's put glue mm -hmm. on them and get them stuck. Uh, so, yeah, because it's a double loop, this one, um, we're going to stick them down. I think we're going to make life easy for ourselves at this time of night, day. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. It's the easiest way to do it. It is, yeah. Uh, and just keep on doing that. That's all we're going to keep doing. Well, yeah, remember the set today that we've got for you is fantastic value for money. The details are still on the screen for the Gemini. So that's the large size a fold Gemini with the plates and the extra £70 worth of goodies. Lots of you are going for it right now as you're realising there's only, what, six days, five, six days left of the month. Oh. And if we have any stock left, that offer will go and it will be back to £179.99, but without the freebies, without the uh, £70 worth of extras. Now, if you want these dies today, you can buy them on their own. You can buy them in a set of three or you can buy them in a set of six. The set of six, as with all of our shows, is the best value for money. That's where you get 
get the best discount. Shall I have a wander over and show you? So there we go, all six sets, there's 12 dies, and that is 39.99, okay? 39 pounds and 99 pence for all six of them. But if you just want one or two, or you want to go for three, because these three here are available in a set. So that is your uh, double diamond, your chevron, and your star. So those three, that's another item if you want that. How much are they in sets of three? I can't remember. An opulence, double loop, and circle. Okay, so those are the other three that are available as a set of three. Again, they will have a discounted price on them as well. And it's all on the website. $20.99, okay, $20.99 for three, or $39.99 if you want all six. So you save another few quid by uh, buying the set of six. But if you just want one, if you've maybe bought something earlier today and you're thinking, okay, well, I don't necessarily need all six of them, but I like one of them. I like the circle one, or I like the uh, in interlinking loops like we just showed you with Debbie. Then, yeah, feel, feel free. Just go to the website. They're one price of, I think it's $7.99 each, aren't they? Is that right? Individually? Yeah, $7.99 each, and no more P&P to pay if you've already bought something today because you've paid the postage already. But the biggest value is the big bundle uh, where you're going to get all six sets, all 12 dies. Okay, now we've got literally two or three minutes left on the show, Debbie. Oh, so. my goodness me. The time absolutely flies by when you're having fun, it Dave. Does. It really, really does. Uh, so I'm just going to give a little bit of glue onto there. To be fair, you know, I mean, the, I'm just decorating the cards. You've already seen me finish cards, but we're just decorating it up, and I'm using some of the patterned papers that I have in my stash. If you're going for those beautiful papers, can imagine these working absolutely glorious with those. Uh, but I'm just decorating my panels up. Um, and simply, um, I'm going to finish it off with that gorgeous loop design. So let's pop that on there, pop the little piece on. And then we're going to just now finish this off by adding, I'll just get that the right way, uh, we just add that on. So you simply now attach it to this back end. So mm -hmm. if I pop my glue down, um, I suppose it depends where you want it to go as well. So I'll go halfway upwards with this one um, and just attach that panel on like so and then i'm just going to bring that over for a second and i'm just going to put my glue and match it up so i know where i'm wrong tape pen to me put your glue just like so and then attach that on it's a good little just tip just bring that down you can see now i've got that <coughs> flow going yeah then all i'm going to do dave is just finish it off with a couple of little um sentiments on there so we'll have the um where's my, where's my punky tool gone let's get rid of that one in fact Pop that. Come on, don't let me down now at this time of night. There you go. Pop. Just wanted to send some happy thoughts your way today. And you make me smile, because you always do. <laughs> They're fab, aren't they? They are absolutely. Brand new honestly, and exclusive to fab. us today as well. Um, not available anywhere else as, at, at the moment, but certainly if you want them, uh, get in touch with the call centre if you want to. It's a UK call centre as well. Free phone number 2800 001 4433. That's the number to call as well. If you want to register as a new viewer and a new customer uh, to Hobby Maker, they'll do that for you on the phones. If you'd rather do it yourself, you can do it at the website. Uh, hobbymaker.co.uk and just register there you can put in your email address come up with a password and then why not register for emails as well to receive emails from us and if you do that you'll get a five pound voucher that you can of course uh, send uh, or spend uh, against any purchase of 25 pounds or more so that's the incentive to get in touch with us thank you ever so much for all of your fantastic lovely comments as well and messages that you've been coming in throughout the day debbie you're back soon i know but... uh, monday yeah i'll be back here monday okay, cool. sarah, sarah thinks they're the first show and then i've got the last two shows so great on monday. okay so back on monday i'll be back tomorrow and on sunday as well so looking forward to having your company tomorrow every day from one through until six remember we're live uh, at hobby maker so whatever you do make sure you tune in for as much or if not all of them if you can uh, tomorrow we've got Keith here, we've got some Paper Dynamics, and oh, also what else is tomorrow now? Paper Dynamics, oh, brand new guest. Ooh. Yes, a brand new guest, which I'm looking forward to meeting. More will be revealed tomorrow, I'll tell you more at one o'clock. Thanks a lot for your company, enjoy the rest of the evening. Stay tuned. <laughs>